the mayor, and my door is always open for ya. My name is Tom Peters, and I'm full of ideas. Community spirit. Hi, how are you? <laughs> a little confused. What do you call that thing again? Uh, it, a glass eye. Um, like I said, I had, I had a little accident with my stepchildren and, um... So you can't feel this at all, can you? <laughs> uh, well, a little bit, but, uh, it's fine. It's not connected to any nerves or anything. Oh. All right. Uh, okay. Mayor's office. Uh, okay. Um, well, it's Tom Peters here. Hey, Tom. I uh, just, uh, just wanted to stop by and tell you about this little charity I'm doing some work for. Great. Uh, Love to hear about it. Um, okay. Well, uh, do you mind if I show you this web film? Uh, no. Go ahead, please. The Donnington Group. <laughs> Don't you wish you could do something to help all the poor eyeless children of the world? Well, now you can. Yes, the Donington Group, makers of fine glass eyes, have a surplus of factory imperfect glass eyes and have agreed to donate all oversized, discontinued, novelty styles, and misshaped eyes to the neediest children of the world. Won't you help the Donington Group to bring dignity to these poor, eyeless children? After all, what's a dime worth anyway? Not much. Well, here's a dime, Tom. That sounds like a great charity. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I think I might have led you down the wrong path there. I'm not actually allowed to take cash donations, but what we are doing is um, a hoagie sale. Uh, I'm, I'm not quite following you here, Tom. Oh, let me back up. Um, you're familiar with the father-son barrel goat hunt. Oh, absolutely, Tom. I've oh. been looking forward to it all year. Yeah, well, my son is just... Going nuts right now. He can't wait. <laughs> He's got to be so excited. Yeah, um, and uh, the way it works is we got to sell a hundred hoagies just to qualify for the thing. Uh huh. Um, but it's actually going for a pretty good cause. Um, all the proceeds uh, for the hoagie sales go to the Two Eyes for the Third World Foundation. Um, and the way it works is the Donington Group is going to uh, donate one glass eye for every hoagie we sell. Well, that sounds great, Tom. I, I just have one question though. Uh, oh, what the heck is a hoagie? Oh, that's easy. Uh, it's just a long meat and lettuce sandwich. Uh, let me think about this for a second. Sign me up for one hoogie. <sighs> hey, Mayor. Uh, what are you doing here so late? Uh, who's there, please? Uh, it's Tom Peters. Oh, hey, Tom. Uh, what's up with the sunglasses? Well, take a look at these babies. Yeah! Uh, what, did you, what did you do to your eyes? Uh... Well, I took your advice and replaced my real eyes with some glass ones. Okay. Uh... Listen, you wouldn't happen to have any more of those hoogies lying around, do you? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I... No, we're not doing that anymore. I, I thought you heard City Council canceled the whole barrel goat hunt because, uh, I guess last year there were some accidents with people getting hit with arrows or something. Oh, no barrel goat hunt means no hoogies. And no hoogies means no hoogies for me. Uh, I need my baby hoogies. Beware the barrel goat menace. Here walks a gentleman about town whistling without care. But behind every corner lurks the dirty vermin known as the barrel goat. Hide your pickle barrels. The vinegar quaff can send a barrel goat into a violent frenzy. And don't forget, barrel goats eat babies too. So, grab your bow and quiver and strike before a barrel goat strikes you first. So, as you can see from this documentary we just saw, the father-son barrel goat hunt just has to be a priority for Jefferton. All right, Mr. Mayor. Uh, as you may or may not know, we haven't had a barrel goat problem in several years. Uh, I'm going to disagree on that. Uh, <clears throat> our main concern here is the killing of innocent people with, uh, let me see here, 
arrows. But if you insist, I suppose we could provide you with a few zoo goats, and uh, if you'd be able to keep the uh, hunt within Memorial Park. Yeah, I agree. The, that could limit the amount of innocent deaths. Well, Tom, mark me down for a hundred hoogies. And why don't you meet me in front of your house in about ten minutes and we'll practice for the goat hunt, partner. Oh, uh, well, for the record, uh, I was planning on partnering up with my son. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wrong again, buddy. The barrel goat hunt is back on! Tomorrow night, teams of two will search out a swarm of these filthy critters and shoot to kill. You know, the teams consist of a shepherd and an archer. That's right, Jan. I did a little bit of research last night, and I found out that it's the shepherd's job to pin down that goat and open him up so the archer has a clean shot at him. Well, I hope we can get some free goat steaks out of this whole thing when it's all over, huh? <laughs> Wayne? Wayne? <laughs> Wayne? Wayne! All right, troops, uh, gather around. I have uh, some good news and some bad news for you here. Um, good news is, uh, the mayor drafted me to be his uh, partner. Thank you. As you know, I've been looking for some quality FaceTime with him, so it works out. Oh, and the bad news is, uh, Brendan, unfortunately, uh, you'll have to sit this year out. Uh, you know. Of course, I'll be needing to borrow your sleeping bag. Uh, I gotta go meet up with my partner for the pre-hunt sleepover. <laughs> nice one, idiot! You know, you're always there for me. You're my hero, big guy. Oh, I think about you all night. I just want to grab you and just hold you all over. Yep. Oh, well, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Mwah. <laughs> Mwah. Oh, oh, is that you, Tom? Go back to sleep, buddy. All right. <laughs> Good night. Jefferton. The Donington Group and Two Eyes for the Third World would like to thank you all personally for your generous donations totaling $130. Yes, it looks like we'll be able to craft 3.4 eyes for underprivileged children. Thanks for making a difference, Jefferton. Now, let's go hunt those goats. Huh, Baker? I don't think I can. I can. Now, let's go hunt those goats. <laughs> well, partner up and pull that bow. Everybody said out. So the bear goat will will. Mayor, the goats just broke through the police tape. Tom, get me to my scooter. Let's get those darn goats. Oh, the goats just left their designated spot. Better take it to the street and get this bear goat caught. Whoa. Okay, straighten her out. Whoa. Straighten her out. There you go. Whoa. Got me, Shepard. Guide me. Hold her steady. Hold her, hold her steady. <laughs> yeah. There he is. I got him. All right, now. Easy, fella. That's a boy. Sheppy, where's that goat? I have him. I have him, I have him right here. Just, just everyone relax. I'm sorry, boy. We'll try to make this quick, honey. Uh, all right. Hold it. Left. Right. Aim lower. Aim lower. Open her up for me, Sheppy! Dear Joy, uh, I have some bad news. It looks like I'll need to establish residency here for one year to qualify as an orphan uh, to receive my free eye through the Two Eyes for the Third World program. This is unfortunate because I've yet to take to some of the spices they use in the food here. 
I also hope that I'm not swayed by one of the many religions they have to offer. <laughs> See you in about a year. Love to the boys, Tom. Absolutely. A message from the Oil Turtle Charity Fund. Hi, I'm Janine Garofalo. <laughs> While the efforts to clean up our lakes and bodies of water have been noble, they've come at a cost. If we continue to reduce the amount of oil dumping into our water supply, oil turtles will face extinction. So send the mayor a message. Keep dumping your oil into our water. Loud and clear, TV. No, oh, hello. Uh, mayor's office. Um, it's uh, Tom Peters here. Hello, Tom. Um, your complaint box was full, so I just wanted to drop this VHS off to you. Um, okay, let me take a look. All right. Uh, well, as you can see here, I think Jefferson Power messed up and uh, mm -hmm. accidentally put one of their electrical uh, towers right on my property. Oh, no. Uh, not a big deal, but, um, you know, we're getting some sporadic yard fires from all the heat. And, right. uh, and not to mention some of my boys are uh, developing some, you know, tumors um, on their head. Um, well, everything looks fine to me, but let me dial up my temporary assistant and I'll have her take a look at it. Oh, pardon me here. Uh, Tom Peter's phone? Yes, uh, Joy, please. Uh... Well, this is her husband's cell phone. Husband? Um, Joy's not married. Mm, that doesn't sound right. Um... Uh, she said she was single? Oh, yeah, all the time. How do you know Joy? Well, you know, well, she's my wife. Oh, I see. Well, it sounds like you two are having some pretty serious relationship problems. Well, you know... If I can be honest, she has been uh, bringing up the whole divorce concept. Already. Right. You know, I've been having my own problems with Joy. She's, you know, she is really hard to communicate with. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I just don't know how many chances I have left. You know, I, I'm trying to make it work, and I, j I just don't know what else to do. You know, Tom, I think I may have a solution for you. Have you heard of Captain Pat's couples retreat? Uh, I don't think so. Well, it's a 10-day cruise right in the Jefferton Man-Made Lake. It's Captain by Pat Llewellyn, and as you know, he's probably the leading expert in these kind of relationship problems. Oh, well, you know, that sounds great. <laughs> Plus there's a 24-hour Mexican-American buffet. Okay. And some wonderful oil turtle sightseeing. Oh, okay, well, you know, I could look at our calendar and just figure out when the best time All for us aboard. to... aboard! Hmm, they just look like dirty turtles to me. I don't really know what the big deal is. Eh, that's not right. Oh, look at this, I can see my house from here. Darn it, another yard fire. What are those men doing in my house? Hey, sailor. Oh, Mayor, you spooked me. <laughs> I didn't uh, know you were going to be on the cruise. <laughs> How you doing, Tom? Where's your partner? Oh, uh, well, Joy couldn't make it. Um, you know, she's kind of a land lover. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, plus she had some stuff to do around the house. Couples, please report to the main dining area for couples orientation. Come on, Tom. Can't miss orientation. Oh, I'll, I'll meet you inside there. Okay. Tom Peters' phone. Hey, Joy. Heard you're going to be alone tonight. Hello? Hello, hello who's this? Wrong number. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. First of all, welcome aboard, everybody. Thank you for having the courage to come on Captain Pat Llewellyn's Fix-It Relationship Cruise. And let's just start, first of all, with a big ahoy. Ahoy! Let's say it with feeling. Ahoy! I don't know exactly what ahoy means, but it's the communication that matters. That's the lesson there. So why don't we go around the boat and one by one introduce ourselves? Could we do that? Hi. My name is the mayor. 
and I have a relationship problem. My partner is Joy Peters, and she's my temporary assistant. Unfortunately, she's not here. Uh, she had some other appointments to attend to this weekend. Mm -hmm. um, I'll probably be getting in touch with her later tonight. Yes, yes by, by the way, way nice, nice to see you again, again Mayor. You, you look fantastic. fantastic. Thanks, Pat. And, and you, you, sir. Oh, uh, me? Uh, well, my name is Tom Peters, and um, I also have a relationship problem. Whoa, 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 whoa. Tom is not the only one here with a relationship problem. I've had 21 relationship problems, eight of which have ended in open and honest friendships, and that's why we're here. Not in front of everyone. You're okay. Yeah, all right. Well, uh, uh, and, and my partner is also Joy Peters. Um, she's the mayor's temporary assistant, but um, for these purposes, um, she's my wife. Ahoy! <laughs> Ahoy! Hi, Joy. Tom Peters here. Uh, hi, Han. Love you. Miss you. Uh, this is our first day on the cruise, and I just, uh, I'm missing the heck out of you. Uh, kind of wondering what some of those men are doing uh, going in and out of our house all day. Uh, but uh, I won't pry. I'm here for us, and I'm committed to making it work, and I hope you are too. Oh, hey, Tom. Ah, Mayor, you <laughs> spooked me again. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. L listen, Tom, since we're both going to be alone on this cruise, Pat thought it would be a good idea if we partner up. You did? Okay. Uh, you know, I I'm just a... Oh, man, Tom. Sierra's making me real pooped. Let's hit the sack. we got a big day of exercises tomorrow. T Tom Peter's phone. Hey, Joy. I'm wearing my mayor's hat again. Not much else. Mayor, it's Tom Peter's phone. Couples, please report to the main deck for our morning exercises. Okay, I have this little exercise called Passionate Whispers. Everyone, just turn to your partner and tell them something erotic without using words. Now, here's the key and why I call it whispers when I say passionate whispers. Just use sounds, okay? Mayor, that's turning the whole boat on. Tom, 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 Tom. You, your body painting is not about painting a picture. It's about just letting it go. I think you're trying too hard. Tom, you're making me feel really handsome today. I just want to thank you for that. Oh, well, you know, I'm doing my best under the circumstances. Whew. Captain Pat's getting a little hungry. Let's take a Tex-Mex break. is going on in there. Tom, come on. We're missing the trust barrel. Okay, uh, left hand on trust. Mm. Uh, right hand on growth. Ah. Hold, ah. hold it there, Tom. This hurts my arms. It'll be okay. Mm. The blood's going right to my... Do you have it? Hold it steady, Tom. Ow! This is how we grow. Mayor, what, what are you doing? doing? Uh, the trust barrel. What is the trust barrel? Oh, it's just an exercise I developed to help my partner flush out some of that emotional baggage. Oh my god. <sighs> the heck is going on over there? Oh god! <sighs> this can't be good for us. Hey, Tom. It's cold outside. Why don't you come back to bed? No, Mayor, I, I can't. I can't sleep. What's going on? Well, there's... There's all these men going in and out of my house, and I haven't been able to talk to Joy. I just, I just feel like this is such a bad idea. Well, I, we have another nine days to work all this stuff out. Don't, don't worry, Tom. I don't know if I can handle it, Mayor. <laughs> uh, Pat was sure right about you, Tom. What do you mean? It's time for you to jump ship. Get back to your woman. Go 
on. Get turn on back, friends. This is my fight. Ah! What the hell are you doing here? Joy, what are these men doing in my bed? I told you a thousand times. These men are installing a toilet in my bed. <laughs> Joy, I am, I am so sorry. Gee, I, I, I could have sworn there was some funny business going on in here. What are those filthy turtles doing in my house? Friends, what are you doing in here? I told you to wait outside. So, Tom, how's the relationship going? Well, you know, we, we kind of took a step forward and then a s- step backward. <laughs> <you know? laughs> yeah. Well, but, that's progress, you know. Well, you know, I think we both, I think everybody learned something, you know. How about you? I had a great time. Uh, what do you got there? Uh, well, it's my apology speech I was going to read. Oh, I hope, great. hope it, you know, clears the air. I feel a little bit responsible for, you know, what went down. Yeah. You should. Absolutely. Always open for ya! My name is Tom Peters and I'm full of ideas. Community ah, How are you? <laughs> Hello, this is the mayor. Welcome to the Jefferson Airport. I'm pretty sure you pick up your bags and baggage claim. Carousel A through F. I uh, sure hope you have a pleasant stay here, beautiful Jefferson. Dad! Yeah, uh, there you are, Dad. Hello. It's uh, good to see you. Let me just get in here. Yeah, that, 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 that's enough. Um, that, that, that's enough hugging. Okay. <sighs> All right, well, uh, I got a busy day planned for us, so we uh, yeah, better you know, get a move I, on. I don't, I don't think I have that kind of time. Uh, let's see, uh, five, five, uh, yeah, five twelve. Uh, looks like I only have eleven minutes. Oh, I know how long your layover is. Uh, uh, that's why I made this itinerary here. If, if I could just direct your attention to it, as you can see here, uh, we're, we're going to try to fit in a lot, but I, I think we have time. Uh, of course, the highlight uh, here is going to be meeting Joy and the boys at Gulliver's. <laughs> Up here, I even factored in us uh, talking about the itinerary, so it's, it's pretty detailed. Yeah, okay, okay, but uh, if I don't make my connecting flight, I'm going to miss the seafood convention, and I probably lose uh, just about every one of my sails on the eastern seaboard, if, if you're all right with that. Oh, don't worry about that, Papa. I've got my trusty stopwatch here, and I'll just uh, sync that up for us. And... Here we go. Put a little music on here. No music, please. Fair enough. Mm. What is that smell? Are there, are there fumes in here? Oh, sorry about that, Pop. Uh, you know, uh, my car only holds three gallons of gas at a time, so I like to keep these spares back here just in case, uh, you know, I run out of gas. <coughs> so this is the Jefferton through pike that leads pretty much right, right into town. Put a little music on here. Oh, uh, shoot, sorry. <laughs> uh, force of habit there. Um... 
Oh, well, uh, you know, I've actually been working with the mayor of Jefferson on quite a few projects here and there. Ah, really? You're, you're working with the mayor? That's interesting. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, we're, we're real close. Uh, I've played a pretty, you know, pretty big part in revitalizing Jefferson. Uh, we're kind of like good old bosom buddies. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, right. Of a day. Harder than I thought it'd be. Oh, speaking of my devil, there he is. There! <laughs> Having some scooter trouble? Yes. Uh, who are you, please? <laughs> well, you know, it's me, uh, Tom Peters. Okay. Uh... Uh, this is my dad, uh, Walt Pickle. Well, hi. Hi there. I'm Walt Pickle. Awfully nice to see you. R right. Listen, uh, I need you to tow me into town immediately. I have a pretty serious scooter emergency here. Oh, Mayor, any, any other day would be fine, but uh, I'm, I'm spending some time with my dad here, and we're, we're on a very strict schedule. I'm sorry, kid. We got some bad news. Looks like no one cares about us. Uh, what am I supposed to do now? Um, careful with my girl there, sir. Uh, hard to get good help around here nowadays, isn't it? All right, we're all tied up back there. Um, don't worry, Pop. The mayor's office is on the way to Gulliver's, where Joy and the kids are waiting. Uh, so. No, no. We need to take my scooter to Scooterton's. Oh, uh, boy. Mayor, that, that's kind of on the other side of town. Uh, sorry, we're, we're, you know, we're, we're on a time budget here. Mmm, fish. <laughs> <laughs> well, you may be smelling some work-related residue. Uh, you see, I, I sell industrial coolers to fish markets. Fish. <laughs> Please, no. Uh, uh, you know, leave my head alone. Tom, why don't you go ahead and take my scooter down to Scooterton's, ask for Bernard, and I'll take your father here to lunch at Fish and Alley's. That, that would be great. Uh, you know, Pop, I, I just don't think that's the best idea right now. Oh, you know, right I now. brought along some of my uh, pamphlets uh, regarding our coolers, and I'd, I just would love to go over them with you. <sighs> It's going to put a ding in my itinerary, but, uh, well, it is your layover. Fish and Ellie's. Start by picking your own fish. Now pick your dip. Finally, pick your waiter. It's that easy at Fish and Ellie's. 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 Okay, let me see. I'm going to start with the Nelly's fishy combo. Um, saltwater dip, please. And the man to my left will have the creamed cod. Uh, put that in a bread boat, please. Uh, thank you. That's, He'll uh, take that with the brackish dip. No, that's fine. I, I'm Really, I'm just going to have a decaf, uh, you know. Uh, considering I'm in the uh, fish business, just the uh, thought of it can turn my well, stomach well, a bit. Well, then he'll just have a trout burgie. Uh, yeah, just a decaf, please. Ah, this is nice. Um, about those pamphlets, uh, let me turn you on to our 5200 series. You know, lots of mayors who have fish districts really get a kick out of the warranty package we offer. It's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, you know, it's really, really something. Well, I'm pretty impressed, but I do have one issue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Um, let's say I have a fish this size, and this is your fish cooler. I'm just not sure how my fish would fit into something this size. Okay. And let's say, just for the sake of argument, that this particular fish wears a top hat. You know, I, I think this was a bad idea. So, uh, it, it, if you have my son's phone number, I, I, I really have to get back to the airport right now. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Shoot, two minutes. Rumble. And that's how I became the mayor. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, Papa. Sorry for the delay. Scooterton's gave me a real runaround. And oh, no. Had to actually do a little bit of haggling. Uh-huh. Uh, but don't worry. I uh, adjusted our uh, itinerary just a touch. Good. And uh, um, I think if we move, you know, pretty much if I, if I can just find the... Just shut up and get me to the airport right now. Excuse me, sir. Uh, where the heck am I going to stow my leftovers? Uh, well, let's see. I guess, I guess you can make some room back there. Uh, All right. Let me see. I guess I can move this over here and... Now it's just sign. Uh, I guess this works. All right, well, let's get going. Ah, oh, shoot. Uh, uh, yeah, Tom Peters' phone. Hey, idiot! Where the <laughs> f- are you, you stupid piece of? I'm I'm so sorry. I have, I have a very I good explanation. are going ape! Yeah, I'm sorry, honey. We had an emergency scooter situation, and... <sighs> just, just, uh, l- listen, my pop is right next no. to me here. If you, Would you no. like to speak to him? No, please. Come on, I, Dad. I just, really don't feel comfortable. I, I, I don't want to talk to her. Would you just say hi Tom? to her? I'm not talking to your dad after this! Excuse me, driver. I'm going to need to use the men's room soon. Okay, uh, well... Hello? Try and keep my eyes peeled. Hello? Hello? Tom, uh, Tom, the, this thing is is cutting in and out. I think I think your headset is broken. Uh, you just have to jiggle the the base a bit. Here, help. Ah, will you please get off my lap? Stop it! You're digging into my groin. It's okay, Pop. You just gotta jiggle it. Oh my God! Let me turn this music hey, off. Hey, watch the road, please. Uh, excuse me, gentlemen. A little update for you. Uh, I think I have an emergency. Um, it's number two. Oh, shoot, I ran out of gas again. Uh, Mayor, could you hand me up one of those spare gas cans? Uh... Oh. Go deeper. Just a little deeper, boys. Come on. You can get in there. Mayor, there's nobody left in the car, No, it's these uh... tinfoil swans. They're my doggy bags. My sweet Nellies. Best case scenario here is that uh, you're you're not too hurt. You know, um, I I could go ahead and wait. Get me on that plane. Um, Pardon? You will get me on that plane. Uh, (laughs) Wait, what do you mean? The, you know, the plane in the sky? That, that, that plane. That is my connecting plane. That is flight five... Twelve. You have to get me on the plane now. Well, I don't know how I could possibly do that. I mean, it's... I don't care how you do it. Just get mm-hmm. me on the damn plane. Welcome aboard flight 512 uh, on route to Springerton. We'll be arriving at our destination very shortly. Absolutely. Hi, I'm the mayor, and my door is always open for you. My name is Tom Peters, and I'm full of ideas. Community spirit. How are you? Who's there? Uh, well, it's, it's just Tom Peters. Hey, Tom. Uh, can I come in? Come on in. Well, uh, I got some bad news to spread around. Uh, I'm not sure how to put this. Uh, 
Well, my son died. Okay. Um, it's been tough. I admit that. So, I'm sorry. Good news! Oh. It's Mondo! Oh, I'm sorry, Tom. Continue, please. That was just one of those things, you know. It was um, Brendan's birthday party, uh, which we were having at Gulliver's. Small for Pops. Oh, hi, Brendan. Happy birthday from Uncle Gibbon. Brendan, how many plates was that, hon? I counted 11. Son! Son! You know, he ate himself to death. <laughs> yeah, it's been tough. I'm just starting to get to know the little buster. I don't mean to cry like this. <laughs> just mess with so much. I want him back so bad. <clears throat> uh, attention. Uh, my name is Tom Peters, and uh, my stepson, Brendan, is dead. Um, I'm sure most of you were fond of Brendan. All right. So in honor of him, I've uh, written this poem, and I'll just start from the top. <clears throat> Little one, my child, each morning I awake, my life is great because of your smile. You are my oldest stepson, and your Cheshire smile breeds gold on the sands of time. Think not of yourself, you do, but always of others who aren't as fine. Just almost done. Thou hast made great the day, and thou shalt miss ye upon the first light of morn. The ships from sea come sailing in, the bells go dong, and then I go. The grass grows tall, yet taller still is the love for my son that's in my will. The will of my heart. You pirates of old time, you vagabonds of dusk, ponder your hearts until the last have won and the spirit of my heart shall never rest. The bells go ding-dong, ding-dong, ding-dong. Wow, Tom. I just got to tell you, that was such a great poem. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Felt good. Um, it's actually an adaptation from another poem I wrote about another loved one lost. Right. I love love poems. <laughs> oh. Uh, Tom, have you tried in this poor cobbler yet? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I've been crying every day now. I just, I'm, I'm just really bent out of shape about the whole thing. Tom, Tom, <laughs> calm down. Here, take some of these chicken riblets. I'll make you feel a little better. <sighs> oh man, I just wish he would have lived long enough for me to take him to Puddin's for his birthday dessert. Puddin's? Ah, there's nothing more magical than the taste of Puddin' fresh puddings from Puddin's. It's Magic Man Gregory for Puddin'. Puddin's offers more than a hundred distinctive and unique varieties, including shellfish and oyster pudding, to pine cone, lemon scented, and savory beets. Take it from me, Gregory. It's no magic to get the finest Puddin' fresh Puddin' from Puddin's. <laughs> Welcome to Puddin's, home of over 68 varieties of delicious, high-quality, pudding-fresh pudding. My name is Paul. I'm your pudding concierge. How can I happily fulfill all of your pudding needs today, sir? Oh, <laughs> no, that's okay. I'm just here for sentimental reasons. Mm -hmm. uh, my son was supposed to eat here for his birthday dessert, but mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> he uh, ate himself to death. <laughs> oh, oh. <sighs> it's, it's just been real hard. Um... Puddins was his favorite snack food, so... Puddins. I love Puddins. What? Can I interest you in a free tour of Puddins' world-famous Sample Town? Uh, well, what do you say, son? You want to go on a pudding ride with uh, Pep Pep? Get over here to Sample Town! Hello and welcome to Puddin's Sample Town. I am your Sample Town host, Paul, and I am here to ensure your Sample Town experience is a wonderful journey into high quality pudding fresh pudding samples. Shh, Brendan, don't be scared. It's, it's going to be just like an old fashioned roller coaster ride. Please relax, sir. I will now begin to pump delicious high quality pudding fresh pudding into your mouth. <laughs> Son, can you, can you see me? It's your step pepper, Mr. Pickle. I know who you are. You are my dad. And I love you very much. Son, you called me dad.
To be honest with you, son, uh, I didn't really care for the zesty tuna, but, oh, man, you would have loved the pine cone. Uh, it reminded me of that camping trip we had last year. Remember that, son? Excuse me. Who are you talking to? Uh, well, I was just trying to share a private moment with my uh, dead son. <laughs> uh, shoot, shoot, little boy. I need to talk to this grown man right now. All right. So, Tom, looks like you're on a good old-fashioned pudding fast. <laughs> um... Uh, oh, well, normally when a parent loses a child, uh, there's a grieving process which forces that parent to eat only a certain kind of food that reminds them of their lost one. In your case, it would be pudding from puddings. Uh, okay, all right. I just thought you were on a pudding fast. Uh, that would have been so beautiful. Uh, well, you know, I guess I, I can be. Uh, you're not. Well, great, Tom. Looks like you have a lot of pudding to eat. Good luck, champ. Tom Peters. <laughs> Just wanted to follow up on the invite I sent you to honor the three-week anniversary of my son's passing. Um, I'm having a Friday night pajama pudding party right behind Puddin's. Um, <laughs> Joy, um, well, she asked me to move out for the time being. <laughs> she had a problem with the Brendan shrine I built. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I gotta go, but listen, I uh, hope you can make it. They got all the pudding you could want back here. <laughs> Call me back, please. I need to talk to someone. Oh, hello, friends. You're here early. Uh, excuse me. What are you doing back here? Oh, hi, Paul. <laughs> this is my home. What do you think? It's pretty cool. <gasps> you know, uh, you should come over for dinner tonight. We're having spaghetti with Alfredo sauce. Mm, well, I mm, guess Don't worry could... about wine. Just bring some ping pong balls. Mm, and uh, some bumblebees and a diaper and a flamingo beak. <laughs> This is going to be delicious, isn't it, friends? Ah! Ah! Mayor! Uh, security, there's a baboon in my office. No, I just, uh, I just wanted to find out why you didn't make it to my pajama pudding party. Okay, um, who's there, please? Uh, Tom Peters. Oh, <laughs> I didn't recognize you there. Uh, jeez, jeez. <laughs> it's cold in here. <laughs> Don't worry about it, though. Um, everything's great. Uh, I have a new son now. Here he is. I'm calling him Brendan again. Shh. Uh, what wonderful, Tom. <laughs> a beautiful boy. Friends, I'm in a town meeting. Come on. Tom, uh, Tom why don't you take a seat? Just Shh. relax for a sec. No, it's okay, honey. Brendan again! Oh, Brendan again! <laughs> Calm down, <Tom. laughs> <laughs> oh, bring it again! <laughs> Can everyone bow their heads, please? Dear Lord, I want to take this time and thank you for giving me the blessing of a beautiful wife and three beautiful healthy boys in this wonderful house. And I know there's a lot of misery and pain in this world and I just hope you could shine a light down on Tom Peters and help him through this rough spot. In the name of Zeus, Amen. <laughs> My son. Oh, my God. 
Absolutely. Always open for ya. My name is Tom Peters, and I'm in zoo trouble. Community How are you? <laughs> okay, folks, if you'll just follow me, uh, we're almost done. Uh, here we are. And this is where our collection of uh, llamas used to be, uh, Josie and Sam. They're not with us anymore. And over here we have the Jefferton Common Squirrel. Uh, there he is. We call him um, Nutty. He loves nuts, you know. And over here is the grand finale, uh, Michael Davidson. He's an ape. Uh, don't have that much information on him here. Shoot. Okay, folks, uh, let's um, head on over to the visitor center. You know, the Jefferton Public Zoo wasn't always a zoo. That's right. In pioneer days, these facilities held captive Indians and homosexuals. But up until a few years ago, we featured the wide spectrum of the animal kingdom. Budget cutbacks and a mysterious outbreak of Schiller's syndrome has forced us to sell most of our beautiful creatures to independent traders of rare animals. But don't worry, you'll find the Jefferson Public Zoo to be fun educational and full of adventure. And if you're lucky, our old friend Michael Davidson will come out of his cave and say hello. Hello, Michael. And hello to you. Yeah, hey, Joy, it's Tom Peters. Uh, just wanted to give you a heads up that I'm volunteering all week at the public zoo. Excuse me, sir. One sec. Um, so I can't pick up the boys tonight. And boys? If I I'm sorry, I just need to finish leaving this message here. Great. Oh, wait. I just need to speak to someone in charge. Okay, hold on. Um, I Just to say again, I can't pick up the boys tonight from soccer. Mayor here. Hun, I, I'm going to have to call you back. It's Tom Peters. Sir? I'm sorry about that. Are you in charge here? <laughs> uh, I guess you could say that. It's um, good old Tom Peters. Great, Tom. I just wanted to complain about this stink house of a zoo here. Uh, you're telling me. I, mean, I don't want to point my finger, but... Uh, ever since Bernie Fusterellio's real-life incredible animal experience opened across the street, it's just been downhill. I mean, our attendance dropped 80% last week. Hmm. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Well, prob probably not. Come on, Tom. Let's go undercover and check out our competition. Welcome to the real-life incredible animal experience. Prepare to be amazed and excited beyond your wildest dreams. The animal kingdom has never been so alive. For the sake of our animals, flash photography is prohibited. Please keep your arms, legs, and head inside the harness pod. Wow, it's pretty exciting stuff, isn't it, Tom? <laughs> to be honest, I'm a little spooked. Me too, buddy. But we're together on this. And after the ride, won't you visit our award-winning gift shop? <laughs> I'm Bernie Fusterellio, and welcome to my real-life, incredible animal experience. Over the next 20 minutes, you will see literally hundreds of animals of all kinds, all without leaving the comfort of your harness pod. And if seeing is believing, then I command you to believe in the wilderness of the Serengeti. <laughs> Smell the breath of the mighty lion. Beware the wild kingdom. Feel the fury of nature's most untamed beasts. Okay, that will be eight hundred and forty-seven dollars. Hmm, that's funny. All my loose change is gone. Huh? I'm missing my lucky sand dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, I love this misting helmet, Tom. Darn it. How's our zoo going to compete with this place? Well, I was doing a little uh, meditating during the ride, and uh, uh -huh. I think if we can uh, spruce up our zoo and focus on the real animals that we have, I think we could... 
I'm sorry, Tom. This thing's got a real hairpin trigger on it. Well, that's fine. No problem. But I like where you're going with this. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'd be willing to go ahead and pull an all-nighter, get Great. some plans together. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, I think the first thing we got to get, though, is um, is more animals. Good idea. Uh, of course, the cages need to be cleaned. Right. Um, you know, I might be able to pry the laptop from Joy, and I could put together a spreadsheet of all my ideas. <laughs> Okay. So, we're pretty much done here. We started without you, buddy. Well, uh, you know, I'd still like you to take a look at my spreadsheet. Tom, look at this. They're called electric sidewalks. I don't even have to move my legs. Well, I can see that. And here come the animals. Huh. Yeah, I didn't know you would literally dress up the animals. I, I thought you meant more of a cage clean. And there's the disco room. Well, it looks like they're having a great time. <laughs> they sure are. Look at them go. <laughs> And over here is the open-air cafeteria. Oh, well, that's pretty convenient, I guess. Yeah, well, that's the point. Uh, so listen, Tom, tomorrow's a grand opening, and I'm going to need you on overnight security detail to watch over my little angels. Oh, all right. My evening uh, should be pretty free, you know, depending on whether the book... <sighs> I can't wait to see Bernie Fusarello's face when he sees what we cooked up here. Oh, good night, Mrs. Goat. Good night, Mr. Meerkat. Good night, Michael Davidson. Michael? Anyone home? Tom? Tom? Wake up! What? M Michael? Michael Davidson? Care for a game of chess? Well, to be honest, I'm uh, more of a checkers man, but... But you do know how to play, right? Uh, uh not so much. Uh, I've been meaning to bone up on some of those skills. Uh, I could settle for a rain check at this point. Um, you know, I'm just a little confused Never here. Never mind, Tom. Listen closely. I have spoken to the Animal Council. You must close this zoo and release us back into the wild. Well, you know, I don't want to be a sheep in wolves clothing here, but uh, I've always felt a bit persnickety about the caging wild animals anyways. This is why I've chosen you, Tom. The Council has determined that you are the wisest of your species. Oh, thank you very much. The fate of animal kind relies on you closing this zoo. If not, there will be grave consequences for the human race. Grave. <sighs> I sure hope this is important, Mr. Peters. Oh, okay, it, it absolutely is. So, basically, Michael Davidson told me we gotta close the zoo immediately and return all the animals to the wild. The ape? Right. The, uh, <clears throat> ape told you this? I, uh, I know it sounds crazy, but we don't have any time. The grand opening is in a few hours, and we have to get working here. You know, Michael said there would be grave consequences to pay if we didn't do what he said. Is he talking about a real animal? Who is this nut? Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, let me handle this. <sighs> okay, Mr. Peters. Uh, we can sympathize with Michael uh, Davidson's request here, but uh, financially speaking, we're just too heavily invested to close down the public zoo right now. <sighs> I, I just wish someone would believe me. Don't worry, Tom. Everything will be just fine. <coughs> Attention! Attention, everybody! Um, I'm about to go speak to the ape, Michael Davidson, so nobody panic, don't call security or anything. Uh, he's my friend, and I have to give him some bad news. So everyone just please sit back, relax, and uh, watch as I now proceed inside the cage to apologize on behalf of humanity and uh, myself uh, to this noble beast. Michael, knock knock, hello, it's uh, Tom Peters here. <laughs> Oh, oh my lord. What happened? You were attacked by Michael Davidson, Tom. What? I, I thought he was my friend. Take a look at this. Gene, load it up, please. Yeah, right, that's him, Michael Davidson. See, I told you I talked to him. Gene, bring it in 200%, please. A zipper! That's right. Gene, another 400%. Who's Aurelio? That's not all, Tom. Gene, play back the animal experience in slow-mo. 
Yeah, that's a classic move there. See, all you got to do is shake people around enough, and all their loose change falls out of their pockets and in that funnel there, see? So they can just collect it in some sort of change basket. <laughs> Remember that change I lost? In my sand dollar. I bet he's making about 20 bucks a week on that racket. Let's get this son of a buster, Tom. There he goes. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to reveal the true identity of this filthy animal. <gasps> That's right, it's me, Bernie Fusterellio. Huh. I don't get it. Your new zoo would have ruined me. The change I was collecting from all you suckers in your loose pockets was making me tens of dollars a month. Well, I had to do something. And when it wasn't for you meddling fools, I would have gotten away with it, too. But I have one more surprise up my sleeve. <gasps> Mayor! Tom, I'm sorry. I just love that real, live, incredible animal experience so much. I just couldn't let it go down the tubes. Well, I have some news for you. It was me, Bernie Fusterellio, all along. <laughs> You're not Tom. Mayor's office. Where the hell is my stepfather? So, Lutely. Hi, I'm the mayor, and my door is always open for ya. My name is Tom Peters, and I'm full of ideas. Community spirit. Hi, how are you? Chopping. <laughs> Pardon? Hello? Yes, uh, hello. Who's there, please? It's uh, Tom Peters. Great. I just wanted to, uh, I want... Oh, I just want to come by and talk to you about something. Um, I was up about most of the night, uh, kind of worried about Jefferson's tourism industry. Oh, I appreciate that, Tom. Well, uh, I guess it all got sparked off when I was watching That's Amazing last night. <laughs> Love that show. I had the good fortune enough to um, end up taping it. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can find the segment here. Who makes their own clothes out of pancakes? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bradley. Darn it. I should have cued it. Um... Well, you know, basically it was about the Loch Ness Monster. I'm not sure if you're familiar with that. Um, should be coming up in a sec here. Alls are fun, but not when you're locked inside of one. <laughs> Say, I didn't know you were in town. Uh, anyway, uh, they, they had this segment about something called the Loch Ness Monster, which I guess is some sort of sea serpent that lives in Scotchland. Uh -huh. Apparently did, you know, pretty well for their tourism industry. Right. Um, I was just wondering if uh, if you knew of any, you know, mysteries that Jefferson had that we could kind of use uh, to bring in the tourists. Nothing's really ringing a bell right now. Mm. Uh, tell you what, Tom. Uh, can you close your eyes, please? All right. Ta-da! What do you think, Tom? Um, well, I'm just not 100% sure what I'm looking at, I guess. It's our sea serpent. It's our Loch Ness. Oh. I'm calling him Jeffy. Oh, I see. We build our own man-made uh -huh. serpent. I get it. Right. And then we convince people that it's real. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. That's a little devilish, <laughs> but I like it. <laughs> Tom, it's going to be beautiful. I've designed a, a little pilot's pod inside. And okay. I want to put you in there, and, and you can steer it and move it all over the lake like a real serpent. Oh, Mayor, this is really going to be a big big news for oh, tourism. I right? can see the T-shirts uh -huh. and the CDs and all the hats. It's going to be wonderful. I can even imagine a banner that goes, 
Jeffy the Sea Serpent. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, a couple more steps and we'll be there and... Okay, here we are. What do you think? <laughs> Isn't it awesome? Um, Tom, it just looks so real. It's wonderful. It's all you, Mayor. I mean, all I had to do was follow the blueprints. It was perfect. Tom, you just hit it out of the park with this one. Well, remember, we're not done yet. You gotta leak it to the press and we can't let anyone know that it's fake. Right, I got it. As far as I know, that's a real sea serpent. <laughs> All right, let me just get myself situ- ah! Ah! Well, bon voyage, Tom. Let me just take a snapshot here for the Mary News team. Smile. Good. Very nice. Serpent. That's right, Jan. Married News confirmed the sighting of a mysterious sea serpent that dwells deep within the Jefferton man-made lake. At night, he pops his head up over and 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 over again. We're calling him Jeffy. Well, listen, I don't know what it is or where the heck it came from, but I gotta admit something to you, Wayne. Come here. I think he's cute. <laughs> Darn it, I'm running low on air. Better tell the mayor we got a abandoned ship here. Come on, children. Please keep up now. We're almost to Jeffy. Mayor, it's uh, Tom Peters. I'm having an air supply problem down here. Over and out. Uh, mayor to Tom Peters. Over and out. Are we on a secure line? Over and out. Absolutely, Tom. 10-4 to that. Over and out. Check. Over and out. Listen, Tom, I got a big tour group coming to see Jeffy. I'm gonna need you to bring her to the surface and do some tricks for me. Over and out. Yeah, I can't give you a 10-4 to that, Mayor. Looks like we're having some major technical so I'm gonna send her back to port. Check, over and out. Ten four to that, Tom. Torboat's coming your way. Let's give it to him. Over and out. All right, let me just see if I can get her going here. Try my left crank. That should probably take me up. A little less in the gas. Okay. Oh, I'm getting this. Whoops. Tom, what's happening? Over and out. I lost control of her, Mayor. She's got a mind of her own sometimes. Are you saying she ate you? Please, no. Over and out. Goodbye, friend. Uh, Mr. Mayor, uh, do you want to try to explain what's going on in the man-made lake right now? <laughs> Oh, that's actually a funny story. Um, apparently this deadly sea serpent, I'm calling him Jeffy, has risen from the dead and is uh, attacking our town and, and killing everybody. But the good news is that Jefferton Tourism has jumped up 200%. Excuse me, Mr. Mayor, my wife and daughter were on that boat and I don't think it's appropriate that you... All right, Chad, Chad. Shh, come on. <laughs> Who cares about that? You know, the main point here is that we need to, to talk to Jeffy and reason with him and bring him back on our side. And that's why I hired a true friend of the serpent, ladies and gentlemen, Philip Pratt! Hey, folks. Hey, gang. Thanks for having me. Ow! Oh! Oh! Ouch! <clears throat> My name is Philip Priest. I'm from the Snakes and Such Institute, and this here, don't be scared, is Jonathan. Look at that. He's a Swiss bingo constrictor. Ah! Jonathan! Bad! Oh, shh. <clears throat> Let's see what else. Oh, he's a real apple lover. You guys like apples? Do you like apples? Yeah, he eats apples too. But sometimes, guess what? He eats mice. Yuck. 
You gotta eat a whole mouse. Ow! Jonathan, no! Bad! Bad! Gentlemen, the I, point is, Philip is the only man in town with a boat, and he may be able to negotiate with Jeffy. Didn't we yell, little guy? You bit me. Shh. Mayday! SOS! Help me! Anyone! Over and out. <laughs> Who's that out there? Are you a fish? Friend! Friend, listen. Just please give me a hand here. What was that? Try the manual starter cable. Okay. Give it a shot. Thanks, friend. I know you're out here somewhere. Show your face, you silly dinosaur. Oh, thank goodness. Philip, there he is. Mayor, let me talk to him. Jeffy. Jeffy. Yeah, do you like the sound of my voice? Come give your Uncle Philip a kiss. Yeah, it's okay. I'm your uncle, I'm your friend. Give me a kiss, buddy. All right, let me just uh, maneuver this guy to shore. Ah! Can I offer you an apple? Oh! Oh, Philip, no! Oh, oh Philip. I'm gonna get you, Jeffy. Adios a la mañana, my old friend. I think I like you better dead, Jeffy. So you want to play, do you? Come here. I got some fresh apples for you. Come take a bite. Dear Joy, uh, it's been six months now, trapped in the belly of the beast I created. Um, I've been screaming for help in a 20-minute regiment. I uh, don't want to wear myself out too much. But uh, the good news is uh, there's a fair amount of edible foam in here from uh, um, the packing job I did. Oh, oh, hold on a sec, honey. I hear somebody talking. i got to start screaming again. Sounds coming from inside me. Absolutely. Open for ya! My name is Tom Peters and I'm full of ideas. Ah, how are you? Here's that uh, picture of uh, Papa Richardson I was telling you about. This really old guy here started this dam with his family for fun. Then, like, they built a town here. I guess dam experts are like, what? As to how come such a bad dam can remain, like, working for so long? <clears throat> so it's, like, all wood, and it's totally rotted out. Hope we don't get a rainstorm soon. <laughs> Yeah, excuse me, Teach. Uh, Tom Peters here. I got a little bit of a question. Um, I'm doing a diorama of the darn, and I was just wondering if the what? It... Sorry. 
the darn, the, the place where we are here. Oh, you mean the dam? <laughs> yeah, language. So, so we're gonna like, like uh, drive, drive to the, the bottom of the dam and, and check out all the crazy, crazy cracks in it. You totally. I'm sorry. Uh, I should probably take this. Uh, could be an emergency. <laughs> Tom Peters' phone. Listen. I need you to stop by the music store and pick up some bass guitars from my boys. Well, honey, I'm in the middle of my field trip right now, but I'm sure as soon as I'm done here, I might as well oh, go ahead and... Oh, you just do what I say! <sighs> what? How, how's that, hon? Steak dinner again? Well, okay, if you insist, two nights in a row. <laughs> and I will see you tonight, my lover. Hey! It's totally whizzed out. Bass fishing with my mug. On. He's totally whizzed out. He's dead, but that doesn't mean we can't have fun. Yo, it's Wizard. Meet me at this year's Jefferson Bass Fest. Join the bass circle. Meet bass techs and pros. Join me as I attempt to hit the low G. Mm. Three octaves lower than any man has ever played. Bass Fest will take place rain or shine. Located at the base, base, base of the Richardson Family Dam. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, boys, uh, your papa's working here. Would you mind just turning it down a notch for me? All right, now all I have to do is add some water to my darn. Oh, look at that, it's holding. Great. What do you think, Mayor? Great work, Tom. Heck of a diorama. <laughs> well, thank you, Mayor. Uh, you know, I've been working pretty hard at this. Boys, no! Darn it! Ah, shoot, what a mess. Wait a minute. Low-end frequencies, rickety wooden structure, <gasps> crickets. <laughs> Put this in your bass pipe and smoke it, Mayor. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna bust that out of Bass Fest. Looking forward to it, Wizard. Hello, hello, hello. Anyone home? Bass Fest headquarters. How can I help, please? Oh, hey, Mayor. It's it's a uh, Tom Peter. Hello! Oh, respect the handprints, man. Ah, Philip Souza. You blew it, Tom. Oh, gee. Guilty as charged here. My apologies. Uh, but this is sort of an emergency. Okay, Tom. Have a seat, please. I'll just, um, take a knee here. So, I... I wanted to talk to you about Bass Fest. Well, you came to the right place. <laughs> yo, yo, yo! The Wiz plays the bass. Wiz! <laughs> Wiz! <laughs> yeah. Well, speaking of bass, um, you know, I don't, I don't want to throw up any red flags, but um, I am kind of worried that some of the massive low-end frequencies from the Bass Fest might rupture the Richardson family darn. The what? The, <clears throat> the. The darn, the, uh, the, the Richardson eh, water-holding thing. What are you talking about, a dam? <laughs> okay, Tom, well, I guess I'm going to have to write you a poem. Mm -hmm. Okay, here you go. You mess with bass fest, you mess with me. Ah. Whiz! Uh. The darn, the, you know, the Richardson water holding rhymes with ham or Pam. Uh, you mean a dam? That's it, that's it. Now, uh, my stepsons wouldn't let me borrow their bases. <sighs> um, so, I'm, I'm going to try and, and simulate the effects of the low... Boring. So, I'm going to try and simulate the effects of the low frequencies uh, from the bass fest on this model here. Right. Uh, just... Let me start here. Sure. <clears throat> let me start again. Let okay. Me, if, let me just... Fine. Hold on, let me just start Mayor's again. Mayor's Let me start again. Sure. Let me... Hold on. <laughs> if you just... Uh, uh, all right, Mayor. Uh, let's hear uh, your rebuttal. On the first day of bass, that's my true love gave to me A seven-string double funk supreme A crushing blow to Tom Peters' ill-conceived campaign to cancel Bass Fest. Jan, you've been doing some reporting on the issue. What's with all the hubbub? Well, Wayne, the... There's nothing on the teleprompter, so... Come on, Jan. 
Come on, honey. I'm just not sure I should... Go ahead, Jen. I don't know what I should do. Brian, can we go to commercial? Brian, go to commercial! Stupid face fest. Hey, hon, uh, this parking lot you set up is blocking my car in, by the way. <sighs> you know, Joy, I really wish you would have discussed this with me. <laughs> Leave Base Fest alone. Yeah. Tom! The boys need a ride to Base Fest! Well, as I stated earlier, I am anti Base Fest, but, you know, they can join me in my protest canoe if they want. Not them to Base Fest! No! The people of the future. Shoot. To the people of the future, this is Tom Peters, man from the past. I make this record to tell you of a town called Jefferton which once existed. A beautiful place filled with beautiful people. It was for a brief moment. A great town. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for. Get ready to freak your funky bass face, my bass children. The Grand Bass Master, Jefferson's own Wizard! Yo, 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 I got to tell you, the Wiz is so high on weed right now. Yeah! Check it, check it, check it. I'm gonna take this face. Way low. Let me just tune it down right here. Oh no, it's starting. Wizard, please stop. Ah, emergency, let me try this. Hi, Tom, there you are. Hey, Mayor, got some bad news up here. Looks like Wizard's bass playing is starting to rupture the darn. Wrong again, Tom. It's your heavy canoe that's rupturing the dam. What? No, I'm pretty sure it's not. Well, I'm pretty sure it is. Yo, yo, Wizard's got something to say here. Mayor? Maybe Todd's right. I mean, music's the most powerful force in this world. Why shouldn't it be able to tear down an old family dam? Excuse me, um, up here, I think I have a theory to stabilize the darn and keep the bass fest going. Great, Tom. Can't wait to hear it. All right, what I'm going to do is exactly mimic the low frequencies on my side of the darn to act as a counterweight. Right. Well, all you have to do is play me a simple scale, and I'll doo-wop it back to you, and that should be able to keep the darn from breaking. Of course, Tom. Where me hacky sack at? No, wizard. Tom needs a bass line. Yo, let's do this thing. I'll give it my best shot. Wiz, try something a little jazzier, you know, for the fans. Can I just hear the first part again? Hey Tom, what are you up to? Well, uh, you know, looking for my family, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you, Tom. Can you believe what Wizard said about the power of music? Yeah, it was, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? In insightful. Hello? Anyone there? Hello? 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 Oh no, where my son go? I don't know, but you better run ho. I suck bass fishing in the big time. Hip hop rapper.
a non-stop check me rhyme I'm the whiz, I play my bass backwards Fuck some bitches, get out of my face, nerds Hell no, got no goatee on my face Slap your ass like I slap my bass Absolutely My door is always open for ya! My name is Tom Peters and I'm full of ideas. How are you? Uh, knock knock, hello. Uh, yes, mayor's office. Uh, Tom Peters here. Hey, Tom. Uh, just was going kind of door to door. Uh, had this uh, fruit basket here with me. Wanted to see if you'd be interested in that. Oh. Or... Wow, Tom. That's so sweet of you. Uh, Thank no, you. No problem. What the heck is this thing? Oh, did that slip in there? Darn it. Uh, well, let's just... Uh, my latest version of my resume. Uh, I updated the paper size and, uh, of course, I changed the font on you. Okay. Yeah, I'm just... Uh, Kind of out on a job hunt. Turns out my son's having career day over at the school next week, and uh, uh, haven't exactly found a um, you know quote unquote job. So well, let me take a look at this thing. <laughs> this is hilarious, Tom. When can you start? Oh, uh, well, w what in terms of? Or well, a huge CEO position open up at the Department of Special Projects. You'd be perfect. Oh, wow. White collar, let's say. <laughs> well, uh, I'm leaning towards yes, but uh, just in terms of what, you know, you guys do over there, just not quite clear. Maybe this web film will clear the air. Okay, so what is the Department of Special Projects anyway? The Department of Special Projects is about family, friends, e-strategies, and community outreach. You know, I'm just one man, but how can I get involved with the Department of Special Projects? Everyone can ship into the Department of Special Projects. It's so important for your family and your town. Is it true that the Department of Special Projects is in a strategic alliance with our community and the business community? You said it. The Department of Special Projects is a strategic alliance between our community and the business community. Hold on a second. You gotta tell me. Is the Department of Special Projects fun or what? No. It's more than fun. It's an enriching and exhilarating experience that everyone can enjoy. Is the quest of the Department of Special Projects still to achieve past its goal of the 21st century? No. The Department of Special Projects takes the vision of the mayor and joins it with all of the wonderful commerce and world trading that we have in Jefferson. What do you say, Tom? Will you take it? Well, it sounds great. Um, the only condition I have is I'm not much of a Thai guy. Uh, I don't know what your policy is, but um, I'd meet you halfway with a bolo. It's a deal, buddy. Knock, knock. Uh, sorry to interrupt your class, Mr. Dunkel. Um, I'm Brendan's stepfather, Tom Peters here. Uh, hey, son. How are you? I just want to confirm that I will be speaking at uh, Career Day next week. Um, I'll be talking about my new position as a uh, top-level CEO over at the Department of Special Projects, so... <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Brendan, son, I'll see you home tonight. Uh, once we get you tucked in your PJs, uh, maybe we'll play a little game of Pet Pet. Oh my God, it's perfect. Yeah, she does look quite nice. You're also going to need this. It's a XXL Durango briefcase for men. It's top of the line. Everyone's getting one this season. I hate to drop names, but Ashter Havarama has one. David Van Gilder. Jojo Manelli. All right. Isn't that smooth? That's cow skin on the side there, Tom. And on the reverse side is a little bit of horse hair. Give it a touch. Isn't that nice? Eh, I guess a gentleman never gets a second chance to make a first impression. <laughs> Home stay, Mr. 
Mr. Peters? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our new CEO, Tom Peters. Wow, geez. I don't know what to say. I'm a little... Sorry, I'm crying. Uh, I just want to thank everybody here for giving me this opportunity, and uh, I can't tell you how important this is for me and my family. Um, I'm going to tr try really hard, and I'm going to be the best CEO this company's probably ever had. So. Tom, you're just going to do great. <laughs> Here's your executive dingleberry, and here's your elevator pass. Just swipe that pass right in front of the sensor, and it'll take you right to your office. Welcome, CEO Tam Pietres. Oh, thank you. I'm not sure why we're going down. One second, Roy. Yes, Mayor's office. Hey, Mayor, it's, it's Tom Peters. Oh, hey, Tom. How you doing down there? Listen, I, I got a big problem down here. Uh, they've got me digging. <laughs> well, Tom, that sounds fine. I, I don't see what the problem is. Roy, I said no. Well, it's just that I thought you said I'd be CEO, you know, like the head of the company. Oh, I, I, see, I see what's happening. You must be a little confused, Tom. You're my certified miner on duty. My CEO. Come on, Roy, let's get back to work. My job as CEO is the best job I've ever had. Each day is jam-packed with high-level decisions, important meetings. This isn't true at all. I can't lie to my son. Pick up the pace, you lazy son of a bitch! Excuse me, guys. I uh, hate to interrupt. I was just wondering if you guys had any idea what we're digging for down here. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Are you kidding? It's a special project. I don't know. No one does. Well, how do you know what to dig for, then? <laughs> <laughs> He's a joker. <laughs> All right. Uh, hun, would you mind turning it down just a smidge? I'm trying to get a little shut-eye here. Ah! All right, we're back. Uh, my next guest is one of the anchors on the Married News program. Uh, he's here to talk about some of the stories he's been reporting on. My husband, Wayne Schuyler. Well, hi. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Thanks so much for having me here. I'm a big fan of the show. Oh, well, thank you. It's been a heck of a time getting you on here. <laughs> and now it's time for a segment called The Hot Seat. <laughs> Jefferson has been spending millions of dollars on the Department of Special Projects. Isn't it time that we find out what we're digging for down there, Wayne? Isn't it time that people know? Answer the question! I don't know. So, in conclusion, the CEO's job is basically the head of the company, and they get to make a lot of high-level decisions and get to hire and fire anybody they want to. So, thank you very much. Your career is the greatest Your work is sublime You're a master You'll be at your prime For all time Nice work, you filthy liar. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha,
Sons, wake up. It's your pet pet, Mr. Pickle. Your uh, your dad, your stepdad. Um, but you, you guys can call me Tom Peters. Doesn't matter to me. Uh, listen, I, I just had a pretty bad nightmare, as you can probably tell. Um, and uh, I, I won't be coming to career day tomorrow, son. I need you to know that. Um, the truth is, I'm, I'm not a CEO in the traditional sense of the word. I'm, I'm just a filthy miner. In fact, I just got off the phone with the mayor where I, I resigned. But... Uh, you know, tomorrow's another day. I'm just going to get back on the horse and get some resumes out there and see what I can do. Attention, Jefferson. Please report to Memorial Park. Ladies and gentlemen, the Department of Special Projects can now come to a close. After nine long years of vigorously digging, we have unearthed my special mystery surprise. I'd like to thank City Council for donating 99% of the town's budget. And I'd like to thank all my Louis Andersons for believing in me on this long journey. Thanks, Louis. I wish I could thank former CEO Tom Peters, but he just couldn't stick it out. And the job just wasn't for him. Shame on you, Tom. And now, ladies and gentlemen, my special mystery surprise! Oh, look at this. My Seinfeld poster. And my 1990 Mary News calendar. open for you. My name is Tom Peters and I'm full of ideas. Ah, how are you? <laughs> Stop your whining and get the boy on the ground. <laughs> Use your calves, Randall, your legs. Push like you're having a baby. Use your torso. Come on! <laughs> Damn it, I've been coaching the squat for 25 years, and I've never seen a more pathetic display of female cowardice and womanly stupidity. You're making me sick. Where the hell is my equipment, boy? <laughs> Huh, Stain's being a tricky little bugger here. What the shirt is this stuff? Flaximax? Flaximax! X3! Powerful! Non-approved body mass growth stimulant. For use in racehorses. Huh, that doesn't sound right for children. Better bring this to Coach Harris's attention. Damn it, Brendan, what the hell is wrong with you? Have you ever thought about going home and prancing around in your mama's Sunday dress or wearing her panties or putting on one of those cotton ponies? You're a sissy bitch, Brendan, just like your father. Uh, excuse me, coach? I've seen your father. I've seen stains in his pants he can't explain. There's something I like about you, but it's not being a girl in a boy's body. It's being a wrestler! <laughs> oh, Brendan, don't cry. Uh, coach Harris is just trying to give you a little bit of tough love here. <laughs> Uh, sorry about that, uh, Coach. Um, uh, word to the wise, we do try to steer clear of some of that negative energy around our house. How dare you open your mouth around me, you piece of trash. You worthless excuse for a mother equipment boy. Don't you ever tell me how to coach these boys, or I'll cut off your head and it in your neck whistle. Oh, uh, my apologies. I was, I was out of line there. I'm sorry. I will take your tiny boy body and break every one of your bones. Every one! <laughs> Uh, coach, 
Are you, are you with us? Coach? Uh, knock knock, hello? Oh, hello, milady. Excuse me? Good morning, Chip Chip. No, no, it's, it's Tom Peters here. I'm uh, actually a man, uh, not a woman. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah, I didn't really have time to change out of my uh, wrestling scrubs. Anyways, um, I sort of have an emergency on my hands here. I was cleaning out the boys' locker room, and I found this tub of Flaximac. Flaximac! Totally max! Uh, I think it's some kind of illegal muscle growth formula. Paul Child's Children's Hospital is on line one. Miss, I'm sorry. Hold on a sec. Mayor's office? Yes. Right. <laughs> Tom, Coach Harris had a stroke. Uh-huh. Oh, no. They said it was caused by the equipment boy. Mm-hmm. Well, fine. Goodbye. Yes, ma'am. Uh, how can I help you? Well, I was just trying to bring this Flaximax stuff to your attention. I, you know, I think if people find out that the kids are using it, uh, we, we'd have to forfeit. <laughs> Come with me. Oh, <laughs> looks like you were very popular. I was, Tom. I'm not quite sure if you're familiar with the wrestling move called the crab, but I was responsible for developing that. Well, uh, news to me. Yeah, boys wrestling is the most important thing in my heart. And to the citizens of Jefferson. So, any talk of forfeit is just out of the question. Well, I still feel that this Flaximax is just Shh. against the rules. Shh. Let's be scientific about this and give it a little test before we jump to conclusions. <sighs> Guess I should get a sense for the lay of the land here. Are you this topic? Come on, Tom. We'll both do it. Here, I'll help you. Just take a little sniff. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! Wow, this stuff isn't for kids. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Tom? Oh, wow, it's, uh, I feel all tingly. It's, <clears throat> I can conceive of my own facial hair coming out of my face. It's, it's like I want to get a haircut, but I don't need one. So it's this whole time-spatial relationship. Uh, it's very spiritual, actually. Let me just get another one here. <laughs> wow! <sighs> Stuff is incredible. <laughs> you got to try it, Mayor. Oh, no, thank you. I'll pass. I'm still trying to figure out who we can get to coach for the championship. Wait a minute, I got a good idea. Why don't I coach these boys? Tom, that's a huge responsibility. Are you sure you can handle it? Sure, 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 sure. I'll do it. I'll do it for Coach Harris and I'll do it for Jefferson. I won't let you down, Mayor. Ah, damn it, I'm freaking late. Why does this stupid thing always default to Foghorn? Darn digital whistle. Should have stuck with a more traditional model. Uh, no! no. <laughs> there we go. All right, boys, gather around. Uh, before we get started, I just want to talk to you about this Flaximax stuff. Now, uh, I don't want to see any more of you kids getting mixed up in this crap. Ain't that right, coach? <laughs> oh, boy. Now, our championship is in a couple of weeks, and if I catch any of you kids messing around with that crap, I'm gonna march right down to city council, and I'm gonna have all of you benched! Are we clear about that? No, it's just against the rules, children! <sighs> all right. Instead of practice, you're all gonna sit your little asses down and watch this power presentation that I made. Enjoy it, children. <laughs> ah, finally. <laughs> ah, whew, this stuff is addictive. We're just days away from the Tri-County Community Boys Wrestling Championship. The mayor has appointed equipment boy Tom Peters to coach the pinners this year. Well, from all of us here at Channel 5 News, good luck, Tom. Let's wrestle! Wow, these muscles are really starting to bulk me up. Hey, head coach, looking good. Oh. <laughs> what, have you been working out? Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you look wonderful. Well, thank you. Just trying to keep uh, in shape. So, are my pinners all ready for tomorrow? You bet. Uh, I gave him a real stern lecture about this Flaximax junk, and uh, I think it really left an impression. Great news, Tom. Let me give you a hand here. Looks like a straight jock got away. <gasps> what the heck is this? <laughs> Flaximax? Flaximax, put the weight on fast. Darn it, children. Tom, I thought you had this situation under control. Yeah, so did I, but these 
kids are getting so crafty. Darn it, children. Now I have to go to city council. Wait a minute, Tom. Please, just turn your cheek on this one. No, 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 no. These kids have to be punished, Mayor. Okay, well, I guess there's no use in showing you this. Oh, what's that? It's a wrestling statue of you. And I'll put it right next to mine. It's beautiful. And if you keep that mouth shut and bring me home that championship, it's all yours. Hey, Mayor, what's all this about? Well, I felt pretty bad about making you keep that secret last night, so I came up with a way for you to save your integrity as head coach and still win that championship. Oh. All right, uh, regarding this whole uh, Flaximax situation, uh... I have this complaint letter from, uh... It looks like Tom Peters. What? I didn't... Tom, how could you? Mayor, I swear to heck I didn't have anything to... Shh, Tom, come here. Secret meeting. You see, I did a little bit of sports research on the web last night, and it turns out that in a normal boys' tournament, if one of the teams gets disqualified, the whole match gets decided on a simple coin toss. And look what I got. Two-headed coin. Uh... I don't think any of that's true. Uh, okay, uh, well, it, it looks like we're going to be forced to, uh, go ahead and, uh, test you boys for traces of this Flaximax. Well, then, uh, anybody want to tell me who's going to wrestle for Jefferson this year? Ladies and gentlemen, he stands five foot two, four hundred and twenty-five pounds of pure muscle, Mrs. Tom Tanner. Wait a minute, Mayor. I, I don't think this is such a great idea. I mean, I'm a man, and this is a, a boys' championship. Tom, do this for me. Do this for Jefferson. Do this for Coach Harris. <laughs> Fair enough. Let's wrestle! It's a man's game, but the boys will go. You've got to kill to survive. Now I'm going to be. Tacky and Tom, and you can see me on my side. Lone wolf out in the night. This game is game. There she is. What a beaut. Better late than never, huh, Tom? <laughs> By the way, how have you been? Good to hear. Oh, wow. That Flaximax really dried up your spinal column, now, didn't it? <laughs> Told you to steer clear of that, Tom. Anyhow, let me help you here. I'm going to prop up your head and put this telescope right up against your good eye. Look what they did. Looks just like you. down to the grand opening of Lou's Waterbed Galleria, home of over 100 waterbed outlets and shops. Lou's Waterbed Galleria features luxury king prints, Victorian designer round and preferred full. Bunk waterbeds for your children, including pear and pearl shaped bed boxes. And because Lou's is located on the lake, not just next to it, you'll pay no local taxes. Right, Lou? We're shoving right off, shoving right off again. Ahoy! <laughs> Ugh. I'm not particular to that smell. Great set, man. Cool. Really cool. Went all right.
Uh, Tom Peters here. Um, I live around the area uh, here, bro. Um, I, you know, I just want to tell you, your music's wonderful. Well, thank you, brother. I think you're wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Great, man. Cool. <sighs> Give my left thumb to be this guy's manager. Ah, man, you must be making a killing out here with these great tunes, right, bro? I'm a little bit down on my luck, to tell you the truth. I, you know they're kicking me out of house and home because of this damn waterbed galleria? Uh, what, what do you mean? You you live here on the boardwalk? Yeah, bro, it's a real bummer. Uh, that doesn't sound a fair. A waterbed? Doesn't anybody who wants a waterbed have one already? That's my take on it. <laughs> oh, damn! Uh... Well, um, tell you what, uh, Sax man, I may have a quick fix. Uh, my wife is, uh, out of town right now visiting her ex-husband. Um, mm. uh, shoot, she really doesn't like me having men stay over, but... Oh, boy. Well, uh, I could set you up in my son's pop tent, you know, for a while. Um, and you know what? I could go ahead and talk to the mayor about getting a relocation plan together, I guess. Oh, that is so sweet, man. That is so good of you. <laughs> Wow, Lou. I gotta tell you, this is just one heck of a bed. <laughs> oh, baby, I knew you were a waterbed man. I certainly am, Lou. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I should have knocked. No, it, it's fine. Lou's just installing my new waterbed here. All right, well, you know, I'll just come on back tomorrow. All right, then. get your ass over here and take this bitch for a test drive. Whoops. Isn't it? Wonderful. Okay, that that's good. Thank you. It's just like an amusement park ride, Tom. Um, just getting a little seasick here. <laughs> ah, that was fun. Thanks for stopping by. Um, I'm sorry. I I actually have a little problem I'd like to discuss. Great. I love problems. Well, I'm uh, managing a musician here, and um, you know, he's actually being forced to evacuate because of Lou's waterbed uh, galleria there. I'd love to hear that CDR. Oh, Tom, you got something special here. He actually plays the wind chimes himself on that track. Oh, boy. Listen to that melody. Oh, this is really awful, guys. Lou, you gotta be kidding me here. Uh, I mean, this music is just beautiful. He just gotta play your waterbed grand opening. Oh, okay, well, you know, it's not really what I had in mind, but, uh, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm sure we'd be interested in playing live, um, you know, as long as Lou doesn't have a problem with it. Oh, come on now! Tuta tuta the saxophone, honka honka the saxophone, tippity tippity tap saxophone go honka honka and I don't like it. Oh, I'm sorry, Tom. I just don't think Lou can visualize the power of the sax man with just a CDR. Hmm. Let me think. All right. Well, well, this is just a brainstorm. Okay. Uh, but uh, what if I directed a video of of the sax man, mm -hmm. and that way we can show, <laughs> you know. I love it. <sighs> All right, here we go again. Now, Saxman, just try and focus with me here. Action. Oh, cut, cut. What, what's wrong now, Saxman? Well, I'm just used to playing with my shirt off, you know? Uh, a shirt is just confining, and I have such wind when I, when I b blow that, that I need to... Can I? Bust out? Uh, yeah, I, I guess. Let's let's get some shirtless takes. <laughs> uh, let's roll again. Roll again. Back to one. Okay. Cut, 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 cut. Ah, oh, what is it now, sex man? I, f I just feel uncomfortable. Why? Well, I think it's that I'm the only one with my shirt off now. And that puts me totally out of balance with the flow and the vibe of the room. I'm trying to bring it, you see, and it's not being brought. Uh... Would you take your shirt off, too? Just to keep me company? Uh, okay. Great. This is really blowing my mind. Great video, great directing. Oh, thanks. Thank you very much. But the show's off. What? Well, I've been thinking about this, and it really doesn't make sense for your saxman to play Lou's grand opening. I mean, we'd actually like someone to sing about 
lose water beds and promotional offers, and your guy's mouth will be tied up to tuning on his horn. Huh. Well, I mean, uh, let me just throw this out at you. I mean, I could, if I get some brochures together, right. educate myself on the water beds, maybe I could write some lyrics for Sax Man, and, uh, you know, I could sing them. You know I love the sound of your singing voice, Tom. If we don't ask for your custom, <clears throat> excuse me. if we don't ask for your customer code, your water bed will be ten percent off. Fuff, fuff. <gasps> hey. Oh, geez, sorry, Saxman, you scared me. Oh man, what? Um, why aren't you outside in the pop tent? Oh, it's so cold out there, brother. That's it's frosty. Oh, uh, wait a minute, Saxman. What's that on your legs there? I found these tiny pants in this totally fun room. Those are Brendan's, Saxman. My sons. Th- that's my stepson's room. You're fiddling around. Whoa, in. whoa, man, dude, chill out. Where's the anger coming from? I'm. So- Is this the way you treat a, a partner? I'm just really stressed out about our concert tomorrow, and and you know, I'm not exactly getting the luck of the draw with these lyrics here. I, I have just the thing to calm you down, my brother. Yeah, get all snuggly down there. Sax man, hold hold on a second. Let my sax notes massage your soul, brother. Sleep, baby, sleep. Okay, here we go. Try it. Let's take it from the top. Two, three, four. You're guaranteed to sleep if we don't ask for your customer code. Your second mattress is half, half off. off. Right. Well, half maybe you can do a C sharp. Half off. See, you're a half step off on the half off. <laughs> I'm just trying to. Half off. Yeah, you're probably right. Uh, let me just make a note of that here. Ah, shoot, I'm working in the bass cleft here. Darn it. Uh, you know what, Saxman? Let's take five. Um. There's actually been something I wanted to get off my chest this morning. Uh, did you and your friends happen to come in the house and have some kind of jazz jam last night? What? In the house? No, I slept like a baby right out there in my pop tent. Huh, that's weird. So, no, it's nothing. There's there's just... There's some piles of BM in my bedroom. I Just, uh... Something... I don't know. You know what? Forget it. <laughs> Let's take it from the top. Two, three, four. If we don't ask for your God, God... It's not working, man. It's just not working. No, we'll get there. Come on, you know, we just we just need to rhyme some of these words here. I haven't... Uh, let's see, what what rhymes with consumer price rebate? No, no, it's not that. You're rhyming like a diamond. It's just that my lips are all chapped. I need to wet them up. Darn! What is it? Well, the best way is to kiss someone for a while, you know, just to moisten up the lips. Okay. Oh, Tom, I wouldn't ask you if I knew another way, but, you know, we're burning studio time here, and it's I don't understand. You, you said you want to you kiss me? Well, or? it's not so much that I want to, but it's my chops, you know? Need to touch another man's lips to bring him back to life. Well, all right. I, I guess a kiss on the mouth between friends can't, can't hurt. <laughs> Joy, you're back! My stepdad with some man in our kitchen. Tom Peters' phone. Tom, it's me. Where the heck are you? Uh, I'm at home. I, I got grounded. Ooh, that sucks. I wish you could have seen the sax man. He was great. Yeah. He made it. <laughs> I don't yeah. know if he was going to make it. He sold about eight or nine CDs. I mean, you're going to make a huge profit off oh. of this show. Well, that's, we're not really working together anymore. Joy doesn't really want me, you know, hang around with him, so. Well, that's a bummer. How long are you going to be grounded for? Uh, I don't know, probably a couple weeks. Uh. How's the, how was the grand opening? Everything? Yeah, it was great. Gimbal Twins are playing now. Oh, I, I, I wish I could see them. I love the Gimbal Twins. <laughs> yeah, they're hilarious. So, um, well, I, I should probably, you know, get off the phone. Can you use the internet? No, not really. Hmm. All right, uh, well, uh... You know, 
I'll talk to you later. Okay, give me a call later. Bye. You're guaranteed to sleep if we don't ask for your customer code. The savings be passed on to you. Free delivery for any double bed set. You're guaranteed to sleep. Absolutely. My door is always open for you. My name is Tom Peters, and I'm full of ideas. Ah, how are you? Alright, <laughs> so where was I? Oh yeah, yeah. I get home from a hard day's work, and again, there was the pee-pee and the poo-poo all over my bedroom door. Uh So, I say to my nephew, who is 15 years old, mind you, Victor, you have to start using the toilets when you're in my house. So, I put him in the cellar for the weekend to teach him a lesson. (laughs) Would you mind telling me where is the harm in that? Well, you know, children these days. (laughs) Enough about me. What are you in for, kid? Well, I supposedly, you know... Killed about 4,000 people. (laughs) Ah, People are too sensitive these days. All right, out with it. What happened? Well, it all started a few months ago. Um, I thought I was finally on the verge of something big. Where is that devil? I know you're around here somewhere. There you are. Darn lawnmower man. Oh, I need more money. Boo hoo hoo hoo. You bastard! Pardon? Ah, good morning, sir. Say again? Uh, mayor's office. What? <laughs> uh, who's there, please? Uh, maybe maybe this will help. Oh, okay. See, it's, it's just me, good, good old Tom Peters. Oh, that man looks familiar. Well, I know there's an old soliciting sign out there, but, uh, I, I'm just doing a little door-to-door salesmanship here. Right. And, uh... I have a pretty cool product called Spray a Carpet a Rug. Uh, I'm not sure if you heard of that or not. I don't think so. I do remember. I created Spray a Carpet a Rug 17 years ago in my basement, and now I'm in a three story building. I have personally given permission for this comedy show to use the name of my product Spray a Carpet a Rug. Because everyone deserves to laugh. Isn't that right, Granny? Save money, honey! Thanks for using my product. And thanks for my three-story building! Let me just get this thing going for you here, you know, show you how it works. Wow, it looks just like real carpet, Tom. Well, it actually is carpet, so... (laughs) Fine. Uh, Well, tell me again, why are you wearing that suit? Well, it turns out I'm very allergic to this foam here. So my body doesn't really take to the chemicals, it goes straight to my spine. <laughs> Hello? Mayor, are you, are you listening? Oh, you silly bearded man. I don't know how, but I'm gonna get you. <coughs> Tom, can you get that thing in green? Uh, let me see here. Uh, yeah, I think so. Good. Well, my plan is to actually replace all of the grass in Jefferton with carpeting using this brand new product called Spray Carpet or Rug. And that way we can get rid of the lawnmower man for good, as my chart clearly demonstrates here. Hmm. Uh, well, I... I don't think substituting grass with carpeting is the best idea for our community. Well, if you see in the brochure there, we have a stain-free guarantee. Uh, uh, in fact, I think some of these chemicals could be rather harmful to the grass. And to the people on the grass. Gentlemen, don't worry. This strange-looking scientist assured me that this spray of carpet or rug is perfectly safe. Uh, you know, Randy, I wouldn't be opposed to a trial run in Memorial Park. How's it going? Just keep smiling, Tom. I think they're going for it. (laughs) 
so I, I got this huge contract to carpet all of Memorial Park. Good for you. An entrepreneur with a dream. Not like my Victor, who's pooping and peeing on my door as we speak. <sighs> Look at you now. Uh, the bottom of the bottom of the barrel. Ah, you know, if I was you, I wouldn't be able to live with myself. Oh, really? Hey, come here. Have you ever thought about, you know, suicide? Not, not really. Well, you sort of have to. You, you are a family man, right, Tom? Well, I, I, you know, I don't have life insurance, so... <sighs> life insurance, they give that to you. You can apply for that after, when you're dead, when you do the thing, you know, with the dead thing afterward. Don't worry about it. Oh, well, uh, I guess I could see the appeal in that plan now. <laughs> Between you and me and the wall and my pooping nephew, Victor, the rope's the best way to go. You just have to get a good knot going so you snap the neck clean, you know, no mess. Well, you know, thanks for the advice on that. I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry, I, I interrupted. I, you were telling a story. Oh, uh, well, um, everything was going great. Uh, I finished the carpeting in a reasonable two hours, which I guess is some sort of world record. Wow, well, that only took me a reasonable two hours. <laughs> Must be some kind of world record. Hey, Tom, check this out. Uh, lawnmower man, a word please. Look what I have here, a big check. Oh, I'm sorry. This check's actually for Tom here. <laughs> you see, we won't have to mow this ever because it's carpet. What was that all about? Here you go, buddy. I went ahead and backdated it about a week just in case there are any problems ahead. <laughs> okay. How was that? Ah, uh, never mind, Tommy. People are just gonna love this carpet grass. What? What is going on here? Hmm, I don't remember anything about this in my training. And whatever you do, do not expose this stuff to direct sunlight. A horrible burning chemical reaction will occur. Darn it. A rare and deadly skin condition caused by the carpeting Tom Peters laid in Memorial Park has left hundreds of Jeffertonians dead and dying. Let's go to Jan Schuyler, who's live on the scene. Well, it is just chaos down here at Memorial Park. But here's the good news. I did my research and I found that when I stuck my head deep in the stinky gases here, I found no side effects. I feel absolutely 100% fine. So somebody ought to come out here and tell me what all the hoo-ha is about, Wayne. <laughs> Wayne, back to you. We gotta get rid of the evidence! Honey! Where'd you put my helmet and hazmat suit? Oh, I threw them away! Joy! Why did you do that? Why did you do that, Joy? Why did you do that? And by the time my seizures petered out, uh, the cops had broken down the door and darted me. And, uh, you know, I ended up here. Aye, right, those police. It's them who should have the poop poop on their door. Uh, <laughs> what am I saying? Pretty soon you won't have nothing to worry about. Here, here, let me help you with that. Well, to tell you the truth, I'm a, I'm a little nervous here. Oh, I know what you're thinking. Oh, no, I'm going to break my neck on this rope. It's going to hurt so bad. that Don't worry about it. I've tried it a few times. It's just a little boop and whoosh and we're done here. Now, would you just relax? Well, I appreciate it, and uh, as I said before, it was nice meeting okay, you. Okay, Tom, you're a saint. It's been an honor to know you, and I'll never forget our lovely time together, man, all the rest. Oh, and, you know, on a side note, I would like to thank you as well. <laughs>
your great work in Memorial Park. Oh. oh. Okay. Of course I'm going to have to take you up on that stain-free guarantee. <laughs> okay. Um, what about my family? Um, my, my friend said something about life insurance. Sorry, buddy. Jan, I want you to know that sharing our lives together here on this new set and in our wonderful home has been a truly incredible experience. You bring joy to my life, and I love you with all my heart and soul. So, absolutely. Hi, I'm the mayor, and my door is always open for you. My name is Tom Peters, and I'm full of ideas. Hi, how are you? Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 <sighs> this darn bounce house has really busted my bank here. Mm, let's see what this debt wheel can do. Consolidate? <sighs> That's what it gave me last time. What the heck is this? Gibbons, I'm working here! That sword is so awesome. Pretty good bargain for 800 bucks, don't you think? <laughs> uh, aren't you supposed to be looking for work? Uh, nah. They only made a thousand of these beauties, and it's signed by the dojo where it was forged. Uh-huh. And I'm pretty sure it comes with an emerald sheath. Fine. Right. Eh, what was I gonna say? You do know my birthday is next week, right? Yes, I know. It's my birthday too, remember? You know, surprise parties are great because you have fun in the beginning of the party. You know, when people get to hide and yell surprise. And then you have more fun, like later, like when it's a normal party. So it's like two parties in one party. Yeah, I know. Surprise parties are cool. Now, listen, Gibbons, I have to get back to work. It'd be really cool to have a surprise party. Yeah, uh, loud and clear, Gibbons. Ding dong, uh, Tom Peters here. Mayor's office. Who's there, please? It's, uh, Tom Peters. Great, Tom. Come on in. Okay, um, I just wanted to try to get to the head of the class here, drop off my uh, uh, party grant application. Okay, let me see here. Looks like we have a category C, small child, party type, surprise. Great, I love those. Accessories, mm, no. Gibbons? Gibbons! Gibbons, Gib Gib Gibbons. Hold on, you're not planning a surprise party for Gibbons, are you? Um, yeah, yeah, in so many... No, no can do, buddy. I've got my own surprise party in the works for little Gibbs. Oh, okay. Tom, this is going to be the party of the year. I mean, we've got the small business leaders, uh, the entrepreneurial society, city council's going to be there. Let me see, chamber of commerce, the direct marketing committee. <laughs> Tom, this is one networking event you're not going to want to miss. Wow, I can't wait. What? Uh, let me check if you're on the guest list first. Hmm, no Tom Peters here. Oh, let's see. It uh, well, it might have ended up going under my maiden name, uh, Tom Pickle. Huh? 
Huh. Mm-mm. Mm. No Tom Pickles here. Sorry, Mr. Pickle. No, oh, it's uh, Tom Peters now. Um, he can just call me Tom, though. <laughs> Hilarious, Tom. All right, I'll put you on standby, but I'll have to run it by Gibbons first. Oh. <laughs> oh all right. Whew! Gibbons was right. She sure is a beaut. How the heck am I going to afford that? Hey, Tom. What? It's me, Tom Pickle. You. Wh wh what are you doing here? I heard we're not invited to Gibbons' surprise party. Yeah, it was sort of a bummer. I was really hoping to get some of my business cards out there. Tom, you have to show Gibbons that you care about him. <sighs> the only way you're going to get into that party is if you get Gibbons that sword. But I can't afford that sword. I mean, 60% of my income's going to that darn bounce house. Tom, look behind me. Pennies? You want me to you you want me to steal? It's not stealing, you're just robbing Peter to pay Paul. Man, that's a heck of a point. Go for it. Who are you talking yeah. to? Gibbons! What are you doing here? Who me? Oh. The mayor got me a job as a security guard. Isn't it so cute, Tom? Yeah, I guess. So, Tom, I was gonna ask you something. I can't wait to hear what it's gonna say. Did you have a chance to check out that sword I was telling you about? Yeah, it's nice. Pricey. Totally. Uh, I bet it could slice through anything. What do you think, Mayor? Probably anything. When do you think you'll get it for me, Tom? Hmm? Soon, Gibbons. That's good news. Well, I gotta make my rounds. I'll probably stop by the food court and get me a mixed greens combo. Okay, thanks for the info. Hold on a second. There's something else. What else was I gonna tell you? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Check you later, Tom. Tom, you just gotta get Gibbons that sword. It's all it talks about. And it comes down to this Look at yourself in the mirror Are you stealing from yourself? And you try to stop but you find your heart Was right down by your shoes Find yourself with nothing else, nothing left to lose. And you look back on the dreams you've had, they've all gone down the tubes. And it comes down to this look at yourself in the mirror, you steal. All right, uh, 950 bucks. Good to go. Hey, Tom. Yeah. Can I see you in my office? We have a little problem. So, how'd your arm get so wet? Well, funny story, actually. I was... Yeah. And where'd you get all that change from? Well, as, as you know, I have a piggy bank. Tom, I was wondering, from your perspective, like where you're standing, when you look at me... Do you see an idiot? Gibbons, <laughs> what are you talking about? I've been watching you steal from that fountain for days now, and I'm pretty disappointed in you. Don't worry. I won't turn you in, but I want half. Gibbons, you don't understand. Half. Gibbons, you know I have financial problems, and it's for a friend. Half. God damn it, Gibbons, it's for you. Half. Gibbons, I steal from children. Do you think I'm proud of that? Half. Half? Half. 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 Yeah, fine. You're still giving me that sword, right? Yeah. Do you think you can get me into your surprise party now? Uh, I'll see what I can do. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Honey, uh, hold my calls. I'm going to go check the mail. Darn it. Darn it. Darn it. Darn it. Darn it. Celebrate your birth. Oh, that's thoughtful. May you experience the happiest of birthdays. Oh, Carlson Realty. 
Guess I gotta send them a thank you postcard now. Uh-oh, what do we have here? What the hell is it? It's something from Gulliver's! It's probably just some coupons! Han, break out my business cards! We just got invited to Gibbon's surprise party! <laughs> Hey, fellas. Yeah, great party. So cool. Oh, hey, everybody. The Pickles here. Hi, Tom. It's uh, Tom Peters, not Petra's. Uh, mind the typo. Tom Peters here. Yes. Uh, here, take a business card. Uh, the number on there is not current. Good to meet you, Tom Peters. Here, uh, help yourself to one of my free business cards. Hey, everyone. Thanks for coming to my surprise party. I want to take this time to introduce you all to my best friend, Tom Peters. Well, Gibbons, uh, I got you your sword here. Oh, really? Yep, right here. Great. Now I have two stupid swords. <laughs> nice try, Tom. Mine's the executive model. So, oh, you bought that with your own money? Gibbons, come on. No, seriously, that's an expensive sword. You must have worked real hard for that. What are you doing to me? Hey, isn't it true that you stole for that sword? <gasps> no, of course not. Huh, great. Some little girl can't get her wish pony because I needed a second stupid sword. Gibbons, I think this should be a, a private conversation. What was I gonna tell everybody? Oh, yeah. Check this out. Hmm. I steal from children! I steal from children! I steal from children! You framed me? Sorry, buddy. I, I would have gotten children. suspended I if I didn't turn you in. I Don't worry, buddy. Children. It's probably just a slap on the wrist. I children! I steal... Hey, Tom. Oh, hey! What are you up to? Oh, me? Uh, I'm on uh, community service here for about 6,000 consecutive hours. Community service? What for? Um, my stealing, you know? Tom, you shouldn't steal, buddy. Well, I'll make a mental note of that for next time, but uh, I guess I'm killing two birds with one stone here. Highway litter is a little bit of a pet peeve of mine. Let's go, Gibbs. We got an appointment at the sword range. Check you later, Tom. Is open for ya! My name is Tom Peters and I'm full of ideas. Ah, how are you? Some more? Oh, you're too much. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Come on. Oh, do it. Oh, not again. You filthy pervert! Quit moaning! I'm trying to watch my TV! Join us all week long for Behind Closed Doors, a deep exploration of Jefferton's sexual problems and dirty secrets. What turns you on, Wayne? What turns you on, Jan? The news just got a little hotter.
Uh, Mayor's office. Uh, it's Tom Peters. I'm sorry, sir. You're going to have to speak up a it's little bit. Tom Peters. Um, I'm sorry. I'm just a little under the weather today. <laughs> well, you look terrible, Tom. Yeah, I'm just a little dizzy or something. Well, I don't know. Take a seat, please. Oh, no, no, thanks. I was, I was mm, just stopping by to propose a new buffet. Excuse me. Good morning, Peter. How are you? I'm Dr. Vickerson. I'm your doctor. Well, uh, we got your test back here, and uh, looks like you've got uh, a bad case of uh, chronic nocturnal emissions on your hands. Around here, the boys like to call it C&E. <laughs> you see, Tom, due to your lifestyle, you and your hormones have reverted to a schoolboy sexual level, uh -huh. and your body deals with it through these, what we like to call, wet dreams. If we take a look at your e-chart looks like you've also developed a, a nasty case of ISS as well. It's what we like to call irritable semen syndrome. That would explain the burning and all the rashing. Well, there's really two ways to treat CNE. The first and easiest is to simply examine your relationship with your wife. Well, that's not gonna happen. And the other alternative is to perform emergency testicular surgery, which would be quite intensive and painful. I'm talking balls painful. Phew. Well, I guess that's a, a lot to consider. Um, I just to have a couple of and questions. And we are done here. What's going on? Oh, your uh, Cinco insurance just ran out. Uh, you have a 12-hour policy. Sorry about this. Peter, take care. Don't listen to this quack, honey. Let's get a second opinion. I think my private physician can treat your sick dong. Uh, hello, emergency. Hey, Mayor. Hey, Michael. Huh, Dr. Rick, Rick, tick tock, tick tock, tock. Rick, a day. Do, do. Rick, a daily no. Rick, a day. Rick, Rick, a daily no. Um, if I could. Rum, Reggie. Ranch, Reggie. Dick. Rick, Dick. Rick, Dick. 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 Oh, another good one, guys. Steven, I've been reviewing your charts, and I think I may have a solution for your sticky problem. Uh, first off, it's uh, Tom Peters here, and I'm, I'm sorry, did you say you had access to my medical records? Of course he does, Tom. Michael's a medical doctor. He's also the official rep for Provo C. Uh, I'm just not sure what, you know, what that is. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe this rag top? <laughs> He's just a boogie board. <laughs> what an idiot. Well, get ready to be blown away. Everyone wants to know, what is Provolone Aproxolidamine C? Provo C was designed by several Dutch scientists to attack the source of your chronic nocturnal emissions and to strategically eliminate all traces of sexual desire. Although originally designed as a dangerous fox repellent. So, what do you think, Tom? Oh, it's, it sounds like a miracle drug. <laughs> yeah. I'd love to get my hands on some of those pills. What are you, a millionaire? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's not really in your price bracket, buddy, okay? Come on, Tom. Oh, okay. Well, we tried, old friend. All right, well, thanks anyway, Mayor. Wait a second, wait. Let me just spitball something past you here. You've done some modeling in the past, right? Well, not so much, but uh, I guess in terms of my goal sheet... Uh, it's hey, right. Mayor, I think Steven here could be our new spokesmodel. He'd be perfect, Michael. How do you do it? Well, I really don't want my uh, image to be associated with a penis disease. Come on, Stevie. You'll get all the free anti-arousal pills you'll ever need. It's just a few photo ops, big guy. Come on, Tom. Don't you want to be famous? All right. Hi, I'm Tom Peters. And for years, I have not been able to control my unpleasant and embarrassing CNE. But thanks to taking provolone aproxolidamine C five times per day, my sheets my bed, and my wife are all dry again. <laughs> More smiles or... Okay. Sexier? Let's make a star, Michael. Tom.
Tom, it's happening. Just what you wanted. <laughs> yeah, you know, it really just feels so right, Mayor. I, I can't tell you. You're becoming a star, big guy. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I guess I am. Hello, Jefferson! <laughs> Are you ready to be knocked right out of your socks, huh? You've heard the buzz. Now open your arms and embrace Provolone Aproxalinamine C. Yeah! All right, here come the Provo C girls. You think you can turn me on? Well, bring it on. <laughs> That's right. Come on and sit on Uncle Tom's lap here. <laughs> See? No dice. Dry as a bowl. Hey, Mayor, your boyfriend's getting out of control. Huh, I wonder if the food court here has any of those crispy chicken tiddlers I love so much. Now, everybody, don't forget to watch Channel 5 tomorrow night for my big live interview. Hey, Gibbs, it's me. Uh, just checking in, seeing what you're doing this weekend. Uh, me, I'm taking the Model T down the coast for some lobster tail. Excuse me. Uh, uh, hey, uh, we're going to need you on the set in five minutes, Mr. Peters. <sighs> Gibbons, I got a jet. I'm doing my live interview. Um, I'll give you a buzz later. Um, newsflash, we got another warm soda here. Mayor, you don't seem to be doing anything worthwhile. Oh, I'm sorry, Tom. Looks like the problem here is that we're running low on ice. Ah, can't you two idiots get anything right? Steven, calm down. My name is not Steven! Okay, okay, Thomas, like I told you before, the rider your agent faxed over is very elaborate- Ah, uh, would you just go to hell? Oh, uh, good news, Tom. I found a cold shrimp soda for you. <laughs> you guys just don't get it, do you? I'm out of here. You listen and you listen close. If you walk out that door, we're gonna have a big problem, Tom. Don't do it, guy. I am Tom Peters, okay? <laughs> Alright, you just go ahead and try to sell this crap without me. Tom, I'm warning you. You will be fired as the spokesperson for Provolone Aproxolitamine C, and you will not get any more pills. Get out of my way! Um, Tom, without those pills, your C and E will flare up again. Shut up, Mayor. I don't need those pills. I don't need you, or you, or you. I don't need any of this shit. There goes another nightgown. Shh, children, I'm trying to record an outgoing greeting here. Hi, this is Tom Peters and family. Welcome to my... Hey, Steven, it's me again, Dr. Michael Ian Black. Just talked to the guys upstairs, and I want to pass along some info. Considering that you were such a gumball the other day, not only have we dropped you as our spokesmodel, but we're also going to charge you for all the Provo C that we already gave you. So if you got a problem with that, call our lawyer. It's okay. Bye, Steve. Ah! Ah! <laughs> you scared me. Um, hey, Mayor. Michael, good to see you. Um, uh, I'm glad you stopped by, though. Uh, you know, I, I wanted to apologize for the way I behaved the other day. But but I, I do need those pills, so if, if there's anything I can do... Oh, I'm sorry, Tom. No can do, buddy. Oh, okay. okay. Well, uh, looks like Joy and I have a lot of talking to do then. <laughs> Ow! Oh, shoot! There's my ISS kicking in! Ow! <laughs> What a mess. <laughs> Ew. 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 So, Lutely. Hi, I'm the mayor, and my door is always open for ya. 
My name is Tom Peters, and I'm full of ideas. Community Spirit. Ah, how are you? <laughs> Chopping. Knock, knock. Hello. Yes, how can I help you? Well, uh, it's official. Um, I'm a grandpop. Fine. And, uh, these are for you. Oh, thank you, Tom. Well, technically step-grandpop. Uh, one of Joy's oldest daughters just gave birth. Uh, we're calling her Joy Minder Pepper Peters, after her grandmama. Here's a recent picture. Oh, my God. What a beautiful baby. Well, she's what they call a wolf child. Right. Um, trouble is, I'm pretty allergic to her, you know, un unfortunately. Um, and, and you are? Um, well, it's Tom Peters. Hey, Tom. Well, it sounds like you're gonna have to update your Friendship Alliance profile. Uh, friendship, friendship Alliance? Let me just log in here. Want to make new friends? Create your profile. A way to meet real friends online. Friendship Alliance. Let's see here. Single, married, divorced, grandpa. There we go. Step grandpa. All right. All done. Now we just play the waiting game. Hey, Tom. I saw your profile on Friendship Alliance. What was I going to tell you? <clears throat> Gibbons. Will you add me as your friend? Cool. Check you later. Gibbons, you're already my friend, dummy. Oh, look at that. Hi, Tom. You look like a super fun guy. <laughs> Cool. Let's meet up and hang out. How about Saucemans at 7? You hear that, little Joy? Your Grandpa Pop's got a new friend. Hi, John. Can't wait to meet you. P.S. I love Saucemans. Where do you go to get all that sauce? Saucemans! But what about the meat? Bring your own meat! What can I do with my meat? Dip it in the sauce! Dip it in the sauce! Mmm, that's great yeah. sauce. Over a thousand dipping sauce combinations available at Saucemans Family Sauce House Style Sauce House Restaurant. Meat not included. Uh, John? Tom? Guilty as charged. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tommy, take a seat. Oh, thanks, John. Uh, I hope you don't mind. I brought some of my own meat from home. Wow. Tom Peters in the flesh. Man, just great to finally meet you. How by the way, nice call with these sashes. Well, thank you, John. I just thought it would be a, a nice way to spot each other in a crowded room. <laughs> and, uh, hey, what the heck, it's not a bad icebreaker either, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I might wear mine all day. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't mind me saying so, you look very dashing in it as well. <laughs> <laughs> like a couple of dressed-up gentlemen. <laughs> Where's me top hat, Tommy? <laughs> Oh, better get my walking stick in my in my white spats. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> oh, you kill me. Oh man. Look, I don't want to sound forward or anything, but I think this is going really well. I know, I you know, I didn't want to jinx it or anything, but I I think we're really hitting it off. You know what? I usually do this alone, but why don't you come deer hunting with me tonight? Ah, oh, shoot, I'd love to. Oh, actually, I kind of frown on hunting, but... Uh, frown on it? Oh, no, no, no. I mean, what I meant to say was uh, Joy and the boys are uh, with their stepdad this weekend, so um, I'm left babysitting little Joy. Which, <sighs> it's tough on me anyway, but darn it. Don't worry about it, buddy. I don't know why I had a... Rush things. I, you know, I go hunting every night, so let's just go tomorrow night. Oh, thanks, John. That's that's a load off my mind. <clears throat> oh, I got this, John. No, no, I got it. No, John, please. Tom, me... did you hear what I just said? No, I got it. No, John, no, I brought the meat. I'm paying for it, okay? Tom! No! 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 Okay? I just said, we're new friends, but be cool. Yeah, knock, knock. Mayor's office. Who's there, please? Just uh, Tom Peters checking in. Hey, Tom. Well, I wanted to stop by and drop off this balloon baquette uh, just as a thank you for setting me up with the Friendship Alliance. Tom, don't worry about it. My pleasure. Um, I actually just met a really wonderful man a few days ago. Pardon moi. Uh, uh, Tom Peters' phone. Tom, it's me. Listen, I'm in 
big trouble. Who's this, John? Yeah. Who do you think it is? Mayor, you're not going to believe it. It's my new friend John calling. Ah, speak of my devil. <laughs> uh, what is it, John? Well, I was out deer hunting, and I saw this small creature on top of this deer. Yep, yep, girl. And I was like, what the hell is going on? This isn't right. So, I took aim at that little critter and just blew him away. I think I've been bit by a bumblebee. Well, I get up real close to the thing, and Tom, I think it's a small man. Sort of like child size, but it had a beard. A really horrible smelling beard. Oh no, Gibbons. Uh, what's that about Gibbons? You don't say, John. That's so funny. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? It's not funny. What? Oh, you silly goose. Come on. Meet me at my house later, okay? Uh, <laughs> you're so great. Bye now. Tom! What was that all about? No, no, no nothing. Uh, John was just telling me a funny story. <laughs> great. I love stories. Oh, man, I am so screwed. All right, just just relax, okay? Uh, let me fix you a warm glass of diet iced tea. I just got a new box of powder, so. Okay, now where's that creature you shot? I buried him. What? He's, he's dead? Think so? I don't know. Maybe. Probably not, though, man. I'm freaking out again. Now, hold on, buddy. We can figure this out. You know, that's what friends are for. Now, just tell me, did this man have a big bushy beard that kind of smelled like horse manure or a dead animal? Yeah. Yeah, like a garbage can before you rinse it out. How did you know? Uh, it's my friend Gibbons. He loves to ride deer at night. I'm going to miss my old friend. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry, man. I'm... Oh, hey, guys. Mind if I pop in? Oh. John, this stop bird. it. Come on, John, put the lamp down. Oh, my head. John, that's my friend you're hitting. Stop. John, please stop. Dumb John. Oh, my God. What did I do? I did it again! Oh, Tom, I'm so sorry! All right, calm down. We can fix this. We just need to get him to a hospital. Tom, we can't! They will know I shot a man and buried him alive. They'll throw me away for life. But he's bleeding, John! Tom! We're best friends! It's game time! Now grab the duct tape out of my bag. Let's go. Do you have any rat nap? And this ought to keep the little bugger quiet for a while. Here, open your mouth. Come on, come on. He's just bitter mm -hmm. for a second. John, John, I, I really don't think any of this is necessary. We have to do this. We need time to figure this out. This is the only way. Oh, my God, it's the mayor. He's going to know. Tom, don't say a word. I'm warning you. No, John, now this has gone too far. I'm going to tell him, okay? The mayor is my friend, and, and so is Gibbons, for that matter. Can't let you do that, friend. I told you no! Why does anybody listen to me? Not in front of my step-granddaughter, please. She shouldn't see this. Um, hello? Uh, who's there, please? What do you want? Um, where's the man who lives here? Oh, he's walking the baby! Oh, I love that little baby. Have you seen my friend Gibbons? Uh, he missed jumping class this morning. I'm a little concerned. Nope! No, no! Listen, uh, you better go away. I haven't seen him. Okay, um, but if you do hear from my Gibbs, please let me know. Oh, okay. Okay, I gotta go take a crap so I won't be near the door. I won't be able to hear you anymore. So, you should probably leave. <laughs> what the heck is... Oh my god, that's Gibbon's beard. Uh, uh, what is going on here? I taste rat nap on my lips. <sighs> and I can't feel my legs. Listen, Gibbons, I don't want to sound like a monkey's uncle here, but maybe if you weren't riding around on the top of a deer last night, we wouldn't be in this pickle jar. <laughs> Little Joy, shut your hairy mouth, okay? Freak! Gibbons, are you in there? I, I smell you, Gibbons. You two keep it down in here. What? Excuse me, sir. Uh, I think I smell my friend's beard in here. No, I, I was just using the bathroom. No, no, I can recognize that stench anywhere. Well, he's not here. Sir, please let me in. Well, I can't, no. Because I'm house-sitting, and they told me not, don't let anyone in the house. Give it! Oh, Gibbs. Let me take a look at you. Gibbons. Oh, man. You look just like a little snapper turtle. <laughs> Oh, I miss that beard so much. Oh, lights out! Oh. Oh. Ah. 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 No one listens to me! Ah. Ah. Had to come in the door! Had to come in! Had to know! Who 
was I gonna? Oh, yeah. Gibbons has to pee pee. Should I just go here, or do you have a place where you put it? Hmm. Just go ahead and pee in your pants, boobs. That's what I've been doing. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. This is all my fault. You know, meeting my new pal in Friendship Alliance made me forget about my old friends. Right. Listen, man, I'm so sorry things turned out this way. <sighs> it's okay, John. I understand, you know. Some, sometimes friendship can be real hard work. <laughs> Oh God, this is awful. What did I do? What, what am I supposed to do now? I can't control myself. Well, I know what I would do if I were in your boots. What? Well, I'd give us a concentrated dose of retina. What that's going to do is knock us out for a couple weeks, and then I would pack a bag and get the heck out of town. All right? When Joy gets back in a couple weeks, she can wake us up with some Reviver Rat. I love you, Gibbons. Now get out of here. Well, what about your step-granddaughter? Who's going to care for her? You really want to be a friend? You know it. Take her, John. Take her. Absolutely. I'm the mayor, and this weekend we celebrate 30 years of Jefferton. I'll be awarding a $500 commission to an artist who will create an original painting that represents our wonderful town. So come on down to Gulliver's for balloons, Roy Teppert music, and the grand unveiling of our new town painting. Oh, this one's not even close. <sighs> No, that's not gonna work either. No, no. Mm, no. Uh, hello? Yes, mayor's office. Uh, t Tom Peters here. Fine. Come on in. Um, uh, well, you look a little busy there. Should, should I just catch up with you later? Or? No, it's okay. I'm just having a real hard time picking the right artist for Jefferson's 30th anniversary. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, um... You know, I was in the neighborhood, and I, I wanted to I wanted to tell you about my new store that I'm running at the mall. Great, love to hear about it. Yeah, it's it's called my Big Cups. Okay. Um, you know, basically they're they're just big cups um, with some decorative designs on the side, and uh, they hold just about two liters, uh, 1.8 to be exact. As you can see here, we have a a little soda left over in the bottle. Ugh, what are you gonna do with that? Well, what I like to do is take one of my disposable cups here and. Uh, just empty out the rest, and uh, we take one of our free uh, baggies, which we include with the cup, and you can just seal that up and put it in the trash. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> you know, I just kind of in my head had this idea that you could kind of come in and show your face, uh, you know, make an appearance. Um, I don't know. You know, I just thought it would be kind of a cool PR move. Oh, Tom, of course. I'd love to come down and check it out. Oh, well, there goes the fire alarm. I guess I'll talk to you soon. Oh, that, that's just my business pager. Mm, I see. Um, can I use this line here to return the page? Or <laughs> That's not a phone, Tom. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> it's a big one, baby. Come on. Check my big cup. Double up, heavyweight size. Fill them up and guzzle till you're satisfied. Big and wide, 10 feet high. 1.8 and I'm feeling right. Yeah, we stack them up high. Take them on a drive. Put them in a belt holding one plus five. Damn, that's big. I love my big cups. Big cup. I love my big cup. I love my big cup. I love my, I love my, I love my big cup. My big cups. All right, that's uh, five big cups. Uh, I got the Everest, the Grand Canyon, uh, two planes, and one my big black cup. Uh, I'd also like to take my big cups belt there behind you. Oh, good choice. Uh, actually, the belt holds six big cups, so... Um... Great. I'll just take one more of my big black cup. Oh, okay. Uh, let me just tally you up here. Tom, uh, who's the artist there? Pardon? The painting behind you. You never told me you were an artist, Tom. Oh, uh, no, that's my son Brendan's. Um, he, he painted it for his mother on Mother's Day, um, but Joy didn't care for the pasta smell in the den. But I like to keep it up here just to, you know, remind me of home. Tom, and... you know what I like what you did here is uh, you put your three stepsons here, and then this must be Joy. I'm just, why didn't you put yourself in your painting? Oh, I'm sorry, I, you know, I didn't make it. Um, 
My son Brendan made it. Oh, I see what you did here. The the tree actually symbolizes you and how you look down on your family and kind of protect them. Well, you know, I didn't I didn't do it. Um, my son Brendan made it. Mm, what is that? Macaroni? Good choice, Tom. Well, uh, as I said, you should be really proud of your. My painting, son Tom. Brendan made it. Well, Tom, I'd love to sit around and talk about your painting all day, but I'd rather go home and fill these guys up with some ice cold soda. Cold soda. <laughs> All right. Um, next customer, please. <sighs> oh, customer. Hello, th uh, thanks for paging my big cups. This is Tom Peters speaking. How may I help you? Yes, I, I just have a quick question about my big cups bill I just purchased. Mayor? Who's this, please? Tom Peters. Oh, hey, Tom. I'm really glad you called. I actually have some big news for you. You might want to sit down for this. All right. You know, to be honest with you, Tom, I just can't get your beautiful macaroni painting out of my head. Oh. So I'm going to go ahead and give you that $500 commission. <gasps> Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, for Jefferson's what? 30th anniversary. Oh. Congratulations, guy. Uh, well, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Fair enough. You know, just for the record, th that particular macaroni painting, I, you know, my son Brendan made that. You know, I just don't feel comfortable representing myself. <laughs> Jan Schuyler reporting live outside the mayor's office where local artist Tom Peters has just been chosen by the mayor to do a painting of Jefferton for our 30th anniversary. Wait a minute, Tom's no artist. Ugh. Now I'm standing here with one of the losers, her name is Brittany, and let's just see what we have here. Okay. Well, it's a nice painting, but I guess it just didn't quite cut the mustard, huh? You must be very disappointed. Do you um, have any other talents? Maybe you could uh, join the chorus or the violin? Mike, do you want to cut? Or... <laughs> hey, sh son, don't cry. Your dad won a $500 art prize here. It's <laughs> Come on, we should be happy about this. The only problem is that I'm not really sure how to do that macaroni style that you created, so I'm going to need you to, you know, go ahead and, and do it for me. <laughs> Son, come on, let's get a smile going here. I got your macaroni, which I know you love, and some glue, and, and the... Uh, we're closed! Boys, get behind the counter. Uh, mayor's office. Oh, oh, oh. good evening. Come on, come on in. Hey, Tom, I just wanted to stop by and see your progress on the Jefferton painting. Oh, okay. Uh, wow, this is beautiful. Well, um, I haven't exactly gotten into the physical production of it just yet. Mm, um, okay. But I'm, uh, you know, I'm kind of still focusing on the creative inspiration segment. Right. Yeah, I see. Uh, uh, well, let, let me just, you know, show you show you what I'm thinking of. Great. Um, I, I figure I start with the, the city skyline, and uh, we can have a bald eagle swoop over, mm. uh, yeah. leaving a trail of gold dust. Wow. That'd be great. Um, then I want to symbolize the community. So I was thinking of, of a group of children, um, you know, roughly my son's age, uh, saluting mm -hmm. the Jefferton pipe flag. And, and then in the middle of painting, I just visualize a locomotive, you know? Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> um, just symbolizing good business Choo -choo. leadership. <laughs> uh, just crashing through the city skyline. Uh, just, I hear you, Tom. Well, I got a lot of work left to do here, so I, I better let you get going. Well, thanks, Tom. Me and Mix have a pretty big night in the town planned. Right, Mix? <laughs> yeah. Boys! Boys, get your little asses in here and keep them warm. Brendan, 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 get in here. What the? F he took my boys.
Uh, <clears throat> thank you, Mr. Teppert. Uh, always a pleasure to hear your music. Uh, well, I guess that concludes our 30th anniversary. Uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, what about my painting contest? Oh, right, right. Your contest. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you now to one of America's most influential artists and the winner of this year's 30th anniversary Jefferson painting contest, Tom Peters. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, You're welcome. It, it's such an honor for me to have been chosen to uh, have made uh, this painting that I made. Um, and, uh, you know, me and my family, we're, we're new to Jefferson, and uh, it's such a, it's, uh, everyone's been so nice to me. Um, Kidnapping son of a bitch! You know, I feel like the great thing about my painting is that it, it really did capture the spirit of Jefferson. And um, yeah, that's all I have to say. Everybody come on down to my big cups. I uh, hope to see you there. And uh, without further ado, um, my painting. Here we go. And she can get my boys to work for nothing. You know, to be honest with you, I didn't know how my painting would go over with everybody, but, uh, you know, I'm pleasantly surprised. Joy! <sighs> that man took my boys! Shh, honey, no, don't... <sighs> I'll, I'll explain everything later. Please. Hey, that looks like one of Brendan's paintings. What are you doing with it up there? Oh, wait, wait a second, Tom. Is she saying that your stepson made this painting? Well, uh, you see, the thing is, uh, uh... Um... Uh, a fire alarm. Uh, uh, excuse me, there's a fire. Uh, a fire. <sighs> Saved by the bell. So, lutely. Hi, I'm the mayor, and my door is always open for ya. My name is Tom Peters, and I'm full of ideas. Community spirit. Ah, how are you? <laughs> Hi there, uh, uh, Tom Peters. Uh, we're here. Here stands Tom Peters, awaiting counsel from the mayor. Tom is a small, feminine-looking man, not used to success. Todd, just, just take a two on that. More about me being an entrepreneur. Hey, no filming in city offices without a permit, guys. It's it's okay. I'm a filmmaker. He's my wife's ex-husband. He's, you know, the father of my children. Okay, bullseye. Here we go. Oh, 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 Mayor's oh. office. Uh, mm, yeah, it's uh, Tom Peters. Hello, Tom. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Just trying to pick a new name for the bridge we're building. Oh, not a problem. Uh, just let me get some rubbing alcohol on this. Uh, do you mind if we film in here? Tom is reduced to begging for permission from the mayor to film. What if the mayor denies him? Tom cowers in fear, waiting for an answer. Oh, a movie shoot. Well, sort of. We're, we're shooting a pilot for a, a reality-based show called Mr. Entrepreneur. Interesting. I like it. Who's your leading man? Well, the pilot features me. Um, we'll see how that goes. You know, it's just really a spec pilot for now. It's not much. Well, in that case, I better get into makeup. No, no. It uh, should just be candid, so you don't have to worry about that. Tom, once again, is caught in the lion's den, waiting... I'm sorry, cut, cut, cut. Uh, all right, look, I was really picturing a more 
noir look for this uh, location. All right, can we fly in some Venetian blinds and a smoke machine? Can we get a smoke machine? Tom, you're doing fantastic. Todd, cool it. Okay, Tom, now uh, how can I help you? Or what? Oh, hey, hang on. What was that? I'll tell you what that was. It was beautiful. Okay. Uh, everybody just relax. I know it's exciting uh, being on set, but uh, on the show, we watch uh, me go through the process of creating, selling, and, and marketing a product. Right, Tom. I like it. I like it. Oh, this is gold. <laughs> this is gold. Keep it up. Come on. The camera loves you. Tom, the camera loves this guy. Um, so I have this thing called a calcucorn. It's a, a statue of unicorn, and the, and the cement base has a calculator in it. Wonderful, Tom. I love your ideas. And cut. That's a take. Great work, guys. Todd, I'm not done. Ah, just keep rolling. I'm sorry about this, Mr. Mayor. Um, so phase two of the show would be that uh, we watch me produce an infomercial. So I'm going to be doing that tomorrow, and I uh, wanted to see if you'd want to be a part of it. Tom, <laughs> of course I'll be a part of it. Todd, uh, looking forward to seeing uh, the first pass of the show. Todd, no, come on! Ah! Or what? Pause it, pause it, pause it right now! Or what? What do you think, Tiger? Are we in business or what? Well, uh, it's not really what I had in mind. This is fresh. This has an attitude. I think this is the way to go. Well... Would you, would you be up for some notes? You know, just try and curb some of the humorous stuff. Do you, do you need a... <laughs> oh! Yeah. Add a stylish touch to your living room or desk set. Calcucor. It's as easy to use as a calculator. Calcucor. It's light as a newborn baby. Calcucor. Calculate large numbers with the help of the world's most mythical beast. The following is a paid advertisement from Calcucorn Incorporated. Yeah, take two. Are we on? Uh, hello, my name is Tom Peters, and I'm standing here with the mayor of Jefferson. Hi, Tom. I'm so glad to be here promoting this wonderful product with you. Well, uh, let me ask, have you gotten a chance to play around with the Calcucorn? Absolutely, Tom. Tell you what I'd love to do. Let's get some random numbers from the audience and give this sucker a test drive. Okay. Well, what do you say, audience? 759! How about another one? 487! Okay, well, uh, first thing I do is I just plug it into any wall outlet. Right. Not a problem. Uh, turn the on switch on. Of course. Take care of that. Now, I'm going to take the number 759. Fine. And uh, we'll hit the plus button. And after that, I'm going to put in 487. And we'll press the equal sign. Now all you do is, is pull the string in the back of the unicorn and wait for your answer. Terrific, Tom. 1,567. Can you believe that, ladies and gentlemen? It's just that easy. Oh, it's so great. Oh, terrific. Say, Tom, I've heard that this calcucorn can do your taxes with the press of a button. Great one, man. What? Uh, no, uh, I, don't, not, I don't think so. And I also heard it can tell time. No, it's just a calculator. Come on, just stick to the cards, please. I am. Calcucorn production is underway. Tom's plan is working, but for how long? Can Tom manage to hang on to the widow's peak of success, or will he tumble like a boulder down the mountainside? A safe man's bet is for the latter. Todd, come on. Jeez, a little encouragement wouldn't hurt. Okay, let me do a quick in-camera edit here. Hey, Tom, how's the movie coming along? Okay, I guess. Um, it's actually a whole heck of a load of work, though. <laughs> so, how are my cockycorns doing? Cut, cut, cut. Ah. Oh. God, I hate the lighting out here. I wish I had a strobe light. Yeah, this scene needs more drama. Hold, please. Let's reset the lights. Guys, the scene is playing out great. Hold that energy. Uh, sorry about that, Mayor. Yeah. Uh, the Calcicorns are doing great, actually. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a really terrific first quarter. I just uh, shipped out this huge order, about 300 units. Oh, well, that was me. I ordered them for the bridge people, Paul Child's Children's Hospital, and a baker's dozen for the city council. Oh, geez. Uh... And... and... Action! Oh, gee, I hope they don't bite our butts here. I, I just haven't put the corns through some of the product testing that I really wanted to. 
You know, they're sort of more for kids. Tom, don't worry. We featured this thing on TV. So what could possibly be wrong with it? Cut! Cut! That is, uh, that's a luncher. Okay, let me see here. Eight plus eight. Eighteen. Wait, what, what did she just say? Oh, uh, I was just fooling around with the calcicorn. corn. You know, I put an eight plus eight and it gave me eighteen. No, no. Well, that's what she's saying. Oh, let's, let me crunch some numbers here. Nah, sure, it should be more around sixteen. Uh, that's not good. It's, gi- it's giving you eighteen? Nah, don't worry about it, Tom. I'm sure people are just using these things for guesstimates. That's it, fellas. Line her up to, uh... 77. 77 degrees. You're on. Go. We're on the air. Go. Speak. This just in. The still unnamed Jefferson Bridge is suffering one of the biggest bridging disasters in recent memory. Construction firm Parcel, Powell, and Moylan miscalculated on a tremendous number number of structural elements. Spokesperson from the firm blames entrepreneur Tom Peters' brand new engineering device called the Galcucorn for the mistakes. We're We're also getting getting word that our very own Channel 5 News technical team has been affected by the Calcicorn, which may explain why we've been having some technical problems during tonight's broadcast. But Jan, you look terrific. You stop. We're on television. I owe you a romantic weekend. (laughs) Let's go live to Gulliver's, where Tom Tom Peters Peters is testifying testifying before City City Council Council as we speak. Tom stands before the city council. His harebrained product has ruined literally thousands of people's lives. A bridge connects to thin air. A doctor murders a patient. How will Tom explain himself? Uh, <clears throat> um, can we can we can we proceed here, please? Uh, yes. Sir. Now then, Mr. Peters, uh, if I could just, you want to go ahead, please, and explain uh, why there are no procedures set up to prevent these errors uh, that apparently are in your calcucorn? Oh, now that's a good question. Tom must pay the piper. Oh, I'd love to do this as a crane shot. Hey, is there any way we can get a crane in here? Maybe a jib arm. Maybe a Hennessy 420. Todd! Would you please stop filming for a second? Get the camera out of my face! I am so sorry, city council. I'm sorry I'm yelling. You are ruining my life with your stupid TV show. I want you out of my house. I have no idea why this thing doesn't work. I don't know how calculators work. For Pete's sake, this was just meant for children. Not bridges or anything like that. Maybe it was a glue. I'm so sorry I'm yelling, Mr. City Councilman. I can't stop. Shy, 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 Thomas. Shh, settle, 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 settle. I think I have a solution for both your problems. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the opening of the Tom Peters Memorial What the Heck Bridge. This hilarious non-working bridge features 10 shows a day. Now, let's watch the amazing diving unicorn do his show. The continuing journey of Mr. Entrepreneur. Will he dive headfirst into the next business venture? Or will the pressure of success leave him drowning in the deep end? Okay, here I go. Anyone? Anyone up there? Todd? Come on. This suit is making me sink. It's the only issue I have with it right now. And so, in the end, Tom Peters, marketing genius, reinventor, proved to be ahead of his time. Bravo, Todd. What a great movie. Uh, I actually have um, a lot of problems with it. Would you please shut your mouth, you son of a bitch? To recapitalize on its true essence, Tom Peters is... Mr. Entrepreneur. I'm the mayor, and my door is always open for you. 
My name is Tom Peters, and I'm full of ideas. Oh, how are you? Dr. Ian Black was, he lived his life uh, to his fullest, as far as I know. Uh, so, um, what can you say about good old Dr. Ian Black? <laughs> okay, uh, well, I, you know, really didn't know him that well. My Michael. Oh, my Michael. Uh, you may be asking yourself, how, how could this have happened? How could this have happened to me? So, um, what happens is the, the raw sewage is processed using a turbine system I invented, uh, which creates an electrical charge that we can, you know, power the entire town with. And now I'm going to show you a, a web movie that will demonstrate exactly how this process will work. All right, get this going here. Terrific. Hi, I'm Tom Peters, but you can call me Poop, because I can create electricity for your town without costing you a nickel. It's so easy, you're not going to even believe it. And here's how it works. Fun Twitter's batteries are running low. Ah, shirt! Sure. Fun Twitter will shut down in three seconds. Bye-bye. So long, little boy. Ah, uh, sorry. Uh, this is actually my son's fun pewter. Uh, Joy's using the laptop for some work-related projects. Oh, God. You're a lot bigger than your profile said you were. Ah. Uh. Mr. Peters, despite your technical problems, uh, we are very excited by this uh, uh, proposal. You know, this idea could actually make the world a better place. Uh, I agree. We'd like to get started on this. Uh... Bop, 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 bop. I could pounce in here. Not to be a sticky Tuesday about this, but, but don't you think we'll need some independent third-party verification? Well, I suppose that's not the worst idea. Uh, Mr. Peters, do you think you can drum up a few letters of support? Well, yeah, I could go ahead and look into it. Terrific! I can't wait! Come on, Tom. Storm it up, buddy. Give me a B-storm. Uh, I think I'd be able to think clear without, you know, your brainstorming cap on. Mind the cap, Tom. It's just I don't, I don't have the access to any of these experts. I, I don't know where to start. Tom, let me see that cap. Ah... Uh... I got it! We book you and that energy plant on That's Amazing! Oh, I've, I've heard of that. That's uh, that's the show my stepson really loves. Oh, you wouldn't believe this show. You see, they have kitten jugglers, exotic pie tasters, you know, people with different or strange haircuts. You and your That's Amazing energy plant will be on national TV. And that way people will have to believe it. <sighs> I'm just not sure I get that. Tom, I'll book you this afternoon. But right now, i got to prepare for my next appointment. I'm meeting with a man who's apparently some sort of third-party verification expert. Oh. <laughs> well, maybe he can verify the energy plan. What's so funny? Well, you know, I mean, you know, he sounds like this might be the guy that... Well, you were laughing, and I'm just not sure why. Was it a joke, or... No. <laughs> I don't... I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to... <sighs> you know, I was just laughing at the... You know, coincidence of it all, I guess. Excuse me, Dr. Ian Black is here. I'll send him in place. Okay, let's see what we have here. Mayor? Michael? Rick a tick a tick tock, tick tock tock. Ring, ring a ding ding, ring a ding ding. Rick a dick, rick, rick a dick, rick. Ring a ding a ding ding dong. Rim, 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 rim. Michael, how long has it been, old friend? Too long, you sassy devil. You crab apple. You delicious horseshoe crab. Oh, I'd grab you with my claws if I had any. I'd pinch you so hard. <laughs> <laughs> 
Who's this guy? Oh, shoot. That's Torn, Tash, Tennis, Tens, Tango, Cash, Tay. He looks like a Steven to me. <laughs> Steven. <laughs> Steven. <laughs> Hello, Steven. Hello, Steven. It's actually Tom Peters. It's good to meet you. So, Michael. They tell me you're a doctor of energy now? Yeah, it's a great gig, and you are not going to believe the company car they just gave me. Not a LeBaron. A LeBaron. Ring a tick a tick tock tick tock tock. Ring, ring a ding ding, ring a ding ding. Ring a ding ding, ring a ding ding, ring. Rick a dick, Rick, Rick a dick, Rick. Ring a ding a ding ding dong. <sighs> so, where's this energy plan you want me to look at? Oh, uh, if I could chime in here, uh, maybe it would be helpful if I could drive you around town and, and show you where I envision us laying the pipes. To the LeBaron! Hey pal, I'm a ding dong, get your rage on, get laid. Hey pal, I'm a rim ram, get your rage on, get laid. Oh, okay guys, um, can you hear me? Uh, if, if what you want to do is look out to your right there, and um, you see that gully, uh, that's that's where we would lay most of the pipes. Well, there she goes. We just missed it. Just tell me where the next turn is, Steven. Okay, I see. I can't really hear you with the, with the music. Um, just come on, Steven, keep up. If, uh, if I could just pull ahead of you guys, it'd be a little easier showing you around. Sweet tweeters, huh? Uh, 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 uh. Okay, give me a sec. I gotta cross reference this map here. Oh. What happened? Oh, I'm steaming over here. I'm just really steaming about this. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't see you back up. I. Oh, your car looks alright. Has anybody seen my car? Oh, okay. Bye-bye, Tom. We gotta take Michael to the hospital. You're on your own. Hey, it's Bradley from That's Amazing. Join me this Sunday when we see six blind jugglers. Huh? What? What? <laughs> a man in a tuba suit. And local Tom Peters brings us his wacky new energy plan. Yeah! Hey, Tom. I got really bad news. <sighs> Michael passed away. Dr. Ian Black? Man, it looks like the family wants to press charges against you. Press charges? Yeah. Vehicular manslaughter. First degree. This is real serious, Tom. Oh. Stay right here. I gotta go see how they're doing. Joy, I've been in a car accident. Well, did you pick up my CDRs yet? Uh, the car's totaled, I, I broke my nose, and I think I may have killed a man. You selfish prick! This isn't a good time for you to get hurt, Tom! I need you to take Jared to karate and reinsert the crossface! Tom, I talked to the family and they're willing to make a deal. If you perform the eulogy at poor Michael's funeral, they're willing to drop the charges. Ah, oh, crickets. I don't even know him. How am I supposed to... Tom, it's up to you now. No one wants to see you behind bars. Oh, for the love of tennis. Okay, Dr. Ian Black was a heck of a doctor. Oh, this isn't so hard. I assume he was a man who... On Twitter does not recognize the word who. Did you leave or see? No! Ah, darn fun pewter. Ah, wish I had my stinking laptop. So I've never done this before, but I guess I just take my time. Sorry, my little friend, but Twitter is running low on disk space. What? Please select a file to delete. Select a file to delete now. Oh, come on. You know, this idea could actually change the world. Now drop the charges if you perform the eulogy. Tom Peters, wacky energy plan. First degree vehicular manslaughter. Oh. <sighs> All right. Uh -huh. So long, my sweet tiny child. All that work down the tubes. <laughs> you monster! Tom, you're losing them. Pick it up, pick it up. Oh, 
I just feel like I, I came into the mayor's office and, and I had this idea for, for an energy plan and was driving out trying to do my best and, and now Michael's dead and oh, my energy plan is Michael, in the trash. Michael, Michael. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I, I really feel so bad. I, I don't know what else to say here. I, I just wish it would all go away. Hello, Steven. <laughs> ah, ring a ding, tick tock, tick tock, tock. Ring, ring a ding, ding, ring a ding, ding. Ring a ding, ring, ring a ding, ding. Ring a ding, a ding, ding, dong. Uh, what's happening? You are such a great sport to play along. Ladies and gentlemen, I think you'd all agree that this wonderful prank was. That's amazing! See, Tom, you got your wish. You're on TV! We sure pulled a Steven on that guy. You are so great, Michael. Shut up, you little stinker. You old bag of kettle corn. You minivan. <laughs> Good one, guys. Open for ya! My name is Tom Peters and I'm full of ideas. Ah, how are you? <laughs> ah, the bird! <sighs> yeah, uh, great seeing you too, Gibbons. It's been a terrific three days. Remember that Caesar we had? We have to get together more often. Yeah, like I said before, schedule pending. On a board that's coming aboard! Uh, looks like you better get going there. Well, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I'll call you as soon as I get home. Gibbons, it's not necessary. Listen, I'm gonna be too busy setting up my booth at the Friendship Expo like I told you. Cool. I'll get your voicemail. See ya. Goodbye. Oh, Tom. Yeah? Bye-bye, buddy. Take her easy. <sighs> Come on down to the Jefferson Friendship Expo. Experience miles and miles of useful friendship knickknacks. Browse through millions of mood rings, friendship vacation packages, friendship burgers. Be sure to keep your eyes peeled for hourly friendship booth spotlights. And stay for the exciting expo finale where Prince Charles will be our special guest speaker. Prince Charles! This year's official Best Friend Award will receive a prize of a free second story to your ranch home, courtesy of Wolf Grissel Homes and Remodeling. Ooh, boy, Joy did a real nice job on these skirts here. Uh, let's see, I got my BOTCs over here. Hey, Tom. Ah, Gibbons! What the heck are you doing here? Oh, I missed my train. Anyways, I figured you could use some help at your booth. Well, not really. Mayor's but... office. Oh, Hi, uh, it's Tom Peters. Hello, Tom. What do we have here? Well, these are Joy's uh, friendship skirts for men. They're, you know, meant to be worn in tandem. And over here we have my BOTCs, uh, books on Tiny Gazette. Uh, check one, test, check two. Uh, okay, let's see, where's the recording button on this thing? Great, Tom. Oh, uh, speaking of the devil, <laughs> uh, you wouldn't happen to know when my booth spotlight might be, would you? Oh, I saw some... Ah! What is that? Uh, this is my old friend, uh, from junior college, Gibbons. Good to meet you. Tom, it's making noises. Uh, hold on. I'm sorry, guys. I, I have a call coming in. T Tom Peters' phone. Tom, how are my friendship skirts for men selling? Yeah, hey, Joy. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm actually just setting up now. <laughs> the expo ain't even open yet. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, my plan is to get, um, a spreadsheet I together. I these mother sold out by the end of business! Okay, uh, love you too. Um, 
Bye bye, my sweet. Uh, Tom, I, I touched it. Do you think it's safe, or should I sanitize my hands? Yeah, w- what did you touch? This thing. It has hair all over its face. What the heck? Ah! <laughs> all right. I'm going to go load up on some carbs. Maybe pick up a Caesar salad before lunch break. Catch you in a few. Psst, psst, psst. Tom, come here. I'm just a little confused. I'm not sure if that was a, a boy or some kind of man animal. Well, he, he has a height disorder, you know. That's what that's all about. But do you think that was a figment of my imagination? No, uh, I don't. Well, the way that you and that creature get along, you've got my vote for this year's Best Friend Award. Oh. <laughs> shh, shh, shh. Oh, Tom, I'm sorry. I'm Tom, sorry. please. Okay, uh, that's terrific news, you know. Joy'd be very excited to win that uh, second story. <laughs> a special announcement. Prince Charles, world leader, friendship guru, and English nobleman will not be appearing this year. Please stand by for an update on this year's guest speaker. This hour's spotlight booth is Eddie's Magic Friendship Bracelet Cozy, booth 154. Check it out. Where does you put your friendship bracelets when you shower or swim? The question is a tough one. Uh, Tom Peters here. Anyone here? Hello? Ah, darn ding-dong ditchers. Hey, Tom. Ah, Gibbons, what are you doing here? Well, what was I gonna say? Hey, what kind of cell phone service do you have? I don't know. I have this pay-ahead plan with Cinco. Why? I have that, too. It's cool, but I always go over my minutes. <sighs> All right, then. Oh, what was I... Oh, I was wondering, do you ever use any of those hands-free devices? Yes, Gibbons, I use them. Listen, uh, I have to go back to bed, all right? I've had a very frustrating day, and I'm, I'm very tired. Oh, guess what? Well, I was going to tell you I had a good idea to drum up sales. Fine, we can talk about it at the expo. Goodbye. Gibbons, what? Hey, Tom. I'm looking for this adapter for an extension cord. Uh, can't this wait till tomorrow? I guess so. What was I going to say? Oh, there was something I was going to ask you. Maybe we can meet up for lunch tomorrow and catch up, you know? Gibbons, we had lunch yesterday. We have nothing to catch up about. What? Just wanted to say goodnight. Go home! Goodbye! Stop bothering me! Man, you are taking this friendship concept way, way, way too far, mister. Ah, <sighs> what a bugger. Oh, Tom. Thought we were friends. Oh, I must have run over a small animal. Oh, what do we have here? Looks like a little hermit crab. Shh, 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 shh. It's okay. It's okay. Come on now. Very good. You'll be okay. Yes, you will. Oh, you're so cute. What a prize. Uh, Mr. Peters, just to give you a heads up, uh, your booth spotlight will be in about, uh, five minutes. Oh, Gibbons! Hey, Gibbs! It's, t- uh, Tom Peters! Oh, hello. D- listen, did you get any of my messages? Uh, I haven't checked. My inbox is pretty jammed. Well, listen, you know, what I said on the messages was, I'm sorry about last night, you know? I gave you a, a pretty hard time, but I've been under a lot of stress, and I don't know, I just feel terrible. You know what, Tom? Save it. I don't accept your apology. Shh, Gibbons. Me and your father are going to have a grown-up talk right now, so I'm going to balance you up on this curtain. Okay, hon? Mm. So, are you guys breaking up? We're not going out. Tom, I'd really like you to win the friendship award. So I'm hoping there's another side to this story I haven't heard yet. Oh, great, because, I I mean, I kind of deserve... This hour's booth spotlight is Tom Peters' books on tiny cassettes and friendship skirts for men. Booth 267. Check it out. Check. Uh, hello. Uh, excuse me. Uh, all right, firstly, uh, we have my wife's uh, friendship skirts for men, uh, meant to be worn in tandem. And um, got my books on tiny cassette, which uh, I'm offering for a pretty good value. 
Good evening. We're interrupting our free autograph signing to bring you this breaking news. This year's keynote speaker, Gibbons, has fallen down a well. And in the spirit of good friendmanship, everyone here at the expo has pitched in in their own way to get the little beast out of his hole. Well, one second, Jan. We're just getting word that they're lowering a camera down to communicate with poor old Gibbons. Oh, are we getting something, Charlie? Gibbons. 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 Hello. Oh, Hello. Gibbons. Hi. Um, oh. We're rooting for Thanks you. Thanks for all your prayers, everybody. Gibbons, are you okay down there? I've been better. But they're sending down Caesar salads, so... I've been trapped in quite a few wells in my day, and this one's all right. We'll keep you updated as far as we're concerned. Tom, come on. We gotta help Gibbons. Uh, no, I, I have to stay here. It's my spotlight time. Tom, like it or not, Gibbons is your friend. Uh, I don't know about that, Mayor. I just don't think we're right for each other. Right for each other? Tom, you two are like two tiny peas in a pod. You know, like two men in a skirt. Oh, I'm really disappointed in you, buddy. Well, uh, I really don't know what to say, um, but, you know, if you're looking for a backup speaker, I, I did uh, write up a draft this morning just in case. Gibbons is still our man, Tom. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage via satellite the winner of this year's official Best Friend Award and tonight's keynote speaker. From the strange laboratory of the mayor and the depths below our own Siemens Hall, it's Gibbons! Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'd like to start by telling you a little story about an old friend of mine. <laughs> this friend <laughs> let me down. And here I am, stuck in a well, and all this so-called friend cared about was himself, Tom Peters. Hello, Gibbons. Tom, you know what? You hurt me deeply. But to prove that I'm the bigger man, I'd like to take this opportunity for you to apologize to me. Oh, okay. Well, I sort of thought I... Come on, Tom. <sighs> All right, I'll say it again. I apologize. Jeez. Can I just add that my booth is 259, and uh, these wonderful friendship skirts for men as well as my Thank BOTCs. you, Tom. I accept your half-hearted apology. And to prove once again that I'm the bigger man than you... <coughs> huh. Nothing, huh? I'd like to donate my best friend award to you and your family. Well, thanks, Gibbons. <laughs> So I have a place to stay when I visit. If I ever get out of this well, that is. <laughs> Best friends forever. I told you I'd take care of you, buddy. Thanks, Gibbons. Easy, easy. Uh, easy. Ah. Wow, Tom. Perfect fit. Oh, wow. This is great. Yeah. Oh, Joy's gonna be so excited. I could do a half bath and I can... Is open for ya! My name is Tom Peters and I'm full of ideas. Ah, how are you? <laughs> Okie doke. Uh, well, the proposed name for now is uh, Tom Peters Consulting. Um, we had 450,000 business cards printed, so we're kind of locked in on that. Okay, Mr. Peters, uh, everything looks to be in order. Oh, uh, terrific news. Uh, you know, right now we're operating out of a storage facility, but, uh, you know, once the... 
capital starts coming in, I'm sure we'll move into an office of some kind. Mr. Peters, uh, 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 sorry to interrupt, but it looks like you forgot to complete the family registration form here. Well, I uh, purposefully didn't uh, check that box um, because I wasn't positively sure what my family had to do with my business. Well, uh, uh, Jefferson requires all new business owners to register their families. It's part of the Mayor's Family Friendly Act of 2001. Actually, it's really helped out. <clears throat> Jefferson's been put on the top 50 places to raise a family. People love it here! Well, it's the uh, first I'm hearing about it, but uh, I'd be happy to jump on that boat. Well, uh, it's a fairly simple automated procedure. Uh, just take this form down to the Department of Families and you should be good to go. Now serving L2775182938888 Hi, I'm the mayor. Welcome to the Department of Families. Let's get you started. Please enter your 23 digit family code followed by the 11 digit confirmation pin. Ah, let me see here. Your wait time is approximately 3 hours. You must have 7 forms of photo ID. Okay, I can't find that number you entered. Please make sure the number is correct and try again. Or simply speak your name now. Tom Peters. Thank you, Tom. I'm seeing that you have step children living in your shanty. Your family status has been upgraded to illegal. We will be holding your wife and step children in a family holding cell until your wife and bastards are legitimate. Ah, crackheads. Wow, Tom, I love what you did to the office. I see you have pens, paper, a tiny pink stapler, plenty of brainstorming room. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, let me get the lights. So, when do you open? Well, it's sort of up in the air right now. I've been having a bugger of a time getting my business license. Right. Because, uh, you know, my, I can't get my family registered, and mm -hmm. uh, I can't register my family because they're considered illegal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know, you know. I mean, you know, I really love my stepfamily, but this business is it's my last chance. Ugh, talk about a rock and a hard place. Darn it, Tom. Ah, don't worry about it. It's my cross to bear. <sighs> Wait a sec. Maybe you should take the Papar three-step program. P Papar? Ah, uh oh, Tom, you got to get into this. You know, it's the easiest way to get your family registered. Plus, you'll experience some intense family bonding in the process. Okay, let me see here. Mortgages, Braille through learning, jazz dance for children. Oh, here we go. Legalizing your family. Hi, I'm Dr. Victor Papar. Are you a single man living with three or more foster children who legally reside abroad? Or are you a married man living with stepchildren from your wife's previous marriage? If you have answered yes, any of these challenging questions, then the Victor Papar Institute has designed this three-step program just for you. Good news, Tom. Luckily, I'm a certified captain in the Papar three-step program and would be happy to hold your hand through the process. Oh, terrific. Legalizing your family. Step one. Okay, let's okay, put this put on this. you. All right, it's a little tight. This you know. won't hurt one bit. You all right, buddy? It's a little tight on my eyes. Let me just attach these right to your nipple. Ah! Okay. Sorry. Okay, Tom. Level one is a virtual hug zone. Go for it, Tom. All right, I'm not sure what you want me to do here. Ah! Just use your hands. Hug your children. Show them that you love them. Okay. Good. Manifest your hate into hugging. Come on, Tom. Ah! They may not be your flesh ah! and blood, but they are your children. Ah! Great work, buddy. Uh-oh, ah. careful. Oh, is that Joy? There she is, Tom. Confront her. Show her your love. Hi, honey. Hug the mother ah. of your stepchildren. Ah. Yes. Ah. Yes. Ah. Very yeah. good. Come on, honey, just let me let me give you a hug here so we can pass this level. We're gonna get through this, bub. I love you, hon. Okay, great. Here comes level two. Trust building. See how many gold coins you can get in 30 seconds. Go, Tom! Okay, I, I don't really see what this has to do with building trust. No, no, Tom, don't touch the strawberries. Oh, oh, ah, stinging, stinging! Ah. Uh, Tom, you better take that thing off. Legalizing your family. Step two. Did 
you know your stepchildren or your adopted children shouldn't feel like strangers in your own home? Why can't you do us all a favor and rebirth them? Assign them a name you choose, and they'll feel more like they came from your seed and womb, not like some filthy stray animal off the streets. <laughs> First off, the father must be completely shaved so he can experience the renewal with his new children. Next, create a womb using a common gutter tube wrapped in a blanket and sofa pillows. A standard children's swimming pool makes for a perfect uterus. Now, have your stepson or daughter glide through the artificial tube, which clearly simulates the natural birthing process. All that's left is to choose a name that everyone can agree upon. See? Simple as that. Oh, wow. Uh, I'd have to go over this with my family. Whoa! One step at a time, big guy. Let's get you shaved down. Hey, gang. Um, I need to have a family meeting. What happened to your hair? Um, I had to get it shaved for the rebirthing process. What? How long are you gonna last? Long ah, psst, darn phone. Hold, can, hold on a sec. Uh, Stupid check, business. Check. That's better. Listen, one step at a time, Joy, okay? I have a 24-hour pass for you and the boys to get them prepped for the rebirthing. Rebirthing? I have no idea what you're talking about, you bald fool! Boys, boys, don't, don't be afraid, okay? Everybody put your coats on and let's file out. We got Joy... Right above the, t the uh, tube, you can see her there. Yeah. She was a real good sport about it. She looks comfortable. Yeah, we had we actually had a little bit of fun setting it up. <laughs> there, you, there you go. <laughs> Who's that, Matthew? Yeah, that's uh, that's Matt. He uh, he had a little trouble getting into the tube. Um, he's gotten a little husky uh, this year, um, and we actually can see how he got caught there. Wow, he looks a little thick around the hips there, yeah. John. Oh, there's Matt coming out at the end there. Um, <laughs> so what did you name him? Uh, we we all uh, chose Brendan, um, mm -hmm. Celtic name, and uh, right. his brothers are sure. Brendan okay. and uh, Wonderful. Brandon. Right, so fine. He wanted that Absolutely. connection to them. Terrific, Tom. So that's the long and short of it. Uh, I just re rebirthed my family like Dr. Victor Papar said I should. <clears throat> wow, okay. Uh, I'm not sure what I just saw there. Um, and I, I've never heard of any Dr. Papars. Uh, Although, I have heard that there were some computer problems at the Department of Families last week. Which we apologize for. I'll tell you what I'll do. Uh, because of all the rigmarole uh, you've been going through here, um, I'll just go ahead and stamp this approved, and you can take it over and put it in the Department of Families uh, drop box. It's just that easy! Tom, where are you going? I'm, I'm just going to... You know, drop this off. Wait, you're not dropping out of the three-step program, are you? Well, yeah, I thought we were done here. They said, I'm good to go, so I gotta go get my family out of the cell and... Tom, Tom, Tom. I'm really nervous about this. You, you know, I've heard a lot of stories about people bailing right in the middle of the three-step program. A lot of suicides, buddy. Oh. I hate to see that happen to you. Ah, shoot, that's no good. Hmm. Oh, well, uh... I guess one more step. How bad could that be? Great. Come by my office tomorrow and we'll go over the script. Legalizing your family. Step three. Of the consummation of your wedding So, you walk in with the pizza, because you're a pizza delivery boy. You turn to Joy. She's sprawled out on the couch. She's a little hesitant at first, but that's where the tension lies. Look up here. I storyboarded this whole scene out. Ah, I hate to be a sight for sore eyes, but... It... Are we talking about a pornographic video with me and my wife? Tom, it'll be tasteful, I promise. You have to trust me on this. Gee, I, I just don't remember Dr. Papar saying anything about this. Well, me and Dr. Papar don't exactly agree on everything. I tend to interpret some of his steps a little differently. Mm, see, I, I don't think so. Tom, suicide. <sighs> okay. Uh, pizza man, extra sausage. Tom, what are you doing? Delivering the pizza. Oh. That's good. Uh, mm. uh, 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 uh.
Oh, right there. Ah, feels so good. Hey, Tom. How's the business coming? Ah, not so hot. Um, honestly, I think uh, a lot of people kind of got the wrong impression after um, the Porkin' with the Peters DVD that you made came out. Well, in that case, you, you wouldn't mind if I store a couple hundred of these DVDs in there, do you? Yeah. Uh, let me just get my sleeping bag and business cards out of there. Oh, hello. open for you. My name is Tom Peters and I'm full of ideas. Ah, how are you? Uh, I'm trying to get the boys ready for school, but I think they're pretty sick. Oh, I love my eggs and sausage links. Oh. Well, the thing is, they're not moving. Uh, they're just kind of moaning in there. Uh, maybe it wouldn't be the worst idea in the world to call a doctor. How dare you tell me how to raise my effing kids? They came out of my... Eh, it's Tom, uh, Peters. Anyone the heck home? Mayor's office! Hello? Hey, Tom. Come on up. Mayor's office. Uh, it's, uh, t Tom Peters. Hey, Tom. I just ordered a couple briskets. Care for a pipe smoke? Oh, <laughs> me? No. I, I'm allergic to, uh, tobacco smoke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I don't want to take up your whole day, uh, but our family just did have some, uh, bad news. Uh, all three of my stepsons have had heart attacks. <laughs> ah, so I thought it might not be a half bad idea to, uh, you know, start a, a health camp for boys. Great, Tom. Now try my fatty loin. <laughs> not to be my devil's advocate here, but that's exactly the kind of food we're trying to stray away from. <laughs> oh. Mm hmm. You know, we'll have more health based foods, uh, you know, outdoor activities like canoeing and aerobics. You know, just like a good old fashioned boys camp. Yeah, we can even get Pipes Buffet involved. Oh, okay. You know, they've been bugging me about getting into some outreach programs for children. Eh, I guess it would depend. <coughs> Honestly, it doesn't seem like the greatest idea in the world. <coughs> I, could, I guess I could see your point. <coughs> uh, we don't want. <coughs> Those kids smoking pipes. <laughs> Actually, I'm starting to uh, love this idea. On behalf of Pipes Buffet, I would like to present Tom Peters with this enormous check to begin funding your health camp for boys. No pipes, right? Furthermore, we pledge that there will be Absolutely no pipe smoking of any kind in regards to the children. Hey, okay, great. Large check. <laughs> pipe camp? Son of a gumble! Hey, Tom! Oh, hey, Mayor. <laughs> Neat scooter. Is it new? Hold a sec, Tammy. Uh, it's Tom. It's from Pipes Buffet. Uh, 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 wow. Look at this place. It's great. Uh, what's with all the pipes? Probably just for design, Tom. Hey, what are they giving to those kids over there? That's it. I'm calling the authorities. Oh, uh, look. There's Barb. Oh, she's... she's beautiful. Tom, I want you to meet Barb Dunderbarn from Pipes Buffet. 
She's going to be our head camp counselor. Oh, uh, n- nice to meet you. Uh, this uh, health camp for boys was uh, my idea. Oh, Tom, I am so impressed. And you are delicious. <laughs> Mayor, where did you find him? I... <laughs> Oh, sorry, stop. Uh, yeah, I've been really looking forward to working with you to get those boys in shape. I took a look at the schedule of events you wrote up, and I have a few minor tweaks we're going to have to make. Is that okay, sweetie? Oh, okay. And in, in terms of... Maybe we could talk about it tonight over some sort of, I don't know, romantic candlelight dinner. Romantic? <laughs> okay, well, uh, you know, to be honest with you, the thing is... Well, then it's a date, you yummy man. Okay, boys, time to get in shape, so let's do some aerobics! Hands up, lift them up, lift them up, and two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five. Okay, come on, everybody, what's wrong? Come on, Jake, let's do it. Come on, up, 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 up. Come on, move those hips, let's do it. What's the matter with you guys? (sighs) What a bunch of potato sacks. Hey, Tom, there you are. (laughs) Hey, Mayor. Listen, I got all my veggies here. Where should I lay them? Oh, don't worry about that. Barb cut most of your menu. Look at what we have here today. We have a little beef brisket and some fatty goat shoulder, stuffed pork hocks, and some buttercream bird legs. Mayor, this is a health camp. Ah, ah, this is unbelievable. I got to call somebody. Oh, Tom. Barb wanted me to give you these. Oh, sunglasses. Cool. I think she likes you. Mayor, I'm a married man. Tom, we're at pipe camp. Live a little. You look very pretty tonight. No. <laughs> you make me blush, Tom. You don't mind if I pipe up a little, Tom, do you? No, go ahead. Don't mind me. <gasps> I just noticed your hair. Oh, my God, I'm in love. Let me touch it. Can I touch it, Tom? Oh, lordy. I just oh, I love it. <laughs> it makes me feel all, like, nipply. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, it's just a men's spike. Yeah, just... What I do is uh, create a semicircle of the moose in my hand. Shh, Tom. I know you're a little skeptical about some of our new programs here. No, uh, I'm just not 100% sure that kids should be messing around with pipes. Tom, we have to look past the fact that they're children. We've got to look at it from the pipes buffet point of view. Tom, did you know that the average age of a pipes buffet customer is 73 years old? Wow, what a stat. See those kids out there, Tom? They're our future. Folks, America ain't getting any younger. So why don't you lend a hand and teach your youngins about what matters most? You know, there's nothing more patriotic than the savory flavors of grandma's home-cooked fatty meats. And of course, that old familiar smell of grandpa's tobacco pipe. Mmm, smells like America to me. Brought to you by your friends at Pipe's Buffet. Oh no, how did that get in there? Ah. Now let's talk about us. Come over here and get your gravy, hot bottom. Uh, wait, Barb, this is all happening very fast. I need time to process some of my feelings here. Okay, Tom, but don't think too hard. Huh, I wonder where all the kids are. <sighs> oh, Barb. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, uh, hi, friend. I I can't talk right now. I'm pretty busy. Yes, friend, I know. Well, of course I love my wife, friend. Well, wait a minute. Would you just get out of here? Go on, get. What the heck? Pipe smoke. Pipe camp, pipe camp, filling your life for pipe. Harry? He's a burning ember, always to remember love. Oh, Barb, how could you? Very good, Mikey. It's important to get a good burn going, so don't be afraid to hold the flame over the tobacco for a, a good minute. Great pipemanship, Anthony. Good boy. <laughs> now I want everyone to think about what kind of roasted meat would complement your tobacco blend. I hate this camp. I want to go home! Oh, what's 
What's happening? <gasps> what? Uh. Skylar residence. Who, who is it, Chan? I am trying to figure that out. Now we just go back to sleep. <sighs> Skylar residence. Who am I speaking with? Uh, it's Tom Peters. Um, I need to report a crime against children. Well, we're not in our office right now, but we will be there in a few hours. But, but it's pipe camp. They're, they're, uh, they're, uh... What are you doing, Tom? Oh, nothing. I was just checking my voicemail Tommy, messages. Tommy, I know you saw us back there. I know you know. Let's go back to my cabin and you can tell me what a big bad uh, girl I've been. You can give me one of your famous red bottoms. Oh boy. Can you give up what you got for Attention! This is a raid. Huh? Stay in your cabins. You are in breach of Section 8. Distributing tobacco to minors. Sorry, Spanky. I'll email you. Tom, let's get out of here. Wait, wait. <laughs> Too much tobacco and <coughs> sexuality. Son, shut your mouth and stand down. What? Just give me one clean shot. No, you got the wrong man. It was Bob Dunderbarn and the mayor. We've got a live one. May I come in? Come on in. Uh, what's that beating? Oh, it's my tracking boot. I'm on house arrest. Practically out of range. I wish we could have met a little closer to my house. Well, I just wanted to give you these sympathy flowers for getting you wrapped up in that whole pipe camp fiasco. Oh, thanks. Just another experience. Thanks to all the publicity surrounding your trial, Pipes has installed this wonderful dumbwaiter here. No more stair climbing for my briskets. Come over here. Take a look. Well, I really shouldn't, him. Getting pretty close to being out of range. Come on, Tom. Have a bite of my brisket. Have some of my loin. Well, it does smell particularly good. <laughs> Let me just check my chart here. Tom, it's real moist and braised. Lip smacking good, Tom. Uh. Hmm, never heard it do that before. You know, I wonder if. Yeah! <laughs> Tonight's episode of Tom Goes to the Mayor features music from the band Candle Crush. Hi, I'm the mayor, and my door is always open for ya! My name is Tom Peters, and I'm full of ideas. How are you? <laughs> Me, 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 uh, Yes, sir. How can I help you? It's <clears throat> Tom Peters. Hello, Tom. Come on in. That's okay. I'm just dropping by to say goodbye. Okay. Uh, you know, I, uh, me and the family are moving out of Jefferson uh, today. Uh -huh, right. Uh, I, I just don't think this is the right town for an entrepreneur. <laughs> Things just didn't work out. Wow. I want to thank you for all the wonderful experiences we had together. <laughs> uh, what great memories. <laughs> me, 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 me. Uh, yes, sir. How can I help you? It's Tom Peters. Oh, Tom, I'll miss you. Wait a second. I think I may have a job for you. Oh, really? Vice Mayor! Vice Mayor? Like, second in command? Vice Mayor! <laughs> Wow! Yeah. Oh, Mayor, you are not going to regret this. I'll tell you what. I'll pick you up tomorrow and take you to your new office. 
Hey, Joy, it's Tom Peters. Uh, listen, I just got appointed vice mayor of Jefferson, so don't sign any leases yet. <laughs> Call me back when you get this, okay? Um, I love you very much, and I love the boys, too. Excuse me, sir. Uh, I'm looking for a Tom Peters. Oh, that's me. Um... I'm Tom Peters. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm just a little confused here. Oh, it uh, must be my gentleman's perm. Uh, I was thinking about getting a new hairstyle and uh, considering the factor of me getting into politics. Now, I'd prefer a rather tight curl, um, you know, more of a dense knit. You know what I mean? Well, Tom, it looks magnificent. Oh, gracias. This is Hobo Town. It's Vice Central. Real dangerous, Tom. Lots of hobos. Vice. Get it? Vice Mayor! Double meaning! Ah, oh, I, I see, I guess. We try to give these hobos everything they want here. You know, we have train cars, boxes, and hot dogs. Tom, you just have to keep them in line. It's just that easy. Ah. Phew, what a dump. Yikes, I gotta clean this place up. <sighs> ah, now that's better. And now for the rest of the town. Hoodlums! It's Mayor's Night And the world rim dim dim douche Tom, welcome to Mayor's Night! Oh, thanks for inviting me! Grab a booth, you mayor! Ah, now this is the life. Excuse me, sir. These cheese-flavored fries are from that man over there. Oh, thank you very much. Mmm, <laughs> Lord, these are delicious. I knew you'd enjoy those. Gary Friendly, I'm in real estate. Oh, I'm Tom Peters, vice mayor of uh, Hoboten. Damn it, Tom, I knew it. Hey, uh, it used to be called Hobotown, you know. Uh, one of the aspects of my new administration is changing the name. Uh, I thought, you know, I'd give it a new feel, sort of take out the negative. Damn it, Tom! Uh, pardon? I saw you from across the room and said to myself, here's a man with good taste, a guy who knows right from wrong. Probably a born leader. Well, thank you Another very much. Another round of cheese-flavored fries for my new best friend here. Hey, I want to show you something. Maybe it means something, maybe it means nothing. Take a look, Alu. Revitalize your town. Get ready for the city of tomorrow. Revitalize your town. Out with the old, in with the new. Revitalize your town. I shouldn't even be showing you this. Tom, this thing is a cash cow. It's guaranteed to improve Hoboten 500%. I'm not sure about that, Gary. Don't worry, Tom. It's just some minor cosmetic work. Move a couple of buildings to make room for the new, you know. You won't even know we're there. These fries are so good. This sounds good, but can I sleep on it? Buddy, that's not the Tom Peters I've grown to love. The Tom Peters I know is a man that can take a chance. Ugh. Tom mm. Peters is a risk taker, a man in charge. Yeah, I guess. Mm -hmm. Can I have your attention, please? Right here stands a true visionary, a leader, a shepherd guiding his lost sheep to a 21st century paradise. Tom, repeat after me. I am a mayor that will make a difference and do what's right for my town. Uh. Don't worry, guy. Just sign here and we'll start phase one in the morning. What was phase one again? Oh. You have a nice signature. I'm sorry, I'm not feeling very well. I think I ate too many of these fries. Uh -huh. And here? Uh, that does it. And now to um, wrap this up, I'll just, uh, what do I need? Oh, a check for the entire project. Can't figure out if this is the right thing to do. That's Gary with two R's. You know, tax purposes. Oh. Don't worry, buddy. Leave everything to Uncle Papa Gary. They smashed up my home, boss. They hauled off my cardboard box. People, quiet down. Just let's get some order. Come on, I'm doing my best here. I'm trying to make this a nicer place. Yeah, who is it? Oh, hold on, it's him. Gary, it's Tom Peters. Uh, geez, thank goodness. 
I've been trying to reach her all day. Uh, listen, I've been having some second thoughts. Peters, Peters, Peters. Uh, that's not ringing a bell. Tom Peters from last night, Gary. It's a war zone over here. Tom, need... relax, relax. Excuse me. What's that, Grace? I said first class. First class, Grace. Sorry, Tom. I really needed to jump off this call. Listen, take down the number for my private jet. You can reach me there anytime. What is it? 550132. Uh, five, uh, oh, Bye for now, Tom. Ah, shoot. No. <laughs> Oh, 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 shoes. Where are we supposed to live? Uh, uh, let me think. Well, uh, for now, I guess everybody can bunk at my place. Uh, I can, uh, get some cots set up and, uh, cook up some hot dogs. Hot dogs? All right! Hot dogs! Sounds good, boss! Okay, there's hot dogs in the cooler where the fridge should be, so everybody just stay put. And try not to fiddle with anything. Oh, I gotta tell the mayor about this. Hey, it's me, Wizard, from Candle Crush. You're only minutes away from checking out my new hit single, premiering tonight on Tad Goes to the Mayor. Peace. And that's how I became mayor again. <laughs> but enough about me, Tom. How's Hobotown going? Good, me too. Thanks. I'm sorry, I mean, uh, things are good. Duh. Hoboken's good, no worries there. <laughs> Great, I'd love to come by and see your office. No, sometime. no, 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 no. Um, I'm very busy. I got lots to do. Hey, um, I've, I've got some advice I'd love to ask you uh, in regards to the whole real estate arena. Excuse me, sir. This man insisted on seeing you. Excuse me, boss. What are you doing here? Well, we ran out of hot dogs. How did you get out? Bunch of us picked the lock. <laughs> well, everyone got out. We're all pretty much running amok. Stinkwave! That's right, Chan. A growing number of filthy hobos have taken to the Jefferson streets. And it's causing quite a mess. I saw one the other day. They're so dirty. Oh, I don't understand why they just can't take a bath. <laughs> Be right back. Let's look at our Doppler hobo watch here, which shows uh, a lot of the increased hobo activity emanating from this uh, one man's house. <laughs> uh, okay, Mr. Peters, uh, do you want to go ahead and explain what happened here exactly? Does this have anything to do with your vice mayor position over at Hobo Town? Well, uh, I think I may be partly to blame for the <clears throat> bum rush, uh, metaphorically speaking. See, well, the uh, thing is I accidentally tore uh, Hoboten down. Hoboten? Hobotown, yeah, you're right. I, I changed the name for psychological factors. Uh, Mr. Peters, don't you realize that the reason we have Hobotown is to keep these people out of Jefferson? We need Hobotown! I understand that now. I assume phase one was going to occur a little differently. You know, Gary Friendly had said... No, no, settle down, people. It's just me, your mayor. Mayor! Listen, I've infiltrated those filthy hobos. I've been deep undercover for the past 15 minutes, and I think I found their weakness. I don't get it. How does this solve anything? You'll see. No, oh, what? Seriously, I don't get it. Well, I poisoned the hot dogs. Ah! You can't do that! You, you can't just kill people to solve problems! Oh, crickets, I ate three of those hot dogs. <laughs> oh, my life is flashing before my eyes. Hey, Rufus. I see Joy and my first wife, Pat. Hey, Bobo. Your husband, Cal. Tom, relax. It's not going to kill them. It's just going to put them to sleep for a while. Wait a minute. Time out. What happens when they, when we all wake up? I have two words for you. Hobo Zoo. Welcome to Hobo Zoo. Welcome to Hobo Zoo. We've got hot dogs and trash fires. You can feed them if you choose. Welcome to Ho 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 Bo Zoo! Was that okay? I could maybe do a take two on that? Fair enough. Hi, 
I'm the mayor, and my door is always open for you. My name is Tom Peters, and I'm full of ideas. Music. How are you? Oh, brother. My goodness. Actually, it's been pretty good, you know. Uh, Joy and the boys have been on vacation, which has really freed me up to work on some of my writing. And gets a little lonely, sure. <laughs> but, you know, life, that's life. You're watching the Jefferson County Public Access Classics Channel. I'm, oh, I'm sorry. I, th I thought you'd be finished by now. No, no. Uh, come on in. And now a classic commercial from 1984. Travel back in time to Pioneer Island theme park when a steed was a man's best friend and a woman knew her place. Explore the rich and dangerous history of America's pioneers. Mosey on over to the gift shop. <laughs> it's just like olden times, except for the roller coaster. Located right in the center of Jefferson's famous man made lake. Tell him the bunion sent you. Pioneer Island, close summers. Wow. Yes, uh, may I help you? Um, it's uh, Tom Peters. Hello, Tom. What can I do for you? Oh, fair enough. <laughs> Actually, before I get started, uh, this is probably a stupid question, but is. Is that Island Theme Park in Jefferson? It I was, didn't... Tom. Actually, it's quite a shame. Uh huh. Poor old Pioneer Island burned down 20 years ago. Oh, I just thought I would... Uh, I just wish we had some way of memorializing all the fun we used to have there. Well, uh, um, I'm pretty good at, you know, brainstorming and everything, mm. if, you ever, if you ever want to try that out. Oh, get... great, you are. Um, well, why don't we give it a try? Yeah, I could... Well, let me think. Um, okay, well, we could start with... Uh, a parade, you know? Great. <laughs> I see funnel cake. Good, Tom. A rocket man in a parachute. Great. I like it. And he's holding a tiny flag descending on Main Street. Great, Tom. Keep going. Okay. Um, da, 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 da. Um, ah, well, how about uh, for an hour, a block of Main Street can turn off power like in the Pioneer days? Bigger, Tom. The, the, we could do the whole town. Bigger. Okay, well, like, we could do pony rides. Bigger, and, better, bolder, bigger, bigger. And we can have, like, an old-fashioned shootout and, and make apple butter and candles from beeswax. I want bigger. And for the icing on the cake, <laughs> we rebuild a replica of Pioneer Island on, uh, on Pioneer Island. A true Pioneer Island experience, Tom. I love it. City Council. I have a great way to commemorate Pioneer Island this year. Uh-huh. We're gonna have a parade. Wow. I... Uh, don't see any problem with that. No, I don't see any problem with that either. Uh, I'm gonna have to say... And that's just the beginning of it. We're gonna turn all the electricity off for seven days, and for the icing on the cake, we're gonna create a replica to scale of the Pioneer Island theme park. We're gonna oh, take that okay. Old I, I've got a thousand phone calls to make. Great. All right. Well, I gotta call an architect. Remember that sure together. Acts. It's gonna we'll be, be in touch. Enough. They'll get their arms in the shackles. Oh. This is gonna be great. Then we'll have an unveiling ceremony, and to guarantee an authentic recreation, we're just gonna burn that baby down again. Dear Joy. Hope you and the boys are having a nice time with your ex-husband. Just wanted to drop a line and let you know about this amazing opportunity I just fell into. I just wish you were here to see what I'm creating. Love, Tom. Ah, shoot, gotta get those brochures done. Hi, stop on by Zinx's Appliances. We offer wide savings on a massive variety of household items that will make your family smile and make any day a holiday. You find a lower price, we will crush them! We will match that price and give you the difference. Is, is, is there a way to, to make the border around the edges a, a different color and maybe make it slightly embossed? And 
You had said something about spell check. Is that extra? Because... Ladies and gentlemen, may I please have your attention? Hey, the mayor's on the high screen TV. This weekend, we celebrate Pioneer Island Day. Your official Pioneer Island Day brochure is available for pickup at any Gulliver's Family Buffet. It's not even ready yet. Just a few ground rules. Obviously, you will be handing in your car keys in exchange for a horse. All right, I will now cut power from Jefferton's electrical grid. Here we go. Wonderful. I look forward to seeing you all at the grand unveiling of the brand new Pioneer Island experience. How will we cook and store food? My child needs a humidifier to live! People, listen to me here, okay? Up here, here's a schedule of events for this week's celebration. It's only a rough draft. I'm still waiting for copies. Oh, come on. Hey, hey. Oh, I, I, ow. Please, everybody stay cool. Remember, this is a festival, a joyous occasion. <laughs> Perchance some poetry before a fortnight. Oh, better check in on Tom. No, no, no. no listen, I, uh, I'm not uh, sure what you do when that happens, but uh, he will need to be fed and brushed. Oh, this was all laid out in the brochure. If I had that done, crickets. Is that my horse? Yes, uh, his name is Sandy. He's got a temper, um, and we're out of saddles. Oh, shirt. Well, um, we think it's probably a good time to turn the power back on. I disagree. Uh, Mr. Mayor. Listen, you have to turn power on today, okay? And we better start thinking about martial law. You do realize a man calling himself Zinx has taken control of the Eastern Shopping District? Listen, you guys signed off on it, and I quote, I don't see a problem with that. <laughs> I don't see a problem with that either. <laughs> Tom's vision was to create an authentic recreation of life in pioneer times. Electricity wasn't invented until the 1930s, so the lights stay off until the celebrations are over. Come on, Tom. Let's blow this stink house. Wow, this is looking great. Yeah, look at it. I mean, I was, I was able to get a copy of the original blueprints wow, uh, from nice. the town archives. So. Tom, it's truly glorious. Well, thank you very much. Look at old Double Bunyan, <laughs> just how I remember yeah. her. Did you happen to notice the bridge we came in on? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we... we had a great opportunity we crafted out of some original tinder wood that we found on the site. Oh, good old dry tinder. That's gonna be a problem. What? <sighs> so, everything is in place, you know? All I gotta do is hook up that fuse wire there and... Great, we're all set then. I'm sorry, what, what's the fuse wire for? Maya, Maya! <clears throat> Maya, you better hurry back! The whole place is gone mad! Zings! Zinks forever! Zinks rule! Zinks! Hello, Zink. I'm the mayor of Jefferton, and this is Tom. Uh, Tom Peters. Get out of here! Mayor? Zinks is mayor. Zinks runs Jeffertown. Zinks! 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 What the heck? Okay, great. We should talk about that. Let's sit down and address some of our goals here. Zinks rules! Zinks rules now! Zinx will bring more power. People will be able to buy more appliances from Zinx's store. More outlets and house. What? No fear of brownout. I am Zinx! Zinx! Hmm. Okay. Can you go ahead and schedule an appointment with Renee for next week? We should go over some details. Ah. Zinx challenges you to duel! Yeah! If next week is no good, um, we can do a phone call. But this sounds important. We could turn this into a working lunch. Zinx must look at Zinx's calendar. What are they talking about? Okay, great. Why don't we pencil in a cancellation on our prior rescheduled meeting? Oh, uh... Zinx has been beaten by scheduling! Zinx must go! Go on. Get out of my stink house. Joy. I haven't heard back, but I'm really excited for your return. 
Opening night. Can't wait for you to see all my hard work next week. Miss you, Tom. Good evening. On behalf of the Jefferson City Council, the town elders, former interim mayor Zinx. <laughs> 20 years ago on this very day, Pioneer Island theme park mysteriously burnt to the ground. Tonight's amazing and authentic display could not have been possible without Jefferson Zone. Top Hennis! This is very exciting for my family. I'm ready when you are, man. This is gonna be awesome. Stand by on my three count. Okay, Jefferton, the moment you've been waiting for. The grand unveiling of a true, authentic replica of Pioneer Island. One, two, three! Look at all the wonderful lights. It's beautiful. The number one investigating married news team in Jefferson County. Jan Schuyler. Wayne Schuyler. Unrelenting and uncovering the story behind the story. Number one in marriage, facts, news, and blowing the lid off of the hottest stories. And now to tonight's top story. Sex, money, Mayor. Channel 5 News has just obtained a shocking video of the mayor, which confirms local band leader Roy Tepper's disturbing <laughs> sexual allegations. Ah. Ah. Wow! Devastating stuff. In other news, the Great Jefferson Hot Air Balloon Challenge is this weekend. Locals will gather to see if anyone can beat the record of 5,000 balloon laps around Jefferson. Citizens of Jefferson, I know what you're thinking. This video... Can we take a two on that? Citizens of Jefferson, I am sorry for... Oh. That's not working. All right, get it together. One, two... Come on, Jefferson, it's me. Pa pa par pardon? Hmm, it's Tom Peters? Hello, Tom. You know, I'm here for the PR interview. Great, come on in. Yeah, what I did was, um, I came up with a couple quick fixes uh, regarding R.E., your uh, scandal. Wow, Tom, thank goodness. Let me hear them. Okay, well, uh, numero uno on my list um, starts with just looking at a different... Oh, Tom, you better get that leg up. My, le my leg? Oh, no. Why? Well, Why? I, I don't know what you're talking... I don't... Oh, Tom, what happened to your foot? My foot? <laughs> I'm fit as a fiddle. Yeah, but you're all a mess down there. Oh, you mean my sandal? It's just my stupid buckle, you know, it's just broke. Pain in the neck. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Well, um, if we could just get back to the topic at hand. Um, you know, I think the real danger point uh, regarding the, the sandal is... Scan <laughs> scandal, sorry. <sighs> ah, ah, blew it again. Oh, sweet sandal. It'll be okay. We'll get you fixed up, I promise. Emergency. No, no, it's just, it's just the buckle. Hey, come in, come in. Let me take a look at it. Oh, tragedy. Oh, my. Could be the buckle. Uh, yes, it is the buckle, yes. Hold on a sec. Where's that beautiful music coming from? That's me, son. Let me call him out here. <laughs> Wonderful. Bravo. Bravo. Oh, terrific. Seamus is deaf, I'm afraid. Deaf as a doornail. Oh, he sounds just like a winged angel, though. <laughs> Give me your sandal, Mr. Peter. I'll fix it in a jiff. Phew, what a wonderful shop. You know, I just did some quick brainstorming, and um, you know, I think I came up with an idea to take some of the heat off the scandal. Go ahead, Tom. I'm all ears. <laughs> Get it? What? You know, the deaf boy. And I said ears. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. I fixed your sandal. Twas weak at the base. So fragile, like my little Seamus's art. 
Thank you, sir. You have made them strong. I can see that, and I honor you. I just wish there was a way to repay you for all the wonderful work you've done here. Oh, let me just get my checkbook out. I can think one way. Do you know of the hot air balloon challenge this weekend? Absolutely not. Well, actually, I've heard of that. It's the, uh... Shh, shh. Tom, the Sandalman speaking. You see, I wasn't always a master Sandalman. Years ago in Irishland, I captained many a balloon and traveled the globe, spending days and nights in a basket. Ah, the smell of helium burning over me head. I was the number one hot air balloonist in the world. I had the pick of the letter I did, but something terrible happened. Too terrible for words. <laughs> I... <laughs> I... <laughs> but that was a long time ago. Now, here's how you can help. Take my son on the race, beat my old record, win the prize for Seamus so we can send him to the finest music school. Talk about perfect. I can see the headlines now. Mayor to help singing boy. It's a PR man's cream dream. Uh, Mr. Mayor, not only are we uncomfortable with a city official competing in this contest, uh, we are very... Uneasy, considering you have no experience piloting a hot air balloon. Ladies and gentlemen, if I may, I guarantee Team Mayor will win this challenge, at which point I promise to give all the prize money to this little sweet boy, Seamus, so he may become a strong and normal boy. Well, uh, that's certainly your prerogative. Uh, and when you get back, we need to talk about that, uh, sex tape. Good luck, boys. Tom, give me some heat. Up, up, and away! Godspeed, yeah? Be strong, me son. Bon voyage, eh? Dear Joy, I don't know how this will find you. Um, I've been up here for three days now. Luckily, I brought along some of your powdered diet iced tea mix. I just wish to heck we brought along some water. Seamus is getting weaker every day, but the mayor is optimistic <laughs> that the mission's going well. I think he's losing his mind. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll write you when I can. Miss you and the boys. Love, Tom. Look, Tom, the Great Jefferson Steeple. Uh, terrific. It is just too gorgeous up here. <laughs> Oh, just smell that fresh air. Oh, ho, ho, wow. I wish I could share your enthusiasm. I'm, I'm just very, very, very airsick. The other aspect is that I'm terribly afraid of heights. Tom, look at it, look at it. Lap 100. Pardon me for a sec. And now, the Married News Team brings you official coverage of the Hot Air Balloon Challenge. Still married. It's day 25, and Team Mayor has just made its 300th lap around Jefferton. A, a new, new pull. That was my, oh, it says wing right up. Well, forgive and forget. It's all right, a new poll. A new poll shows that the public's interest in the Great Hot Air Balloon Challenge completely overshadows the Mayor's sexy scandal. And don't forget that little Seamus is on board. That poor, devastatingly handsome deaf boy. Oh, I'm just getting something here. Are you getting this pumpkin? It seems like we're receiving a communique from Captain Tom Peters. It's the first communication we've received from the vessel in several weeks. Dear Joy, I miss being with you. I miss your warmth and your tender hugs and kisses. I have to admit it took me a while to become physically attracted to you. But I've gotten over my own insecurities, and I'm glad that you understand my own shortcomings, sexually. Uh... I wish I could give you the pleasure you deserve. Be patient with me. Tom Peters. <sighs> well, it seems like Team Bayer is well on its way to beating the 5,000 lap record around Jefferton set by Ben Sandelman years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you ever cut me to work it out before? If it matters, if it's you to the end of time, do I love you? Ah, uh, they're going for me record. We'll see about that. I threw the waist down yesterday! Come on, Tom. You don't have to lie about it. What does it matter? We're all going mad! 
You've taken us too far! We're low on fuel! We have to turn back! You wanted this mission to fail from the beginning, didn't you, Tom? No! It's just the storm is tearing us apart! And, and I think Seamus is dying! Let me captain the ship! Let me bring her down! I wouldn't do that if I were you. Oh, pretty. Oh, pretty clouds. Hey, are, are you with us? Roy? Is that you? How could you turn that video in? That was something special between you and me. Mayor, come look! Hey, we're gonna make it! Hey, look over there! Oh, fantastic! <laughs> we did it, Tom! Good work! What was that? Looks like the Sandalman! What? Sandalman! Huh? Who this? Why are you doing this? I can't let you beat my record! Even if it means hurting your only son? Twouldn't be the first time! I'm sorry you fell from my balloon! It was the biggest race of my life. And there was too much weight on board. I had to make a tough decision. You see, I was forced to toss you off. And that is why you cannot hear. <laughs> now the truth can be told. So long! We're too heavy, Tom. We have to beat him to the 5,000 lap mark. We gotta throw Seamus overboard. What? Come on, he's dead weight, Tom. He hasn't helped out at all. We need to tie some sandbags to his legs to soften the fall. Okay, well, let me just jump on record here and say that I don't think this is such a- Tom, I'm relieving you of your post. You're no longer fit to captain this ship. Come on, Tom, after me. One, two, three! Full steam ahead! Tom, give me your sandal. Try this on for size! Oh, hey, what have you done? Wow, Tom. Three cheers to you. We did it. No, oh, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you for your great PR work, buddy. Oh, well, thank you. Again. <laughs> And you know what? The cake and eat it too element in this is that the doctor says Seamus is going to be right as rain in a couple weeks. <laughs> oh, look at him, Tom. Mm. Ah, poor Seamus is going to need a father now. I'm really hoping you can step up to that challenge. I've been thinking about it, and uh, he does deserve a good home. Of course, my stepsons are going to have to adjust to the deafness, but... Seamus? Always open for ya! My name is Tom Peters and I'm full of ideas. Community Spirit! Ah, how are you? <laughs> Japanese! Oh, you're all wet, aren't you? Oh, my babies. Sweet chippies. Oh, I'm going to have to sit you out in the sun. <laughs> oh, I'm getting you all wet, aren't I? Yeah, uh, <clears throat> ring-a-ding-ding. Um, I'm Tom Peters. Hello, Tom. Uh, I just wanted to drop by and, and talk to you about my uh, petition. Okay, great. Yeah, uh, you know, I'm, I'm volunteering for a little group called um, Animal Action Now, and uh, what we're trying to do is save the old bird sanctuary that's next to the uh, bronzing plant. Mm -mm. No, no. <sighs> um... You know, the city council has offered to lease the land um, for the next 20 years if we can get 5,000 signatures, and... <sighs> no. And as a courtesy, I thought I'd leave the last uh, signature for you. Wow, Tom. I, I wish I could help you here, but I just don't want to. Ah. Let me turn you on to something. 
Welcome back to the beautiful world of porcelain birds. I am Diane. Look at this, the amazing detail that goes into each and every one of these birds. This one oh, is my just lady Finch. <laughs> it reminds me of my daughter Misty. Just she's staying with her father right now and she prefers it and uh Wow, what an investment. You know, this deal will only last tonight, so pick up the phone, won't you? And reserve your... I'm getting a message from my producers. They're saying there's only three left. They are selling fast. Misty, call Mommy if you can. Phew. God, I love those birds. I just don't know what that has to do with... Tom, you see, it's like a triangle. You know how the stock market works, right? Mm -hmm. This is what you do. You start by ordering 300 of these porcelain birds. Right. Not a big deal. And then you sign up 100 friends, 60 of your closest family members, and roll them in a porcelain bird starter plan. Okay. This way, I get one free bird, and you generate enough cash to buy that sanctuary. Ah, uh, you know, I just don't really have that kind of money right now. Come on, guy. Life is a risk. Well, I guess I could put it on my discovery card. Mm. Give it. Uh. Give it to me. Hmm. Must be a bad magnetic strip. Give it a second. No, uh, that's good. Uh, that's good. No, no, it, it went through. Oh, ah. uh, Tom Peters' phone. Mr. Peer, this is Sandy from the National Porcelain Center confirming your order today for 300 birds. Okay. Is that, is that how many I ordered? Mr. Peter, I'm confirming that your total for today's purchase order will be... $67,856. $37,000. ...was placed on your discovery card. The reigning balance of... $35,000. ...plus an overage charge of... $700. ...was charged to cardholder Joy Peter. No, no, I, I'm not authorized to use that card. Mr. Peter, shut up, Steve. Shut up. Thank you for joining the National Porcelain Center. So I, I assume these birds will increase in value then? Mr. Peter, thank you again for your order. Uh, crickets. All right, uh, Mr. Peters, uh, we're all looking forward to seeing that petition. All right, uh, well, uh, the petition. Um, you know, we kind of took another approach there. Uh, you know, I, what I did was uh, I bought a bunch of, you know, porcelain birds that will um, resell for, I'm sorry, what would you say? Triple, Tom. Triple? Uh, I'm a little confused here. Gentlemen, we all know the bird sanctuary is in danger. What my business partner and I did was invest in one of the most trusted and stable markets out there, porcelain birds. With the profits we make from this fail-safe investment, Jefferton will be able to purchase the bird sanctuary and own it forever and ever. Amen. Uh... Well, if you want to go that route, uh, my first suggestion would be to get these things professionally appraised. Of course, and I know just the TV show to do it on. We now return to the traveling appraisal show, How Much, with Benjamin Kaplan. Well, 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 what do we have here? Oh, what a marvelous sparrow. Oh, really beautiful. This looks mid-century. Do you know where these originally came from, the provenance? Uh, you know, I just ordered them. You or They're new? Is that good? Let me ask you something. How much did you pay for these? Uh, let's see, they're $39.99. The Falcons were $49.99. The Falcons are bigger. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm sorry to have to say this, but... You would have to lock these up for at least a hundred years before they would increase in value. Yeah, uh, but the lady on the phone said that... I'm not done. There would also have to be some sort of crazy Mad Max or Waterworld type situation where porcelain becomes more valuable than gold. Frankly, you'd actually have better luck melting these down and making a few toilets with them. Now, Tom. Tom, Tom, Tom. What was your guess? Uh, th three, three hundred thousand dollars? Slime! What did you do with my discovery card? They're telling me the card is maxed out. No, no, don't panic. It's just in a holding pattern right now, honey. Holding pattern? I can't even buy my son his snacks because of you. I've gotten into an investment opportunity with the mayor, Joy. We're working it out. I don't ever want you using that card. Effing idiot. Oh.
Ah, oh, shoot. Uh, maybe this isn't the best time, but <clears throat> I'm having some you know, credit issues right now. And... Uh, just look at this place, Tom. We just gotta figure out another way to save this sanctuary. Well, we could start the petition up again. Shh, I'm thinking. Ah, burn, burn, burn. Hello? Tom, I think I got it. So, uh, you want to bronze 300 of these birds? Well, you know, if you think they'll increase in value. Yes, we do. Well, it's your money. But before we do any bronzing, I'm required by law to show you this instructional film. Over here, watch. So you decided to burn something. Man has burned his most precious monument for millions of years. There are three steps to the bronzing process. First, a customer chooses an object to be bronzed. Second, the object is dipped into a molten vat of liquid bronze. Finally, the bronze hardens, forming a mold around the object for years to come. Fascinating. Ah, uh, hmm. Let's see here. Uh, 300 birds. Double bronze coating. Hmm, that's going to cost you. All right, sir. Here's the damage. Your card, please. Ah, no. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm, ma- I'm completely maxed out here. I guess we could offer him the bird sanctuary. Bird sanctuary? What am I going to do with that? Oh, I guess I could use the land. Actually, um, I-, I have a-, a problem with that. I just... <coughs> uh, excuse me. Go ahead, Tom. Uh, I feel like if we... God bless you. 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 Yeah, God bless you. Yeah, God bless you. are you all right? Because if you have a problem, speak now or forever hold your peace. I really think that... God bless you. 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 Now we got a medical emergency at a bronzing plant. We now return to the traveling appraisal show. How much? Well, considering we had him bronzed, uh, I'm going to have to say $800,000. Oh, wow, Tom. Well, what are you going to do? I don't know what I'm going to do. Look at that. I ruined the bird sanctuary. and The, the, the porcelain bird center says I, I have to send all the birds back because well, I can't pay off the bill I have with them. Tom, that's not too bad. Just We'll just send them back then. I can't send them back. They're all bronze. Shh, buddy. Come on. We're going to take my house, Mayor. Joyce says she's going to sue me if I don't pay off this bill. Come on, buddy. Let's go see that bronze man again. Hey, uh, honey, have you seen my keys? Oh, no! I bronzed them! Not everything permanent needs to be permanent forever. Unbronzing consists of a one-step process known as unbronzing. First, the bronze coating is removed from the object. Okay, let's unbronze them. Billy Crickets! Tom, thanks for meeting me. How you doing? Uh, pretty good, you know. I'm staying with my friend Gibbons for a while, until things blow over. Well, I really feel bad about the way things happen, and I wanted to make it up to you. Oh, yeah, it's okay. No, no, Tom. Check it out. Found a good use for all those broken porcelain bird pieces. Oh, look at them. <laughs> Come oh. on, little birdies. <laughs> Oh, chippies. Hey, chip, chip. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's great. Oh, they're beautiful. This is all for you, buddy.
I'm the mayor, and my door is always open for you. My name is Tom Peters, and I'm full of ideas. Community spirit. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Japanese. And now a special message from Channel 5's Married News Team. Hi, I'm Married News Team anchor Jan Schuyler. And I'm co-anchor Wayne Schuyler. Won't you join us this Saturday for Jefferton's annual Toodle Day celebration? Toodle Day, where the mayor marries all the town's dogs together. Jefferton is the only town that performs this joyous and legally binding ceremony. It's fun for kids of all ages. So get there early for free face painting and a magic show before the ceremony. Well, this reporter's gotten word that the mayor has a special surprise in store. <laughs> uh, all right. Now, exactly what is this special surprise you mentioned there? Gentlemen, I'm so glad you asked. As you know, there is a surprisingly high-rated divorce among these dogs married during past Toodle Day ceremonies. My vision is to unite the right pup together from the get-go. You do this by getting a special dog to act as the matchmaker and head usher for Toodle Day. You mean like a real live animal? Of course. This pup will determine which lady dog is best suited for which man dog. Uh, he'll be able to distinguish various breeds, temperament, and comprehend complex seating charts. Sounds, Sounds like, like you need some, some kind of supernatural, supernatural dog. Not, Not to mention, mention you'd need a highly skilled, world-class dog, dog trainer. trainer. Yeah, from Mars. <laughs> <laughs> I believe he's serious. Okay, right, right over here. I'm gonna end. And knock, knock, knock. Hello. Hello, Mayor's office. How can I help? Uh, uh it's Tom Peters. Hello, Tom. Can I come in? Come on in. Oh, great. Um, I'm gonna put my face right here. <laughs> That's good. I'm sorry. Did I catch you at a bad time? Or no, no. Oh, this is looking great. This is gonna look real good. <laughs> All right. Ah, well, as you may or may not know, my wife Joy's running for town webmaster this year. <laughs> right. And uh, she. Selected me to be your campaign manager. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, got that happening. And uh, just a lot of shuffling, a lot of things right now. But mainly, I just wanted to get uh, your endorsement. Whoa, 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 whoa. My endorsement? You mean my Jan Hancock? Come on, guy. I don't have time for this. Plus, I'm pretty discriminating about what I sign. I had no idea. That's why I came in. So Well, and that's why I made a stamp. Oh, well, then I'll just get out of your hair. Great, Tom. Well, it was nice seeing you. Oh, wait a minute, Tom. I have a proposition for you. What's your experience with dogs? Well, minimal. <laughs> I mean, my uncle had a Dutch Shepherd I was fond of. <laughs> he had a temper with me, though. Tom, I'm looking for a man that has the ability to train a, a special dog to become the matchmaker and head usher for this year's Toodle Day. I suppose I could do a little research for you. Tom, will you and your pup do it? Uh, well, see, I don't really have a dog, per se. Will just... you and your pup do it, Tom? Ah. Uh, oh, a customer. Hello. Ah. Oh, thank goodness you're open. Uh, it's Tom Peters. Uh, I'm in a little bit of a pickle here. Uh, I need a dog. Hi, Tom. Dog, that's what we got. Look at this behind me. That's a lovely dog, isn't it? Well, it has to be this um, special dog. Uh, let me check my notes here. Well, first off, it has to be single. You mean like one one dog? No, I'm sorry. Like uh, like it's not married. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. Uh, well, how about this one? Oh, he's cute. Um, but it says here I'm looking for one that would be able to uh pair up dogs based on breed and and you know mu mutual attraction, um, and be able to comprehend a rather complex uh, seating chart. Okay, okay. Uh, well, let me see. Let me look up some files here. Uh, just looking up stuff about this lovely dog behind me. Uh, yes. 
Yes. Uh, let me check one more place here. Blah, 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 blah. Ca- can't you say single? And yes, yes. Oh, this is great. He can do all those things. Perfect. Oh, well, yeah. That's, this is great. Um, what do you think? Are, are you sure you can <clears throat> handle all that? Yes, yes. Absolutely. Okay, Stamps. Well, uh, what I did was I uh, made this little model for you to practice with. Uh, we have the dogs here and the seats here so you can uh, work on seating them. And up front is where the mayor will actually, you know, marry the dogs. Uh, well, uh, let's see what you can do. Come on, boy. Ah, Bill Joel, looks like you sold me another lemon. This is going to be harder than I thought. Okay, Stamps, um, welcome to camp. You gotta pay attention, pup. Look up here, boy. Okay, it's all about finding the perfect part. Good work. Let's do this. Let's do this. Now it's all about the scent. Watch me. There's a world of information in here, Stamps. Looking good, Tom. Let the smell guide you to your decision. Uh, uh... Okay, Stamps, your turn. Who goes with who? Yes! You did it! Alright, let's go celebrate. Whoop, whoop. Oh! Oh! Ah, gross. Joy Peters says she'll update the Jefferton website daily. And she promises to have a flashy design. Aren't you tired of empty promises from a proven liar? It's time to get real. Paid for by the friends of Paul Childs Jr. Hey, Tom. Ah! Uh, who's there? It's just me and my chariot. Who's that little stinker? Uh, that, that's Stamps. Hello, Stamps. So you're the matchmaker I've been hearing so much about. Great to meet you. Come here, boy. Come on, Chip Chip. Oh, let me rub that chin. Oh, 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 oh. So, you're all ready? Yeah, I, I, I think so. You know, it took, it took a lot of work. Um, but uh, I think Stamps is going to do just fine tomorrow. Great, great, Tom. Um, I just wanted to go over the, the endorsement again with you. Tom, just... can we just focus on the ceremonies for a change? <laughs> All right, buddy. It's the big day. I know you can do it. Don't let me down. The mayor's here. <laughs> Hi, children. Hello, stamps. Stamps, watch out for the chariot! Ah, oh, stamps! Puppies, chip chips, doggies, settle down now. Citizens of Jefferson, welcome to Toodle Day. Please join me in a warm round of applause for the official Toodle Day matchmaker. Oh, what am I gonna do? 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 Let the ceremonies begin. What's that man doing? Well, I thought he was supposed to be a dog. It's just not right. Okay, uh, Dutch Shepherd and um, you. It's a match. Uh, Poodle and um, Black Lab. What a match! Ah, he's good. You're good to go. Now I'm not gonna lie to you. It's not always gonna be this easy. There are paths you're gonna have to choose. You gotta learn to love and care for your partner. It's the most beautiful bond an animal can experience. Ah. Cherish it. Um, Great work, Tom! Ow, 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 ow. Uh, just getting something in my earpiece. Oh, <laughs> it looks like we're getting some hilarious breaking news. It seems like someone has taken Toodle Day too far. 
just in. Looks like the man in the picture is Tom Peters, wife of Joy Peters. And Jen, as you know, Joy is in a tough race for this year's town webmaster. <laughs> that can't be very good coming so close to the election. Let's take a look at the Insta poll. Uh, well, we did it. I guess so. Now, Tom, you know I won't be endorsing your wife as town webmaster. Ah, I can appreciate that. But you know what? I'm proud of you. And I'm proud of us. I don't know. I mean, I feel like I let you down, enjoy... Tom, and... but don't you see? You made so many pups happy today. You are directly responsible for the union and the joy that they'll have for the rest of their lives. You gave them the greatest gift of all. Love. office um hi uh, my name's tom peters hello tom uh i just wanted to drop off my application for a kiosk permit great tom please sit down <laughs> tom <laughs> where did you get that shirt oh <laughs> uh this <laughs> oh, i'm so glad you like it oh yeah this, this is my design um it's actually what i'm selling at the mall uh, so. <laughs> rats off to you oh wow Tom, did you come up with that on um, your own? Yeah. <laughs> thank, thank you. Oh. I, I had this idea for a while now, and I wanted mm -hmm. to do it online. I wanted to set up an online store and everything, but... <laughs> Rats off! Tom, I'm sorry. I, I'm going to have to ask you to cover that shirt. Oh, I'm sorry? Uh, just take a piece of paper and, and tape it right on there. All right, fair enough. Tom, I can still see a little bit of that tail. Why don't you go ahead and kneel down in front of my desk there? Okay, is is that better? Okay, that's fine. Well, I'm just so honored you like it. You know, I'm I'm hoping to sell a bunch of these guys. Uh, I need to make some extra money for the boys' Christmas presents. Otherwise, I'll have to sell my boat. Tom, I didn't know you were such a boatsman. Well, it's just a little 15 footer. Mm, I can see it in my mind. Okay. I'd love to see your boat. Keep heading straight. I smell a boat. <laughs> um, uh, well, I'm not, I'm not sure why we have to do it this way. I feel like I'm getting warmer. Um, it's right in front of you. Oh, nice. Uh, uh, there it is. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, thanks. Oh! <laughs> oh, Tom, that shirt. Wow, you're gonna sell a thousand of these guys. Let's get that kiosk started right away. Good Tom Peters got his kiosk. Hope was shining in his eye. Attention, all the parents of William and Stephen Jeffords, please meet them. Oh, oh boy! <laughs> what the heck? Oh, I, I love it! Rats off to you! These things are great! Pat Croici here, Jester's manager. Need anything, buddy? Uh, no, no thanks. Here, take my card. Who does your inking? Um, I actually did this batch myself. You know, I just drew on them. Great cotton on here, Tom. I just love these! <laughs> Rats off to you! Wow! Oh, thank you very much. Oh, hi, Tom. I just stopped by to bring you this giant flavored soda. Oh. Uh, well, I just had a big lemonade, but 
I guess worst case scenario, in case I get parched. Great, how's sales? Hmm, not so good. Well, sir, I would like to buy 100 of those rats off to your t-shirts. Oh, thank you. Tom, this is Mayor's fun money. You could use it anywhere. Ugh, now I gotta go play Santa Claus this year. Oh, that, that's a bummer. To tell you the truth, I love it. Crickets. Ugh, oh, gotta pee so bad. Ooh. Ooh, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Hello, hi. I'm sorry. I wouldn't. I wouldn't normally ask you this, but I really have to go to the men's room. And would you mind watching my stand for a few minutes? I'm sorry. I'm just kind of new at this. Sure, buddy. Go take a break. Get some pizza or get one of those big cinnamon rolls about the the size of my head. <laughs> they are so much fun. I've got everything under control here. You've got nothing to worry about. Oh, thanks. I'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> what the heck? Ah, Kroichi! And I want a balloon man, right. and a trampoline, uh, and sure. an action car, and Terrific. a basketball hoop, and a pleasant Absolutely. fairy transport, and a new door. Mm -hmm. and... Mr. Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Santa. Mr. Mayor, I need, to, I need to speak with you for a minute. One second, little boy. Hop up here on my lap. Fair enough. It's it's the jester store, Mr. Mayor. They they stole my shirt, the whole rat's off to the idea. I don't know what to do. Ho, ho, ho. Christmas is the season of hope and joy for all little boys. You must search for the magic and true meaning of this holiday season. All right. In terms of... Ho, ho, ho. Rats, this is going nowhere. Some went to the city council, hoping they could help him. <laughs> Jeff Bridges, I don't need no Jeff Bridges to put music to my poems. All right. Due to the fact that there are so many Christmas grievances this year, we're going to form two groups. All the people with legitimate complaints, uh, why don't you start group A over there, and let's see, uh... Crazy Pete and the guy with the rat shirt, go ahead and start Group B. Uh, why don't you wait outside? And now, Channel 5 News at 5 with co-anchors Wayne Schuyler and Jan Schuyler, the only married news team in the Tri-County area. You are so precious to me. I cherish the time we have together. You are my starlight and my mirror. Together, together we, we are, are partners, partners for eternity. eternity. Our love for local news can only be matched by our love for each other. And now the news. Rats off to you, Wayne. And rats off to you, Jan. And rats off to our entire viewership, as rats off to you fever has taken Jefferson by surprise. It seems everyone needs a rats off to you t-shirt, a wristlet, and a rats off jester's cup. <laughs> we haven't seen anything like this for years. And remember, you can get your official rats off to you merchandise at any jester store location throughout this Christmas season. You got the Christmas blues. Ah, uh, it's this whole rats off to you thing. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny, huh? Well, yeah, it's just that I came up with the idea, and, and now Jester's stole it and making millions. And... Oh, you did, did you? Yeah. <laughs> well, I got a Christmas message for you. Why don't you take your I came up with the T-shirt and Jester stole it from me attitude and the chip on your shoulder and the mean look in your eyeball and the sour lemon vibrations and why don't you take it outside because we don't need that at this time of year in my bar. What's the matter, mister? Oh, don't worry about it, little boy. I'm sure a lot of people have it worse off than I do. Tell you what, here's a couple bucks to help you out. I don't need your pity. Ah, ah, rats off to you! Hope was fading for Tom Peters. Looks like now he'll have to sell his boat. Rats off to you, good cheer toward men. Kiss the Christmas rat again. Ring ding, ring ding. The golden rats of Christmas time. Fill your glass with Yuletide brine. Ring ding, ring ding, ring ding, ring ding, ring ding. Ring ding. 
Hmm. Huh. Where have I seen that boat before? Uh, excuse me, sir. You wouldn't happen to know who the owner of that boat is. Um, it's me, Tom, Tom Peters. I showed it to you a few days ago. Hello, Tom. Can I come in? Come on in. Wow, it's really nice in here, Tom. Hmm, thank you. It looks like you got quite a Christmas list going there. <sighs> I don't know how I'm going to afford all this stuff. What about all that rats off to you money? Uh, don't you remember? Jester's stole my shirts. Oh, well, <laughs> why don't we just make another t-shirt design? Well, I, I don't think so. I don't... Tom, I've got it. Hats off to ya! Get, get your official hats off to your shirts. Hats off to you. Half off. Get your hats off to your t-shirts. Hey, that's not funny. I know. W what do you mean? <laughs> you don't get it? It's a pun off the shirt. Rats off to ya! <sighs> you know, Mr. Mayor, I, I don't think this is working. No offense, I'd, I think I'd rather just go home and be with my family. Hush now, Tom. Look, you're gonna love this video. Merchandise has been marked up 50%. The markups will continue till we close. Rats off to you. Ah, shirt. Guess I'm gonna have to put this on my discovery card again. Crickets. Hats off to you, was a failure. Could there be any hope left for Tom? Ah, look at that. Well. Maybe it's not about the money, you know? Rats off to you made a lot of people really happy. Maybe that's the magic of Christmas. Hey, kids, look at me! What the heck? Kids, check this dance out! Rats, off to you, rats. Off to you, rats. <laughs> hey, kids, rats off to you! <laughs> hey, Tom, it's me! Hi, how are you? Oh, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> now this is what Christmas is all about. I'm the mayor, and my door is always open for ya! My name is Tom Peters, and I'm full of ideas. Community spirit! Hi, how are you? <laughs> you smell like poop. How many pleats do you have in those stupid pants? You're kind of short for a man. You kind of look like my friend's dad. He's poor and smells like salmon. Um, I'm, I'm just here to see the mayor. Okay, gentlemen, here's my plan. Sit back, try to use your mind. Close your eyes and turn your imagination off. Picture what I'm looking at right now. A giant eclair covered in delicious chocolate-flavored sauce. But there's a surprise inside. <laughs> a monkey! Okay, well, if I could make a small point here. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you had a year to come up with a plan to use the educational grant money? Right. I'm just not sure where you're headed with this. Uh, you know we're going to lose this money at the end of the month if we don't act now. Oh, um, I'm sorry. Tom Peters? Oh! 
Mind if I pop in? I want an important call. Come on in. City Council. This is Ta. Ta. Tom. A tie. Uh, Tom. Uh, Tom. Tom Peters. Hello, Tom. Uh, I just wanted to see if you received my e-fax. I can come back later. It's not. Renee, did we receive an e-fax from uh, Tear Ta Tiger t- Tell Tiger Ta Tom, ti- Tom Peters? It's it's just about a new restaurant idea I had. Uh, it's a theme restaurant that would celebrate history. A restaurant. Oh, interesting. And history. Oh, that has potential. Um, no, no, no. Hold on a minute. I, I'm not sure I understand here. City Council, can you hold on? Yes, we'll hold. Okay, Tom. Go. Well, um, <clears throat> the good news is uh, I recently stumbled into a small fortune of World War II memorabilia. Yeah, you know, there's like all these great online auctions that have tons of priceless memorabilia and artwork and uh, I get on there at night and I just sell and and buy and trade for other things and in the end you know you end up with some World War II stuff or whatever. Oh terrific. Yeah so uh, I drew up some plans for a restaurant I'm calling uh, for the time being at least uh, General Patton's Grill. (laughs) (laughs) That's great. Um, Yeah just using all the artifacts that I purchased. Hey uh, it looks like you have some sort of portfolio there. Um, City Council, can you please hold on? As far as I know, we're still holding here. Tom, let me take a look. Yeah, uh, these are just some sketches of uh, the design of the restaurant here. Um, We just open up to the first uh, page. Oh, Tom, (laughs) that looks delicious. Yeah, I think that's a salad. We had our um, designer put that in there, first page. Oh, wonderful. Um, There you Mm. go. You can tell (laughs) right away. Tom, that looks like you have some chicken fingers here and a couple strips of mozzarella. Uh, well, actually, uh, to be honest with you, those are uh, French fries, but um, uh, we'll, you know, have steak fries and curly fries, most likely, so. City Council, can you please hold on a couple minutes? Oh. That's fine, holding still. Okay, Tom, go ahead. Um, this is cool. This is actually, uh, we want to put the restaurant on hydraulic lifts, so, mm. um, you know, we can really simulate that feeling of uh, being under siege, being in a battle. Oh, wow, Tom. Yeah. I really love it. Uh, that looks like a toy soldier. <laughs> well, not, not really. That's a, a, a veteran of World War II. Actually, this particular picture is a, a model. Uh, but our idea is to have him uh, come in and tell war stories and connect with the children and, uh, you know, um, serve pizza. I'd like to dine at that restaurant. <clears throat> this sounds like a good idea for the educational grant. You think you can get it running in two weeks or so? Fair enough. You know, I could start on it pretty much right away. Great. I love it. Tom, one last thing. I'd like you to work with my nephew Terry on this one. Terry? Yeah, he's studying World War II in class right now, and honestly, I think he'd be a lot of help. Okay. Tom. Yes? Treat my Terry like an angel. I love pizza with pepperoni and sausage and marinara sauce and Parmesan cheese and breadsticks. Is, Is that Terry? Yeah, that's Terry. I hate my hands. Are there bats in here? Have you ever had soda? Your head looks weird. I live in a house with a back door and a front door. Hi, uh, I'm Tom Peters. It's nice to meet you. This car is tiny. You have an ugly neck. Well, uh, here she is. I farted in your car. What is this, a toy car? This project sucks. (sighs) This has always been a dream of mine for weeks now. My dreams have come true, straight out of 1942. Stormtroopers there, GIs here, a world at war. And I've captured it here in my decor. To teach and to dine, a menu full of delish. A history lesson in every dish. No! You've got it all wrong if you want to have fun. You gotta give and skip all the world's longest one. Lasers and animated mannequins that sing and tell jokes. What's the deal with the hot dogs and the bar? I'm farting. I'm not so sure if I could sing or respond. 
What about video games? Free pizza when you win virtual reality cyber games. Tokens, lots of tokens, can't have too many tokens. Trade them in for cash and prizes. No, Ted, this isn't right, Terry. <laughs> Come on, just let's... Listen, we're using federal education grant money here. Would you stop it? Would you, would you please stop spinning, Terry? <laughs> My Thomas! Tomboy! Tom! Oh. Tom, are you okay? Oh, wow. It's okay. Oh. I'm gonna hold up your head for you. I think I hit my head. What, where am I? What time is it? Well, I've been keeping you in this dumpster for weeks now. I found this vest on a hobo and put it on you to keep you warm because you've been way too tender to move. Oh, okay. What's that smell? Tom, what you're probably smelling is the cat food. I've been coming by every night to feed you, and since you're unconscious, I would take a dollop of the wet cat food and, and stick it in your mouth, and then move your jaw up and down like a chewing motion. But in that process, some of the cat food fell out onto your lips and your face, and it hardened a little bit in your hair and, uh, and on your shirt. Okay. Right. Come on now. Don't worry. Um, oh. I'll carry you over. I think I have BM in my pants. What's what's going on with the, with the restaurant? Tom, don't worry about it. Terry took your idea and ran with it. And I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised. Oh, sure. Isn't it wonderful? Tom, let's get you cleaned up. you got a lot of work to do. On September 23rd, we stormed the beaches of... Bullseye! <laughs> Terry! Where have you been? I'm not sure. What? What's going on here? We're almost done. I've been testing the sound system and the lasers. What about my ideas, though? What? My ideas, the World War II history. I need you to set up the kitchen. We've got no food or nothing. What? Tom, get in that kitchen. Ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to WW Lasers. The show's about to begin. Please hand your pizza topping cards to the nearest veteran. And now, the legends of World War II to up singers. Ball did it on the ball did all dong, like a dang dong do, a ball it on do, a bing a ding a ball, a dong the WW Laser. Pizza party. Come on, everybody. Everything's alright, we're doing it together, rock and roll tonight. Come on, pizza party, we're having so much fun. Party, 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 this party so much fun. Come on, everybody, everything's alright, we're doing it together, rock and roll tonight. Come on, pizza party. We're Hurry up on that so food, fun. Peters! Alright, I've got the pizzerinos in for 90 seconds, and I can swap out the skinners for 30 seconds to defrost. Tom, there you are. Oh, what's that wonderful smell? Oh, it's just a um, microwaving of... Listen, Tom, I'd love to sit here and talk to you about your cuisine and how you're making it, but we have a huge problem out there. I didn't see any... I don't understand what they're... the point they're making. I don't know what they're trying to say here. Uh... Tom, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Ladies and gentlemen, once again, the legends of the World War II doo-wop singers! Um, well, I'd, I'd just like to say, um, uh, I'm not entirely comfortable in this outfit, and, um, you know, historically, I think we kind of missed the mark here. I know that we'll get through this because we are such good friends. Let's have some pizza pie, because we're just a pack of goofs. Let's stop the fighting and hold hands together. Let's have some fun! Check, Check this, this out! out. Jeff to the light, 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 Jeff to the light. Bullseye! Yeah! Oh, you're 
You're such a good bear. You're fantastic. <laughs> Happy St. Patriot's Day. You're fantastic. Happy St. Patriot's Day. Oh, what the heck is going on here? Oh, oh my baby bear. Hello? Uh, Mayor's office. Hey, it's uh, Tom Peters. Hey, Tom. I, I just want to drop off this St. Patriot's Day cake my stepson's made for you. Oh, thank you so much, Tom. No. Nice. Well, it certainly feels like a really great cake, Tom. Yeah, Joy wanted to get a store-bought, but I thought it would be better if the boys learned how to bake. Oh. So. Anyway, um, turns out I'm in a bit of a rock and a hard place. What? Uh, go ahead. Yeah, um, you know, I just got a letter from the county that says I've got house rot, Ooh. and the fix-it man says they may have to tear out the foundation. <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that happen before. And, uh, you know, my, my stepson Brendan got suspended from karate class for using the D word. Uh oh. <laughs> so I have to attend sensitivity training classes with a sensei. And ah, well, that's no good. It's been pretty stressful. Well, TGIF. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wish. But, uh, you know, one of Joy's ex husbands is staying with us, which means I'm spending the weekend in the pop tent. Ooh. Wow, Tom, you sound pretty stressed out. Listen, I'm having a little get-together this weekend. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, it's up in my weekend retreat at Jefferson Castle. Mm -hmm. It's just a bunch of close friends. Why don't you come up and join us? Really? Oh, yeah, I mean, that would be, that'd be great. Yeah, <laughs> it'd be really fun. I'll pick you up at your house in a couple minutes, but uh, first I've got to take my baby bear to the hospital now. <laughs> okay, well, uh, you might want to try some batteries, right? That, that should probably do the trick. How dare you, Tom? Han, good news. You can put the pop tent away. I'm going to go spend the weekend up with the mayor. He invited me to a little party this weekend. <laughs> oh, Saul, is that you in there? Oh, hey, Saul. I didn't know you were painting. Hey, turn that light off, man. Uh, all right. I just need to pack a couple things in an overnight bag for this big party I'm going to this weekend. Uh, ow! Shoot, darn it. End table. <laughs> Uh, let's see here, I got some turtles and uh, my dress-up sandals. Ow! Ow! Ah! Shoot! Mayor's office. Oh, hey, Mayor. Right on time. Uh, Mayor, this is my wife's first husband, Saul. Uh, three before me. Great to meet you, sir. Fine. Uh, what the heck is that mess up on the wall there? Oh, that's one of Saul's paintings. Uh, he paints with... Uh, um, what's, what was it called again, Saul? Liquefied macrobiotic bovine wash. Well, it certainly doesn't smell like paint. Well, the common name is, you know, you'd know it as, uh, as cow diarrhea. Well, Saul, it's great to meet you. I've always wanted to shake hands with a real artist. Pleasure's mine. You know what, Saul? If you're not busy this weekend, why don't you come up to the castle? We're having a little St. Patriot's Day get-together. Oh, God, a get-together. Oh, man, that sounds great. Oof, I am. Uh, God, man, I'd love to, but you know what? I'm working on this portrait of my son's. It's for the birthday. Oh, wow, Saul, that's really nice. Something handmade from the real dad. Special. Uh, well, for the record, I did get them uh, a gift certificate for karate classes. Uh, pretty expensive. Uh, yeah, who cares, Tom? Comfortable back there, Tom? Yeah, I'm just getting a little soaked. <laughs> there she is, Tom. Oh, wow, a real castle. <laughs> ah. All right. Oh, I got soaked out there. Here we are, Tom. Where are we? This is my condo. Isn't it great? Um, yeah, I guess. So, w where is everybody? What do you mean? You said you were having a big get-together. Yeah, this is it. Party time! <laughs> uh, Tom, what's happening to you over there? It's so wet. It's so cold. Oh. <laughs> well, how about a grand tour of the castle to warm me up, buddy? <laughs> bum ba da bum Here we are, Tom. This is the refreshment cafe. All right. Most of Jefferson Castle runs on tokens. And check this out, Tom. One side of the coin has a picture of the castle on it, and the other side's blank. So it's kind of fun to buy sodas and snacks and stuff. 
Here you go, buddy. I'm gonna start you out with 10 tokens. Um, see if you can make that last the entire weekend. Thanks. You better fill up on your sodas right now, because I got a pretty strict no beverage rule in my home. <laughs> Bump a da bum! And here's our laundry center. Oh, thank God. Oh, talk about a four-leaf clover. Jeez. Uh, do you mind if I put my clothes in here and uh, dry them out? Absolutely. Go ahead, Tom. All right. Son of a gumbo, what's going on here? <laughs> you can't use tokens on that, Tom. It's a quarters-only machine. So what should I do? Well, what you're going to want to do is use that recoin your token machine, and I'll change the tokens back into quarters. Then it's, it's just busted, then? Of course it is, Tom. Now let's get this party started. So this music just plays all the time, or...? Oh, well, if it's bothering you, I can turn it down a little bit. Okay. It's not a problem. Tom. Yes? Tom. Mm-hmm. Cock-a-block! Um... <laughs> chocolate, or...? Cock-a-block! cock a block Yeah! That's the magic glove! Strategies the game. Move your cock right into battle. Spill the blood and take the pain. Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? Now, cock a block. Uh, is is it over yet? Yeah, it's safe to come back in, Tom. You lost. <sighs> All right. Uh, you know what? I'm getting a little parched here. Do uh, you mind if I just jump out and take a soda break? Hey, good news. I made it. Hey, Saul. Good to see you again. Hey, what the heck are you doing here, Saul? Oh, man. Joy kicked me out. It's a real bad scene back there. Well, I guess I should uh, head back home then, uh, take care of business. You know, me being the uh, man of the house. No, 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 man. You are the last person she wants to see right now. Trust Whoa, me. Whoa, Saul. Nice didgeridoo collection. Uh, you mind if I take one for a spin? Go ahead, man. Sure. Not bad. Do you mind if I sit in with you? Come on, Tom. Give it a shot. <sighs> well, I'm no Mozart, but I'll give my best. I wish I had my mini disc recorder, man. <laughs> Now, I had my own reasons for leaving my family, and I, you know, I'm cool with that, you know? I just, I've, I've forgiven myself, but it just burns me to see my sons being raised by that guy. Oh, I know what you mean. I just wish they, uh... I just wish they had a stronger role model around the house. <laughs> Someone who could teach them about life. <laughs> talk to me, my baby bear. <laughs> oh, please talk to me. <laughs> Say something. <laughs> There's a place I go called Shepherd's Mesa. It's about a uh, ten-day drive from here. You can see the sun rise and set at the same time. That's where I go to communicate with my soul. You have a serious, seriously strong energy about you. Just, I feel it. I feel it. It's crazy. I could, like, bite it. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I would like this to stop, please. Your turn. What's your biggest fear? I'm just afraid I'll never hear my bear speak again. You just need to get some fresh batteries. Any, any batteries will do. Tom, shut up. It's not about batteries. I think I can fix your bear, man. Oh my god, thank you, Saul. Follow me, children, to the roof. Bring the didgeridoos. No, no, I, I, I better stay inside here. Looks like we're getting a lightning storm. <laughs> I got a fair amount of underwire in my briefs here. You know, for support. Okay. Grab one of the bear's legs. Save him! Hold it close to the lightning. I feel so alive! We can do this together. We can totally do this together. 
Hey guys, check it out. I, I found some batteries. Oh, oh, ah. Oh, thank you, St. Patriots. He's alive. Well, Saul, he's gone. But the good news is that his life energy passed right from his body right into my bear. With your permission, I'd like to take this corpse and spread his ashes all over Shepherd's Mesa. Whoa, yeah. All right, Bear. Red and yellow and orange and green. Rainbow ride. Rainbow ride. Tasting purple and pink and blue. Ah, where the heck am I? Ready, bros? Here we go. Be honest with me, honey. Is it serious? Looks like you have high levels of starch. Ooh, that's bad news. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was a very special play, uh, written and directed by my husband, Wayne. Very well written. But I'll tell you something, starch levels are not a laughing matter. It's no secret. The children of Jefferton are plagued with toxic levels of starch in their diet. And no one knows where it's coming from. But here's the good news. We have with us today a very special guest, Dr. Sandy Winfield, who has created an exciting new product which helps us test our own starch levels at home. Thanks, guys. And thank you. What would you say if I told you that you could test your own stool in the middle of a busy, crowded street in less than 10 minutes? <laughs> you wouldn't believe me, would you? But now you can with my new easy stool strip tester. First things first, wet your stool strip with your tongue. Next, stick it into your stool and swish it around. This is the fun part. It's ready. Hold it up to your rival and watch for the numbers to appear. Oh. Nine, two, nine, seven, eleven, three, four, two, four, seven, two, nine, four, eight, two, nine, seven, two, four, and three. Oh, I almost forgot. To make sure you're testing your own stool and not your neighbors, press on the thumb identicator authenticators. Hold it down with your thumbs for up to two minutes. It helps if you have a little bit of stool on your thumb. Uh, knock, knock. Uh, yes, Mayor's office. Who's there, please? Uh, it's Tom Peters. Hey, Tom. Uh, I wanted to come by and tell you I got a case of the good news, bad news. Oh, great. Um, I'll take the bad news first. All right. Well, uh, the bad news is it turns out my uh, stepsons all have uh, very high levels of starch in their system. Oh, no. Uh, I'm not sure if you're aware of the whole starch problem going throughout town. Oh, yeah. My TV was just telling me about that starch problem. Real bummer. But the, uh, the good news is I've been testing their stool for starch uh, for about a week now. Uh, Brendan, remember not to flush. i got to check your stool for starch. And I think I've isolated the source of the starch to the school cafeteria, but I'd, you know, I'd like to get in there and, and get some evidence. Undercover, Tom. Um, excuse me? Tom, this is simple. You need to go undercover. You need to dress up like a student, bring in school, so you can get close to those mashed potatoes. Uh, uh yeah, I... Tom. Trust me on this. I've thought this through. I'm going to take an honorary vice principal position so I can be your point man on the inside. 
Okay, um, just right off the bat, um, I see one big problem. Um, my height, you know, most kids in school are a little shorter, not to mention the low sound of my voice. Wait for it. Great. Hey, Peter, it's good to see you again. Let me just explain the height reduction procedure. The first thing we're going to do is remove your knee and entire shin bone. Just get that out of there. Then we're simply going to reattach your foot to the bottom of your thigh. Now, voice augmentation is a fairly routine procedure. What we do is remove your vocal cords and attach them to what looks like a high-tech rack of some sorts. <laughs> Hello, my name is Stanley. Hello, my name is Stanley. Uh, and once the new pitch is found, we simply reattach the vocal cords to your vocal cord harness back there. And, uh... <laughs> um, you know, I'm just not sure about this, guys. Oh, don't worry about it, Tom. You don't have to do it. Uh, but just for your information, I did a little computer simulation of what your children could look like in a couple weeks. They're exposed to ah. these high levels of starch. Ah, sure, that doesn't look good. Hey dudes, I'm the new kid around here. Name's Wilson Breyer. Check this out. Oh, cool tag, man. What's up? Hey bro, what's happening? Yo, 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 my name is Scroach. Hey Scroach. Yeah, yeah, you and me should hang sometime. I can tell you'd be great to roll with. <laughs> oh, hello there. Wednesday, October 8th, 8.33 a.m. The children have accepted me as one of their own. Undercover starch test mission is off to a good start. Over. Hello, class. Mayor here. Um, I'd like you all to meet our new student, Wilson Breyer. <laughs> Man, I love these rats. Oh, look at that frigate. Oh, hey, Brendan. I, I mean, you a frigate? <laughs> Yo, Wilson, check it out. Oh, no. Oh, Wilson, you crazy. <laughs> Mmm. Mm. Actually, these are good potatoes. <laughs> hey, dudes, anybody got any rats? I'd love a smoke after lunch. Wow, he's so awesome. He's totally rad. Uh, Tom Peters here, a.k.a. Wilson Breyer. Starch test in progress. Uh, potatoes are digesting and should turn into stool within the hour. Over. What the heck is this? I heart bad boys. Oh, uh, thank you, young lady. Um, oh, I mean, uh, uh, whatever, hot bitch. Hey, Wilson. How's your first day at school? Mayor, I, th I gotta tell you, I think this is working whoa, whoa. out. Whoa, what's this? Oh, that's nothing. It's just uh, somebody gave me a little... I don't know what school you came from, but we certainly don't allow love letters in Jefferson. Give me that, Wilson. Note to self, keep an eye on Wilson Breyer, Ari love letters, and general hooliganistics. <sighs> Darn it. <sighs> Come on, get up. Oh, don't be a baby. <sighs> Oh, you gonna cry? Get up, I said, big head frigate. Why are you lying there? What, what are you, daddy driving a milk truck? <laughs> Cotton candied apple face? Oh, hey, Scrooge. I yell, Wilson, look who I found. Must be my birthday. Ah, look who it is, our little frigate friend. Come on, Wilson, take a shot. It's on the house. Yo, Scrooge, take a look at this beauty. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, oh, no, yeah. Sorry, son, it's yeah, your pep-pep. Yeah, yeah, I don't mean to do this. Yeah, like I'm doing it for yeah, you, like son. <clears throat> I love you guys so much, and I don't want to see you get sick. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop, boys. Boys, come on. What is going on here? Oh, hey, Mayor. Sorry about this. Oh, Wilson. I should have known. Get your little ass in my office right now. Hey, Scrooge. You got to check out this deuce I just dropped. It's pretty sweet. 
Huh. So, uh, well, I should be able to make a bowel movement in about a, a half hour, so I You've been a real naughty boy, haven't you, Wilson? <laughs> All right, Mary. I think we should drop the facade now. Wilson, 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 Wilson. What am I going to do with you? Get your ass up on my desk right now. Uh, Alright, fair enough. Time for a spanking, little boy. One, two, three, four, five. I'm having some major problems with my point man on the inside. So I guess my disguise is just too good. I must think of other options to expose the starch problems. I must continue. I'm doing this for my sons. Come on, come on, come on. Stupid thing. Oh, I knew it. Starch levels are off the charts. It's that darn cafeteria food. <laughs> Son, Brendan, is that you? It's me, your stepdad, Tom Peters. Can you recognize me? I was undercover, and that's uh, why I, I had to beat you up earlier. Um, you know, I did it for you. You know, you, I just, I, the only thing I care about is you guys. And, but you know what? I think I kind of did it for myself, too. And for the first time in my life, I felt like people cared about me. I cared about who I was. And uh, I just, I felt cool, I guess. And maybe I let it get to my head, but I just felt like I fit in perfectly here, on my own terms, as myself. <laughs> Come on, my little bustard, keep the chin up. Look, your pep has got a whole big bag of fresh BM that proves you was right the whole time. Yeah, better get this down to city council before it spoils. Oh, honey, that is so sweet of you. It looks just like me. No! Stop! This isn't right! I'm, I'm sorry, sweetheart. I'm, I'm on a detective mission here. I'm an adult man! Uh, Mr. Mayor, uh, would you mind explaining again why exactly we are closing all the schools in Jefferson, uh... Permanently. Uh, again, the food being served in our school cafeterias has dangerously high amounts of starch, and that's why I had to shut them all down. And now, well, just waiting for the new banners change here. And now I'd like to introduce you to the man responsible for solving the starch epidemic, fresh from his reheightening surgery, Tom Pay Excuse me. Thank you for having me. It's heavy. Absolutely. 